More like Fanny eats snacks again. Touch me without snacks. Trying to kill us all stream. <laughs> <laughs> Is trying to attack me. <laughs> okay, I'll give her one more tree so that way she falls down. <laughs> you did a good job, Danny. You did a good job. You got another tree. Okay, one more tree. That's it. It's over. Because if you get more, you'll turn into Gene. <laughs> there you go. Just one more it explodes. <laughs> So I still remain saying you're lucky that the, she even pays attention to the laser. His cat just doesn't. <laughs> I, I, bet really it, I bet it has something to do with no lasers for like 11 years. Right? And then like all of a sudden there's a laser now. Yeah, <laughs> it can't sure. be trusted. I'm pretty sure we, we didn't really use lasers around her for the first 12 years. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, this is the uh, Oscar Garfield. That's a part of the new Gar or new Oscar movie. <laughs> it's a, it's an Ava, I'm sure. You saved us, Fanny. We're protected. Now. You can calm down. <laughs> Laser defeated. <laughs> see we have a very important stream goal today <laughs> i guess we should get started i guess i mean you were gonna you were gonna play x dive on your ipad you no should more. definitely be very comfortable yes <laughs> uh the way you have to map the buttons is obtuse but it should work um I didn't see any way to map the buttons on a Macbook. 
What's in the brownie? Oh, it's not what's in the brownie that's important. Yeah. Just... No, no, no. This is you can pay thirty dollars for me to eat his brownie. The yeah. important thing here is that I'm not asking. They're just, yeah. they're just regular Walmart brownies that Dan will steal. <laughs> You're funding terrorism. Yes. <laughs> he does not know about the stream if he hasn't tuned in. Oh, there we go. They're all of our brownies, Dan. <laughs> they're all of our brownies? Yeah, uh, KZ donated $5. <laughs> See, we were clean and everything was fine and nobody was buying Walmart brownies anymore. And then Casey bought two packs, two, four packs of brownies. And it's like, can't let that man eat eight brownies by himself. That's ridiculous. There is a PC version of Travis Christ's game, but we're definitely not playing the PC version. We have problems yeah. with no more Heroes 1 on PC. Yeah. There are other versions it like PlayStation. What's up? It could have been worse. It could have been worse. Last time we had four packs. That's true. We had four packs of four brownies. Because we both bought them separately in the same trip, and we almost came back with five. <laughs> I mean, Walmart brownies are fucking good. Uh, f of all the things to get at Walmart from their bakery, I think it's the best thing. Because we tried the lemon bars. Oh, those lemon bars, man. <laughs> oh, this is a 20th anniversary commemorative title. Jesus. It's fancy. Fancy. 20th anniversary commemorative title for Grasshopper? Grasshopper. I guess? Yeah, for Grasshopper, not for uh not for no more heroes, of course. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I believe it though. <laughs> Eating KZ's brownie vicariously through you since I wasn't allowed to last time. Thank you, Spanish Man, for the ten dollar donation. <laughs> Maybe next time you'll get it, get some brownies. Fun fact, I have both a replica leather jacket of Travis first jacket and Dante's jacket from DMC5. Because damn, I love both of those series to spend 200 plus dollars for each jacket. Also, eat that. Okay. There's a reason you... I ran away. I know that don't make it okay, but I felt real bad for selling you out to Curtis. Your ten seconds are up. Now go to hell. <laughs> Curtis will be waiting for you. Vengeance for my daughter. My little girl was murdered. I had to avenge her. That's why I had to stay alive. You hear that, Mills? Yeah. Find the asshole who killed his kid. Now, yeah, this is very Killer Seven. Yeah, it is. Long years and I can't find him. Listen, Birkin, the score is zero to nothing. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. You're up to bat. Three mm -hmm. balls and two strikes. You're up against the wall. The next pitch decides the game. You either kill or be killed. You're late. Okay. Got it. No way. It only takes a pro two seconds. Your guy is hiding out in Texas, in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. This name. I've heard it before. Travis Touchdown. Yeah, I remember. He's the champ up above ground, huh? Nice. Kill him and bring your daughter back. Then we're all square. You smoke a crack or what? Bring it back. Charlotte. Don't think too much. Your brain is clogged with muscle. That it'll just give you a headache. That is the gun from Killer Seven. Oh. Yeah. That <laughs> Travis touchdown. <laughs> the way they did the hair on this dude is the funniest shit ever. Uh, so yeah, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I just realized it was a great start versus logo was Travis. Yes, dead. and it's really good. Is it $30 per brownie? As in, will I eat another? You probably shouldn't do that. That I'll, could kill Dan. Yeah, that, I'll get sick. Because uh, we ate right before this. Well, thank you, Big Nerd Sam, for subscribing for nine months. This is actually the trailer, I think. I think so, yeah. Hotline Miami. I was like, why is the Hotline Miami? Oh, he's playing it. From Epic Games. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Yo, have you ever seen Stranger Things? I'm just asking. No reason. No reason. I just, uh, for some reason, thought about it. You know, maybe I should watch it. I don't know why, but I feel uh, like Suda, might, Suda might want you to. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's the cat. There's yeah, Jean. I wonder. She I, seems she, to be comatose. <laughs> she, she, she has become meatball again. <laughs> yeah, we look. We worked her out for like a month. And she wasn't. <laughs> and, okay. and then after that, we calmed down, and she did not. <laughs> <laughs> um. I like the long vanny, but the head turned the other way, so that way it's lying like that. Yeah. It's... Um. What mild? I I'm worried about how the gameplay for this one's going to be in general. Uh huh. So that's sort of like maybe we just do sweet again, but I, I'm okay with trying mild, I guess. The physical version of this is out of print. Yeah, that makes sense that it wouldn't have been manufactured all that much. I got a physical version, though. That's what we're playing. Too sweet. You're not here for the gameplay. I don't know that yet. <laughs> Maybe I am. There's some real damage sponges in this game. <laughs> you know, I almost... Yeah, uh, the other games people seem kind of middling about, like they didn't care that what difficulty. Everyone here seems to be saying sweet. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like they cared with two, where they were like, maybe just two. Maybe just do sweet. We'll do sweet. We'll do sweet. Note, if we were not streaming, we would just end doing all these back-to-back-to-back. -back -back. Yeah, yeah, no, if we were normal streamers who say, don't be a game per stream. Right, just let it be a whole month of us playing it off and on. But no, we're not like that. <laughs> Very fancy. Electric Thunder Tiger 2. They were saying we should idle here. Oh. Oh, well. It's good looking static. I'm sure our faces are becoming mush. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Okay. Hey, can I ask you something? Is this the game world? Oh my god, that art. Wait, why is Death a D with another D behind it holding it? I don't know. Oh, Death and Drive. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. 
Hey, wait, you can't just walk in on in here. This area is off limits. This entire area is sealed off. The government has issued an evacuation order. Whatever, man. If this is a game, I'm going to clear it for sure. You can't stop me. Stay out of my way. You just don't get it. Do you have a permit? What the hell are you talking about? Of course I don't. We can take you out by force, you know. Oh, that sounds fun. Bring it on, then. Don't underestimate video games. <laughs> Transform. Huh? It's not working. Insufficient funds. Not enough DD coins. What a shame, Travis. I was going to kill you in the tutorial, but it looks like I need still need more karma. The journey's not yet over. The time to destroy the world is yet to come. Look, this is taking forever. This is what sucks about games these days. It's too long to finally start playing. Anyway, get your hands on a permit before we meet again. We'll overlook it for now. Just clear the usual mission style events. Are they saying oh, that so this is co-op, so we could do that? Oh, really? Yeah. I, I would rather engage with chat personally. Yeah. So how do I... Look, there's got to be a dodge. What are you? Bug Street Boys Red. Wait, he's just in the like the suit that should be edited out. <laughs> yeah, that's a mocap suit. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Death Drive Mark II. I'm the creator of this machine, Dr. Juvenile. Juvenile. The Death Drive is connected to your nervous system via the Death Glove. Keep concentrating or else you're gonna die. The controls are intuitive, so you'll get used to them. We'll start by going over the basic controls. Let's take out some enemies. First is the most fundamental attack, the basic attack. Okay, try it out. Go, go, go. Oh, I can just <laughs> hold it and he keeps doing that. That's funny. That is how I did it just now, but thank you. <laughs> got pants on <laughs> oh there's a heavy tag i'm surprised this is this much of an action game yeah Yet again, they they put the image like you're rocking the stick left and right. Yeah. But it's up and down. Why, why is they like this? Yeah, I'm shocked this run this well it runs this well on the Switch. Yeah. I mean, he did say it was made with a uh, great middleware. <laughs> That's true. He did say that. <laughs> oh, a jumping basic attack. Incredible. Hey, Bob, I'm going to hand this off to you. Sure. And I'm going to go eat one of Casey's. <laughs> Great. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, I missed the name, unfortunately. Jacob M. Jacob M. Jump and heavy attack works best. Okay. You're welcome, Dan. Just, I don't know why why uh, KZ is saying that. He didn't pay us $3 to eat his brownies. <laughs> Oh, you did. You're right. He paid, he paid like $4 for the brownies and then five to have me eat it. Yes. It all works out. Yes. Just deduct that for my rent. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> huh. Thank the follow. That Dapper Dawn. Let's see, charge attack. R. Yeah, that's Dapper Dawn. That's a great name for an attack. <laughs> Okay, so you're just holding it, or are you pushing it twice? I think I push it twice. Maybe you're already charged up. Yeah. 
Yeah, do they really need you to shake the controller in this configuration, though? Yeah, I don't know. Because R isn't it, doing anything. I... There certainly aren't controls in here. <laughs> cool. Hey, feel nominal. Once the circle on the top left is lit up. Okay, I was wondering about if he t him taking that hit may have disabled that. Right. Did you all know Phil Nominal streams and Phil Nominal knows us? Uh, somebody said something earlier that I was trying to catch in chat. Travis holds up a little sign with an R uh, when you can use it. Okay, and I just keep mashing. Now I'm glowing rainbow. Anybody else think Travis's portrait in the lower left has a Rick and Morty energy to it? A little bit. Yeah, we're playing this on the Switch. Dr. Juvenile here. So you haven't died yet? As you can see, there's a toilet here. <laughs> but it's not just an ordinary toilet, a save point. You don't know when you're gonna die, so be sure to save. For your first save at each toilet, you'll get some money as a special gift. Okay. Toilet. I appreciate the thought of you should make sure you save is like you should use the bathroom because you might die. <laughs> Like that, that notion of like, yeah, you, you don't want to just completely crap your pants when you die with something you were holding in all day. It's like, is that why the save points are toilets in these games? You're insane. You know that, right? You, you know you're on hinge, right? Travis Tushjan, welcome to the world of Electric Tiger or Thunder Tiger 2. White Sheep Man? Yeah, he's White Sheep Man. So it's this like that's stranding. Yes. <laughs> you can call me White Sheafman. <laughs> I'm the memory manager here. You found the desk ball and booted up the desk drive mark two. The journey is long but short. The survivors are desperate. After turning from the main character to the ruler of this world, Triple Star lost his reason to exist. Keep an eye out for Triple Star. Uh, you should know more than anyone that the chains of freedom the are the most painful of all. Thank you for the follow video DVD. <laughs> That's enough talk for now. We'll meet again. Video digital versatile disc. I assume we're streaming under this game's name and not just retro. We are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this came out two years yeah. ago. I was like, there's no way. That would that would that would truly make me as bad as the memes about me are. Yes. Or they're like Dan thinks any game that didn't come out this year is retro. I'm not energy right. No, I just think games that came out 15 years ago might be retro. Yeah, it's L, and then you can use the right analog stick. Oh, okay. he's holding up that sign. It's true. We'll use it on the next set. Are the death balls like the data balls from the KZ Soft armchair devs? Uh, we didn't ask if the KZ Soft would suck in its viewer and kill them. It's a pretty important question. <laughs> what are you talking about, Dan? This is clearly a retro game. Oh, that's pretty good doubling rage. I didn't even pick up on that. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? It's Sheep Man because it manages the RAM. It's a memory manager. Managing oh. the RAM. Oh, yeah, I see. Jesus. I had to run that a few times. Um, Twitch app, why you notify me late? I don't know. You should probably join our Discord. <laughs> what you Wait. just got is a skill chip. When you get a new skill chip, you will unlock a new skill to use. Well, that might checks out. Even a monkey like you can master them, so use them as much as possible. You will end up collecting lots of different skills. You can manage and arrange them from the skill set menu within the level up and skills menu in the pause menu. I've already set this one for you. Test it out and show me what you got. S 
solder bug. <laughs> I know the fan Discord is, ever, uh, is open to everyone. Where could I find the link? It should be below the, the stream. Just scroll down. If you're on mobile, then I'm not sure how you bring up this stuff that normally goes below the stream. Nice. Once you use the skill, you won't be able okay. to use it again straight away. Oh, okay. But after some time, you'll be able to use it again, so be smart about it. That may be hard with your brains, but try to do your best. But yeah, if you go there, um, all you have to do is go to the roles section after you're let in and sign up for str the at streams notification by clicking the uh, proper emote and uh, you'll get a ping. <laughs> yeah, the PS4 version of this game looks weirdly similar to the Switch version. Like it doesn't seem higher res on Pro huh. from what I've seen online. So that was bizarre. Yeah, you would think that they could uh, upgrade that. Oh, what's that? He mashed it. Oh, well. Well, it's feels, so there's a 10% chance the KC Soft console will kill you. If it was aggro, it's a, it would be a 100% try. Uh, oh, it would 100% try, too. I don't know what you're talking about. Aggro's pitch for the KZ Soft console was very wholesome. <laughs> Not as good as Bob's, though. I didn't know that when I tried to enter the Gigaboots Discord, so I got scared and left. Yeah. It's to keep the bots away. This is Dr. Juvenile. I'll let you in on something important. If you go to the options in the po game's pause menu... You can change the difficulty level anytime, depending on the situation. Okay. Sometimes you just want to enjoy a sweet game. Sometimes you want to take on a bitter challenge. Well, I'm sure a gamer like you would never choose sweet mode, but still. Do we do we turn it up to yes, mild? please. Okay. Juvenile oh. here. Looks like you've scored some... <laughs> Sorry, I read Haze and started having a stroke. <laughs> 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 Looks like you've scored some provisions from Hazra. <laughs> Boxes like this are full of various supplies and cash and piss. <laughs> yes, it's mainly it's piss. piss. Cool. No more haze, please. I know. <laughs> I thought we could escape, but that became way too relevant always. Always, sadly. It, it really sucks, but I think we're going to have to beat that game on stream someday. Yeah. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, Dr. Drew, 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 still reading. <laughs> sure you were. <laughs> it got off the difficulty to bits. Travis Touchdown, welcome to the world of Electric Thunder Tiger 2. Your status as a hardcore gamer is well known even here. <laughs> Bet that gives you a hard on. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, that's all I had to say. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know. I think about that a lot, right, too young. Like I said, you guys only had an hour and a half left. That's insane. That's insane. We only just game. got to the, the yeah. big twist. I think we only played that game. The, the big twist that was in the trailers. Yes. I think we only played that game for two hours. Yeah. So that game's under three and a half hours long, if that's the case. Sorry, Hasanika. We tried to give people plenty of time to show up because um, we we gave Banny treats and stuff, right? And for some reason, this game is reminding me of uh, Pocky and Rocky, and I'm wondering when we're getting that new game again. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Jump. 
chat saying this already did more to justify its price than um than Hellblade. Than Hellblade, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had the uh brownie in my mouth. Yes. Sonica says, I just wanted to tell you guys to reopen No More Heroes 2 since you missed one last new thing on the main menu after beating the game. We'll check that out in ten and a half hours when we beat this game. <laughs> You'll die one You're day. You're just hitting them with the stick? Yes. It keeps happening to me in this one because there isn't a really, like... It's not as eye-catching as, uh... There's a lot of things on the side, so, of course, the, the battery sort of... Right, they kind of fade in. It doesn't have that insane thing No More Heroes 2 did. <laughs> God. Uh, thank you, Anti-Magic Toxin, for the sub. Just upgraded my internet today from 10 to 120 megabits per second, so I can finally watch a Gigabits live stream in a resolution greater than 360p and be stable. Well, that's good. Zing Amazing says, there's no way this is 10 plus hours, right? <laughs> According to how long to beat, this is 10 and a half hours, and that is not including the DLC. I didn't even realize there was DLC. It's story DLC, too. Oh, no. Yep. Surely on easy, it'll go faster. Yeah. I mean, most of these enemies seem to still be dying in one hit. Right. The DLC was free when it came out. Oh, okay. Dr. Juvenile here. Looks like you've got another skill chip. Be sure to check the skill set menu within level up and skills menu in the pause menu. Menu, 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 menu. There, you can check your skills and set them to the four buttons. You can group together the skills you, you use most and save them as presets. Use that broke-ass head of yours to find the combination that best suits you. Level up and skills. I'll get you yet. Okay, there he goes. Oh, it did like a spread shot. Neat. I assume my health bar is Travis being filled. Yeah. <laughs> What is the dodge roll button? Uh, B. Or sorry, okay. A. It's a ramen stall in the traditional Japanese yatai style. Pretty cool. <laughs> there are ramen stalls from all around Japan uh, throughout each stage. Eating the ramen will replenish your energy and power you up, too. It's even pump up a chump. It'll even pump up a chump like you. So be sure to stop by. Ramen is the sole food of Japan. I travel all over Japan just for this. What are you waiting for?
Boot bug Jiro? We got a customer. Welcome. Come on in. Give me your best ramen. God, that face. Travis. Sure thing. Here we go. <laughs> Travis has got a really good jacket. Look at that jacket. It's a good jacket. <laughs> Simple. Ah, Tokyo show you. <laughs> Simple, beautiful, refreshing soy sauce based soup made with bonito broth. Umai. Bug extra. Grandpa's word of words of wisdom. If a man's gonna cry, he should cry in his dreams. If he still wants to cry, he should dry his tears. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, extra. Nice. <laughs> I assume that on the level, that's why I'm checking these corners first. I feel like with the opening to the next area the way it is, it might not. This is Dr. Juvenile. Looks like you've scored an Azteca stone. <laughs> you can exchange it for a special t-shirt back Ooh. at the trailer. That jump is really funny. Oh, he turns into a tiger sometimes when you do that R attack. That's neat. Here we go. I wonder if all the stages are going to play like this or is it going to change the, the gameplay style completely once in a while? But we'll find out. So no one just spoil it. <laughs> Jeez. All right. There we go. This is Dr. Juvenile. Looks like you've built up plenty of experience. Once you've built up enough experience, you can exchange or you can increase your level. Do it from the level up in skills menu in the pause menu. Also experience is shared, so you can level up either Travis or Badman. And if you're confident, you can even try skipping the, the level up and seeing how far you can get is a real or like a real gamer. Yeah, if you want to do a level one run, no more hero supports that. Okay, now go, 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 go. They, I start, I guess that guy started playing StarCraft at the end there. Yes. <laughs> Heard the boop, 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 and just started mashing. <laughs> Faye Alexandra, uh, resubscribed currently on a three month streak. Fun fact, this game was the first game Suda51 directed personally since No More Heroes 1. Every other game credited him. Between that and this game, he was more of a producer. I thought he was technically a director on Killer is Dead. He might have or been like maybe executive Lollipop director or something. Chainsaw. I think even Lollipop Chainsaw had somebody like... I mean, that was the one he co-did with... Um... Yeah, it was Gun James Gunn. He was a writer for Killer is Dead. Lollipop Chainsaw was game. James Gunn. Yeah. It's going to be really funny seeing how this turns our faces faces into mush later. <laughs> By the way, a really big fly crawled into our lighting kit and just kept hanging out there and bumping the shim. Oh, my God. So that's what all of that was about. I was like, oh, no, something bad's happened. <laughs> Did you want to take over this level then, now that you've dealt with the fly? I'm going to give it a few more seconds to make sure that shit's dealt with. Fair. 
How are you feeling about that skill you just used? It seems okay. Okay. It's not super powerful, but sometimes it can immobilize them, so they're just stuck. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's electric. Yeah, I really want to see Killers Dead on PC. I've only ever seen it on the PS3, and oh god, did it run rough there. Yeah. And look like a potato. Who was the uh, co director or whatever on Shadows of the Damned? Was um, that Yamaoka? No, that was uh, Mikami? Mikami, yeah. Yamaoka might have been there for the music. Yeah, okay. Oh, Killer's Dead is locked 30 frames per second on PC, too. Oh, God. Of course. That's rough. <laughs> oh, he's just dead. <laughs> He wasn't ready for that. He's not that impressive of a dude. Draga says, uh, people fixed it. Okay. Okay. That's good. I, I really did want to check out that game. I wonder if it's one of those games that's also like never on sale. So you're just like, you have to buy it full price no matter what. You mean like this? Yeah. I was like, well, I can get on PS4, but it's $40. <laughs> I wonder if I still own If I feel like I bought the, the PS3 version. I wonder if I still have it. Of, of Killer's Dead? Yeah. I couldn't see you trading that in. Right. Killer's Dead is $20 on PC. Well, that's that's understandable. Yeah, at least that's decent. That's not like 40 bucks or something. Celestial's asking if we're going to stick with Travis because in co-op mode and uh, apparently in general, you can switch to Batman. Yeah, he's, they said that during one of those other screens. Like, yeah, you could be Batman if you want. I'm like, why would I want that? <laughs> uh, the weird thing is they level up differently. Wait, that screen just said they level up the same. And that's what Celestial's saying. So Celestial could just be wrong. Okay, apparently the lowest killer's dead on PC has been is $4. Shared experience, but level up individually by using that shared experience? How does that make any sense? I have to get the coin. Oh, I'm locked in here completely. Oh, no. This was on sale back in March and January. It was half price. Okay. It's funny because you get the impression that this is what Suda wanted to make to some extent. Like, this is what he's interested in. Uh-huh. You have to wonder if it was like, Suda, we need you to make a No More Heroes. <laughs> like a real one, please. <laughs> yeah, this might have been like a, a concession of like he knew he couldn't Budget. afford to make a real yeah. No More Heroes, but, but wanted to make one. Mm -hmm. And then this probably got enough people interested again to actually be able to make it. I used most of my health getting this. It was worth it. Right, chat? I hope so. What did you do? <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Just wait on <I> st- <laughs> God! <laughs> so you're a Mega Man fan, huh? You're used to platforming around environmental hazards? Look, the, when they're off screen like that, I, I, I just lost it completely. <laughs> Bob's going full Gex, too. You never go full Gex, too. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Don't eat at restaurant chains. Picture the ingredients the head office buys. Picture where the ingredients come from. Picture how they're handled and managed. You can't, can you? Be suspicious of ingredients you can't picture. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Grandpa. He's so wise. So wise. 
you'll see a lot of these deathahedrons appearing throughout the game. You can attack them to open doors or perform various other actions. Go on, attack the deathahedron. If there was a thing near me called the deathahedron, the last thing I would do is attack it. That's oh. fair. Oh. Don't forget about the two different jump attacks. Oh, okay. Is there a jump heavy? Yeah, there is a jump heavy for that thing. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. Did they get the real uh, Travis voice actor back? Because I know there was a thing when this game was first announced where they didn't have it, but I think they, they fixed that by the time it actually released. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a dude. Common Advent says yes. Okay. Something else. I'm not sure what it is, but it, we'll get it. Okay, it's another one of these. There we go. It is pretty good that Robert Acting Down's uh, initials is rad. <laughs> I like the hand that comes up and grabs that thing at the bottom. Yes. Oh, whoops. That was that my, my turn off. The original version of the trailer, he wasn't there because the voice actor strike, but by the time the game came out, they got him to come back and re-record the trailer. Jesus. There we go. This will get me off. What is? What is? <laughs> well, this will be out of the mm -hmm. area. But what will this get me to? Is there anything over Mysterious. there? Mysterious. Is it a big pile of nothing? Oh, it that, is, is that... an Azteca stone. Yeah. We're gonna right cast. Good... And how are you doing? Oh, he's gonna pop. Yeah, he is. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. This thing's electric. I didn't notice. Don't too late. Okay. Yeah, we're just not co oping right now because, uh, you know, want to have one person looking at chat, talking to chat, timing people out for saying inappropriate things in chat. <laughs> About the special edition of Killers Dead on the 360, so I should get a Series X, so it plays good. This is a good point. At least we could cap it at 30. Yeah. If we play it on the Series X. I really am surprised this performs this well on the Switch. Right? Normally games even of this limited scope. Talk to me. You can't even talk to him? I guess because there's no enemies around? I guess. Come on, I was off of that. <laughs> One of your legs was, yes. <laughs> oh, wait. I think it popped up for one second. There it is. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Are you brave enough to eat poison? <laughs> I'm not, because I want to keep living. <laughs> I want to burn the image of my family's faces into my retinas till the moment I die. Just so don't forget, most restaurant chains are poison. Whoa! You know, that's this cool. Great. I know, it was the worst getting almost killed coming out to you, Grandpa. <laughs> you can use Badman as a second health bar in desperate situations. Wow. Oh. Wow, that's insane. To just switch.
time to knock out a homer. Is that Bloom? Yeah, that's Bloom. Okay, I was like, that sounds very Bloom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, super Bloom just in the intro bit. I was yes. like, Jesus. I find it very strange that people who have a mental block about here, like when it comes to game characters being voiced, voiced by certain voice actors, don't have that same block for normal actors. Like they don't sit there and go, I couldn't take Mission Impossible 5 seriously because it's still Tom Cruise. I can't watch any of these movies because they're Tom Cruise. <laughs> Like, usually you get that from a, I just hate this actor. Right. Sort of yes. You never get it from, oh, it's that guy again. I can't believe Hollywood used Keanu Reeves again. Yeah, I always like when um when I see some, somebody I like as an actor or a voice actor coming back. Like, I, I would never scoff at having Keanu Reeves in a movie. Right. It's just, it's only positive. <laughs> Man, Batman's weird. His heavy hits seem to hit heavier. Well, maybe not. Maybe he's just weaker in every way right uh, now. I didn't level him up. I leveled yeah. up Travis. So. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Wait, so he just takes a beer and spits it on his bat for the charge? Okay. That's that's funny. He doesn't have any skills equipped. Let me see if I can set him up with the same skills at least. Yeah, Bloom yeah. was a No More Hero one. Yeah. Here's the No More Hero. <laughs> So are we going to get a Samurai Shampoo sidetracked stream? Oh, God. Was that Suda? I don't know. I assume it had just to do with the Bloom comment, but... I think it was. No way. Comet Avid says yes. I, I I, wonder if I still have that game. Or if, I might have traded it in because I was an idiot. <laughs> That's the PS2 game? Yeah. It wasn't great, but it was uh, it was pretty neat. It's more like with the VAs because I can't see their face. I'm distracted until I figure out who I recognize this VA from. I mean, I feel like that can be a relatively normal reaction. Oh my god, I have to re equip skills each time. Or they can only have it on one or the other character. Uh, you could s save the preset? Then load it on the other one? And maybe they'll do it. Let's see. Well, at least that'll make changing it faster because all you have to do now is select a load preset. Right. That's weird. Yeah, that's I very guess, strange. I it's... guess they're assuming because the chips are a limited commodity. Right. If we were doing co-op, we would have to divvy it up. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I did that, I wouldn't have gotten to enjoy Nick Cage masterpiece, Willy's Wonderland. <laughs> and characters get exclusive chips. Yeah, yeah. Chat's been telling me about how bad man will... <laughs> That's how you look in real life? Oh, that's Sheep Man Red. That's a completely different dude. Oh, I see. Generic Sheep, Sheep man. man. Oh, that image is incredible. <laughs> yeah, it is. And his name just being Generic Sheep Man, even on that. Are you a player character? Is Triple Star back? No, no way. Just a visitor from another world. Or are you just some punk? I'm an assassin just passing through. For just passing through, you shoot to reek of bloodlust. Yep, you reek of blood, punk. Confirmed. You're a destroyer. Commence slaughter in five seconds. You're a talky ass monster, aren't you? I'll be merciful and kill you quickly. I can't be defeated easily. This is your first test, punk. You know how scary a mid-boss can be? <laughs> Underestimate me and I'll get you. I'll make sure you die painfully. Dial it back on the pillow talk. Mid-bosses are usually silent. <laughs> I don't have many friends. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell does that mean? Don't hesitate for a text box. An opening! <laughs> this dude... Could you imagine Housemark put out a uh, like one of their style games that was just a big game, like it just kept going, and they're like forty dollars. 
I wonder how that would have gone for them. I feel like poorly. I feel like this this went better than that would have gone for Housemar. Yeah, I, I think that uh, Tuda has a pedigree and a hardcore fan base. And, the, and and the writing. Yeah, the, the writing, writing is the, what you're here for. Housemark doesn't re isn't really known for that. Yeah. And they, they showed that they clearly can't get known for that. <laughs> Returnal came out, Dan. This is closer at a mechanics, visual look, etc. angle to what a Housemark game was before Returnal than Returnal is. Because it's it, it looks like it could be twin stick. Yeah. The camera is fixed in an and there are arcade aesthetics abound. Oh man, it's a good remix. Suda has a strong cult following. He has yet to put out a game that was uninteresting. I would say Let It Die was um the closest to uninteresting. For me, Shadows of the Dam is uninteresting. It doesn't grab me like Lollipop or uh, Killer's Dead did. I think it's not his moments. It definitely has a lot of weirdness is probably constrained by the the company, but... Yeah. But I think that they, there's still a good bit of, like, I can't believe they're doing this energy to it. Yeah. I still can't believe Let It Die is important. Yeah, uh, somebody said, um... Somebody said that thing is still up. Yeah. So we could go play that sometime. Yes, we could. But yeah, if you want to hand off, I'm okay with that. Sure. Ball. Hopefully we find a safe point since we beat the boss. Oh, Bob, that was just a mid-boss, though. Yeah, I know. That's that not a real boss. That's why uh... that guy has no friends. Don't respect him. <laughs> That's why I'm surprised when it cut to this. I was like, I, I, I figured there'd be another whole level. Okay, I guess we are just jumping to another one. Nice. Hey, a coin. I get the highway level. I hear this is the best level in games. Yes, obviously. Rah, 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 rah. Having me hold a button to do this is a very smart choice. What a wise man. Yes. I'm going to need you to do combat with enemies when you're the size of, like, 12 pixels. If you want to see uh, what Shadows could have been, there's a manga called Kuriyama's Dance that adapts one of the original scripts for the game. Huh. Huh. That'd be interesting. I need to start using these moves. Oh, wow. It grabbed that one from that distance. I figured at least it would get the one near me. Oh, I didn't see which one. Oh, it just grabbed an enemy who was very, very far away. Uh-oh. But yeah, I don't remember what the recharge button is. One of the... What's the recharge uh, button? Clicking left stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they changed the control from the prior game? Yeah. Okay. Just one shake and we're good? No, you, you only got a little bit. You just keep shaking it. Okay, well, I guess I'll try to kill them first. You said it was the A button to dodge? Uh, it's... Yes, yeah, the A button. But yeah, one of the most memorable things for me about Shadows was uh, the trailer you played in, game, in GameStop. Where uh, they showed, like, the girl holding her own decapitated head with blood dripping out. And it's like, are we really be showing this? <laughs> well, she's alive, so it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, you, you can just rock, you, you rock the right analog stick. You don't need to... Oh, I know. It just wasn't responding to the right analog stick, so I shook it and it Weird. worked immediately. Weird. Oh, Unreal Dungeon coin. These are important. This is Dr. Juvenile. What you just got, as you can see, is a UE logo. You can exchange it for a special t-shirt back at the trailer. How do we get back to the trailer? Do we need to manually do that? Because it seems like these levels just keep going. Yeah, it does. It does seem like that. And yeah, uh, use the R button. Get that super move. Oh, have we not actually beaten a level yet, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that was a mid-boss. Right. I was like, yeah, I'm guessing we beat a level or die. That's <laughs> that's the way this is going to work. Yeah, it was, that's why I was really hoping for a save point after the mm -hmm. mid-boss. Suda said no. Oh. 
Grandpa's words of wisdom. Did you know Japanese people eat cake on Christmas? It's a weird, mysterious tradition. Why don't Japanese people eat Japanese sweets? Christmas should be celebrated with wonderful Japanese sweets. I recommend Mitarashi Dango. Hi, sweet. Or the sweet. It's going pretty well. And yes, there have been a lot of releases recently. It's not slowing down. Oh, no. Cards what we're picking up. I know I'm picking up Metroid Dread and Tails. Uh, those are my two big ones. And in Fourth Normal Heroes 3, that's Yeah, No that's More Heroes 3 and Metroid Dread are my two big ones. Yeah, Nintendo is really... <laughs> monopolizing the rest of the year. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like, last year was almost nothing, and this year's like, yeah, no, it's just, just everything. Wrong one, Travis. I really... I really don't like that that power just auto selects. Okay, we have coins. Good. Loser. It That's doesn't even say game over. True. We could have it's switched just, characters. I just, just I forgot about loser. that. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. I'm concerned. I'm holding off on normal history because I'm concerned how it's going to run. Switch. Look, it's a suited game. It's not going to run well. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, let yeah. me solve this mystery for I, you. I don't like shit but yeah. it'll be hilarious and amazing right i'm like i, I think that i'll deal with it because <laughs> basically all these games are on release but i played them ran bad <laughs> this seems like it's the best one that ran or best a, running suit game ever yeah, yeah it's a real shame that it's followed up by no more here's three might be the worst running one <laughs> based on trailer footage i mean the trailer footage was running better than i ever expected that game to okay it wasn't great <laughs> i was so close right <laughs> The action lines towards his crotch as he takes his shit. <laughs> He's just pooping in cyberspace, Dan. It's very cool. <laughs> and yeah, he still doesn't wipe, of course. No. And now there isn't even the, the toilet paper I... to like imply maybe there's some sort of transitionary wipe. And, and no, no, nothing. <laughs> uh, clearly, when you shit in cyberspace, you're clean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they have space bidets. Yes. Grandpa's words of wisdom. People's success stories aren't worth shit. D yeah, Grandpa's fucking wise. People's <laughs> stories of failure are, far, are worth more than gold. There you go. He's a smart man. Very smart. Very smart. Oh, yeah. I forgot there's that Tsukihime remake coming soon. I'm more excited for Melty Blood, of course, but I'm, I'm curious of Tsukihime. If they did it up for it, I would kick it up. I know they're not doing that. Like, I just have a real hard time sitting down playing that much visual novel in general, but, like, Blaze Blue was able to get me through it with, with voice dub. acting, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Excessive. Oh my god, the fence! Sh -sh -sh. Oh, thank you, DTB Baron. Nice. Yeah, Monday stream. Oh god, it is Monday. Yeah. I've lost all track of days because there's because... nothing but streams and then a little bit of not stream yesterday. Yeah, just the tiniest bit of not stream as a treat. Which almost came into, became Goboku for no reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I'm of course wearing my, uh, my Monday shirt. <laughs> oh, nice. It became the tiger. I yeah, did... yeah. They did that once while you weren't looking. It was great. Oh, they didn't even announce a localization for Tsukihime yet? Weird. Oh, well, I guess Please. maybe if Melty Blood sells well, they'll do it. <laughs> As <to> Moe. <laughs> so is this game about Travis becoming Captain N? I mean, kind of. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Do what you've left today, tomorrow. Do what you leave tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. But the day after tomorrow, stay up all night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grandpa, so wise. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, there's one more down there. Yeah, no, the visuals it's going for in this stage are really nice. Yeah, no, this looks really good. I did not expect it. I, again, I didn't expect it to run this well or have a, a decent art style for most of it. I thought this game would look a lot cheaper. Yeah. Buguro. Buguro. Oh, and he has ramen. Beware. Hmm. Yeah, of course, Jimmy Guy Tense is also looking real good. Yeah, that looks incredible. Yeah, it's a really good year. Nintendo's doing great. <laughs> they got them exclusives. I hear that doesn't matter, though. Okay. I saw some insane numbers for Hades sales. I don't know if they're true. Okay. Shoot me. 91% uh, of sales for the new release were PlayStation. We got a customer. Come on in. Give me your best ramen. Sure thing. Here you go. Itadakimasu. <laughs> God. Hakata Togots. A great way to end the day. A pork based Western style all star. Darn that, Suda. <laughs> He'll catch up eventually. Oh. Well, damn. <laughs> we have uh, two people in chat both saying that that's a great ramen. <laughs> it, yeah, it is. I like it better than the show you ramen. Having only eaten the instant version of these, yeah, I, I, I agree. <laughs> they released that biking trailer for Samurai Showdown. Ah, they did release it. Yeah, they did I saw your tweet where you're like, was this early? <laughs> yeah, I think a few <laughs> hours later they actually put the trailer out. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it was exactly who we immediately assumed it would be. Yeah, I think it's who everyone immediately thought it would be. Yeah. For some reason, they... Whoa! Gold, gold bug. bug. He it's looks like, like something. I can't, re I can't place it, though. Maybe it's something in Killer is Dead. I don't know. It just looks really familiar for some reason. But yeah, it's, it's really weird because they have giant parts of the trailer where it's just her speaking Japanese and they don't subtitle it. <laughs> It's like, all right, come on, come on. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> There's just a toilet here. <laughs> That's what really a good. good. Game. You guys realize you're playing No More Heroes Recoded right now, yeah? Uh, no. Recoded is not this good. <laughs> so I wish Recoded played well. <laughs> or had it... Oof. Oof. <laughs> what if you did a dump in the Elsha to Die dimension? <laughs> I'm very excited for Elsha Die coming back. <laughs> I like the response. Hey. Recoded one fifth of it's good. <laughs> That's rough, man. 
Visitor, I've been waiting. Oh, he's Electro Triple Star. My name is Electro Triple Star, the main character of the amazing hit game, Electric Thunder Tiger. I'm looking at you. You're not main character of anything. <laughs> no. Triple Star, I know you. I played that... <laughs> That for days at the arcade, the industrial monster designs were badass, and your big cannon was even more awesome. I see. You're a video game superstar and my hero. Visitor, why do we fight? Blood. The visitor fights for bloodthirst, only for that. It just gets my blood rushing. You feel it too, right? Well, electricity is my blood. Your arrival gets my electricity rushing. It's a bad omen. Blood and electricity, huh? Do you have a family? Yeah. Are they important to you? How many answers are there to that question? What about you? I was unable to protect my beloved family. Finding me will result in making your family grieve. Don't worry. I'll send you on your way back to your family. Maybe it's because this is an action game, but the only stage prepared for us is on one on which to fight. What do you want to do? A barbecue together? Me? I'll pass. You're right. All right, then. Draw your sword. Okay, you power up. Once this text disappears, we do this. They should have just had Suda write a house mark game. <laughs> God, that would be really good. Oof. Was this? I, I was trying to think. Well, is he supposed to be Mega Man or something? Just like with his Buster arm into highway stage. Yeah, maybe. Can you uh, cancel animations with your dodge? Not that I've noticed. It seems like they just get to go afterwards. You get punished for being greedy. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> yeah, I love no, this music. It, Returnal, if Suda wrote it, would be the best game ever made. <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> Come on. Nope. Oh, no. Man, sometimes the input, the input buffer is massive. Yeah. It's just like I didn't, I hit dodge like an hour ago. Yeah, I hit, I hit dodge while I was in the ground 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I was thinking the red bar would be another health bar. Maybe it is. Visitor, do you live up to your name? Visitor, you're good. You're wasting your life as an assassin. Live in the world of video games. Games are supposed to be played, not lived. I want you to be in my next game. I'll text you later. Contact me anytime if you like. Whatever. Anyway, hurry up and change phase. You're not telling me this is the end, right? As you wish. Now for phase two. Seriously, this dude is batshit crazy. I like it, triple star. I call upon electricity with body and soul. Electronic shooting star! Oh no. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Normal attacks won't work for phase two. First, destroy these pe those pesky lights. With a message like that, I am uh, inclined to believe in testing. They found out people didn't even try. Yeah. Yeah. They thought it would hurt them. I mean, they look super dangerous, so I, 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 I would not. I wouldn't expect it. Yeah, my it. first thought is that they would fry me. Right? Hit it with the stick. Uh, let's do this. Nope, that didn't buy me enough time. No. Let's do that. Yeah, Travis Strikes Again has been pretty neat so far. Yeah, I really enjoy the music. Yeah. The music in the uh, art design's really, really good. God, that's a deep break. <laughs> that felt damn good. This isn't over yet, Travis. No way. Tonight, I am especially strong. <laughs> Bitchin! <laughs> Visitor, defeat me and take this world in your hands. <laughs> Yeet. Just 
<laughs> just fucking unga. Right. Okay, there we go. Fuck you! <laughs> Wait, what? We wrestling? In slow-mo? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. There it is. Nice, nice metal slug text. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you use it for the results to read too. Sure. What are you trying to say about my playing ability with that continuous level three charge time text? <laughs> Ugh. To become legend is painful. <laughs> Visitor, this is true pain. I now know pain. The pain only defeated... Wait, the pain only the defeated know. You are past redemption, Visitor. Will this world be saved or destroyed? Do with it as you like. I don't need to be told. I'll do as I like anyway. I thank you. I was uncomfortable here. Maybe I was waiting for your arrival. I wish we could have met somewhere else. Farewell, my hero. Goodbye, Triple Star. This world salute, salutes you. You gave us a bit of peace and order. The next Death Driver shall take on the deletion of the Destroyer. You calling me a Destroyer? I could get used to it, but I really hate those stereotypical anti-hero types. You've cleared the game. Yeah, he does have a scar on his face now. Yeah. Oh, it's like a Switch cartridge. That, that's just a Zelda parody item yeah, again. Yeah, as he, why? I don't know why, but here it is. That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> so, is this supposed to remind me of the jumping through time thing? I think it has to be exactly that. Because that's very funny. We need a year's counter to just fly up. <laughs> I got a lot of use out of that. You know, when we didn't know the pre-orders were going to go live. Yeah, yeah. For the PS5 for like, what was it? Eight fucking months we were waiting. It's like, guys, guys, guys. I thought the game crashed for a moment there. <laughs> Load times are just long enough. I fought my old hero, Triple Star. Was it a dream? Was it real life? When I fight assassins, my mind just goes blank. It's like a form of etiquette between two people fighting to the death. As always, I took three deep breaths and closed my eyes. But this time, my trick for clearing my emotions didn't seem to work. Triple Star was right in front of my eyes. My own personal superstar. Memories of childhood came flooding back. My emotions were all out of whack. I killed my own hero. No more heroes. <laughs> Someday, one of these days, Electric, Tugger, Tug <laughs> Electric Thunder Tiger 3 will be back. I bet Devolver is going to buy the rights and make a sequel. God. A man can hope, can he? Also, ETT3 is going to feature Travis Touchdown, like as a sidekick or some shit. Good night, Triple Star. <laughs> you were a true hero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game's great. I don't I don't know what's wrong with journalists. In the trailer, you could use the Death Drive Mark II to start new games, buy and change t-shirts, and view other materials like faxes or the archives. A new t-shirt has been added to the bathroom menu. A new article has been added to the Robin blog. Fax received from K. That fly is back. That's why the whole light flickers. A new scenario has been added to Travis Strikes Back, Head for Your Motorcycle. Save. I, at least it looks like you patched things up with Murder Man or whatever his name was. Batman. Batman. <laughs> Why were his legs so sweaty? <laughs> they always are. <sighs> like he's having a he has a tough day, a tough job. Uh huh. He's always sweating. I like how in the intro we just get sucked in and it's like, oh shit. And now it's like, oh, I can turn it back on to come back in and be Batman and Friends. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's kind of weird. Where is the bass from the chain shirts? What a real gamer. Triple monitor. Triple monitor PC. I don't even have that. I have two. Well, technically I have three, but that's chat monitor. Right. right. That's different. Let's check out the t-shirt. <sighs> like for Siren? Yeah. What? Dragon's Dogma! Darker it. Fire! <laughs> These are incredible. Wait, that one just doesn't even have a translation. What was it? Is I think that's Fatal Frame. Jet set ready. <laughs> Deadly finish. <laughs> Wait, is the Out Foxies that arcade game? I don't recognize it. I think they it. changed the name for the states to Out Foxer or something. That's the original uh, Smash Bros. game. Oh. Like where it's it's the same play style vaguely. Huh. It's like, what the hell? What the heck? Who is this guy? Very cool is who he is. Unreal Green. <laughs> Unreal Green. Um, so I'm torn. <laughs> there are a lot of good shirts here. Well, I want to rep Deadly Premonition. Uh, this this Hotline Miami 2 shirt's very powerful. Something's telling me to put, put on the Dragon's Dogma t-shirt because it's too funny to be like, it looks so bad. Dragon's Dog. <laughs> Dark Arisen. <laughs> Isami Kodaka is a wrestler. Okay. That makes sense. You know what, Bob? What, how about this? Okay. I'll do this for one level. Go then you can it. do Dragon's Dogma. Maybe we'll unlock better t-shirts by next time anyway. I don't know. These are pretty great. They are. So I, I, I'm pretty sure No More History will have some good t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's Ooh, a t-shirt shop. Look. This game's so good. <laughs> look at all this. Demombo. American Dream. Is that like 1970s? <laughs> One like Windows wow, 3.1. Yeah, this is like the original Mac OS. <laughs> <laughs> As it turns out, if you're suited, you say, hey, I want your indie game in my game. You say yes. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, apparently the American Dream is some some VR game where you use a gun on everything. <laughs> is there an Untail shirt, Smith? Sorry, my brain just filters out Undertale at this point. <laughs> God, this is like everything. It's kind of ridiculous. Hey, there's a messenger and hot to boyfriend. <laughs> Go not. <laughs> That's a really good shirt. Drew these. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm about to buy it. <laughs> it's really good. It's cheap. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I would buy that shirt in real life, <laughs> right? <laughs> Holy shit! What? What do you? Why are they so many points? What in the world? <laughs> but this is. Yeah, these are the ones we already have. Tokyo show you an extremely simple ramen. Slurp up the opaque soup while taking in the aroma of the soy sauce to really relax. The noodles are the flat intertwining Hirauchi men type. Yes. Yup, this is Edo. This is old school ramen. It's like your tongue went on a funky journey through time. And also comes with a boiled egg, hard, not soft, lol, thick cut, char, sh char shu pork, and lots of green onions. Grab some pot stickers while you're at it. A lot of them. And you're going to need a beer too. What? No beer? The ramen was stellar, but no beer meets a penalty of minus 50,000 points. Gochi so sama deshita. 
Okay, so that's just what he his yes, rating. This is his blog. It's like we had to pay to read his blog. Why does it have minus ten million? <laughs> yeah, okay. Hakata Tokots. An aroma that keeps you coming back for more, like a good hot spring in that milky white tonkot sauce. I wish I could jump in right, jump right into that soup and unwind after a long day. Slip up those thin, firm noodles quickly before they go soggy. Looking up, I notice a sign on the wall saying, free noodle refills for up to two bowls. Without hesitation, I scored another bowl full of super firm noodles. The taste of Hakata blooms inside my mouth, and the beer doesn't exist. What the hell? I'm try dumping in a bunch of pickled ginger as a pick-me-up. Then another bowl full of noodles. Hey, it's my life. The ramen was good, but due to the missing beer, minus 10 million points. Gochisho sama deshita. Why is it always that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the idol on the screen, star screen of every Death Drive game. Okay. Diving into the world of Death Drive will indeed make for an amazingly immersive experience. At the same time, the longer you spend inside, the more severe the damage it does to your brain. Even now, in just that single instant, your brain has been thrown into fear and rage by the horrible, distur horribly disturbing white noise and signals from the machine. You're a clever guy, so I'm sure you've noticed it yourself. Yeah, he's very clever. <laughs> the construction of the human brain is extremely delicate and precise. The signals sent from this game destroy your brain tissues extremely easily and can even burn off your nerve tissue. I pray you'll turn back now while you can. God bless America. Okay. Oh, okay. We can read Death Drive Mark II magazine. Oh, my God. Jesus, this game. Oh, uh, yeah. We got that data tape. <laughs> Look at that dat. Why, why is it holding? <laughs> I don't know. What Do you put medicine in it? <laughs> yeah, it's just an aroma pot. It's, okay. Its extension unit is a pot? Our editorial department has gotten its hands on some super juicy info. Apparently, there's a pot attached to the console. That's not to say that you're going to be pushed into buying a pot along with the main unit in some weird set, though. The pot comes attached as an extremely crucial part of the console itself. So here's my prediction. I'm thinking the fact that the console comes with a pot means you'll be able to cook ramen while you play. Perfect for those of us playing with the munchies. This is ridiculous. God. <laughs> they have fake scores and everything. <laughs> Originality. <laughs> Where's the reveal it? viewers tilt? <laughs> uh, that would be uh, worth buying, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Master Master Taro Gina. Oh, that's good. That's really strong. Yeah. What? It's giving me actual cheats. What? The place in the photo input the following command. What? That this is, is insane. That is really smart. <laughs> Luckily, it seems to be the same input for both. I'm not sure if it'll be the same input across all games, though. Right. This game's nuts. He should sure did put a lot of effort into this game. Yeah. Yeah, I guess let's uh check out that title screen. How do I Do I go back into this game? I can't select anything else. Weird. I'll be back. Not this title screen. God, the poses. It's really good. Uh, 
Imagine there was a console so weird that it sounded like a VHS. <laughs> that would be really weird. Since tragedy struck. Electric Speed City has suddenly been covered in darkness. It seems to be the second coming of the blackout three years ago. The city is currently Whoa. being <sighs> full quarantine by the military and with absolutely no information released. One man no rises up once again. <laughs> Yeah, it seems insane to me, to me that reviewers never implied the depth of this, right? Mm -hmm. Like the amount of stuff that's in this. Okay. But if I leave it here, something's supposed to happen? Is that oh, what That's what I was saying. Maybe that intro thing it just played. Maybe. Was it? Okay, so... It was supposed to play that trailer? Okay. So the first time we booted it up, we were supposed to leave it there to get that. God, that's insane. Yeah. So the question is now, since we've already done this, how do we leave? Oh, okay. we hit start. All right. <laughs> that fucking kills me. I think I think this is really great. I, I really wish I had a better impression of what this game was for the reviews and coverage. Yeah. Because instead of talking about all the joy and neat stuff in this, they were like, it's $40 and it's trying to be an arcade game, but it's not really. I'm like, okay, well, I don't know about that. Yeah, every review I watched was pretty down on it. Yeah, I didn't see anything overly positive. I like did not notice his fucking power glove until just now. That's a fucking power glove. Yeah, that's the desk glove. For... That's true. Is he wearing the other one on his other hand? Yes. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Or on the same hand. Yeah, that makes Weird. sense. Weird. Well, because you would want to... <laughs> but I don't think in the intro that was two left-hand gloves, but I don't know, whatever. Does Maybe a, I'm wrong. They're saying you should check out Batman's chart. I can't. Yeah, I can't because of the shadow. Oh, well. shirts they were saying like go check out his oh shirts. like the ones that he can put on got yeah. it i need to put on travis's shirt anyways oh okay it is on yeah yeah you got that but i didn't put on the uh better shirt <laughs> yes <laughs> He's way better at showing off the shirt. He is. Unfortunately, they can't. Oh, they can share shirts. Whew. I would have been worrying if they couldn't. I mean. Wait, the shop had an option to buy all. Okay. I don't think we need all of them right now, but. I wonder if it like. Yeah, I'm not. Seeing it up here, maybe all the way at the bottom. No. Oh, it's just the first one. Unlock all. What? 
<laughs> then what's the point of money? I don't know. What? Okay. Sure. Why not? Why not? That came in with the DLC. I don't know why, though. None of these were expensive. Yeah, I don't know. So how do we actually unlock the next stage? Oh, well, maybe there's a motorcycle. I think they said that. Yeah, there was a motorcycle thing. And... <laughs> we gotta go collect the death balls. Start Trivis Track Spike? <laughs> so you're wondering where this is. This is my hideout, but since I've invited you here, it's kind of pointless now. Information finds any route it can to leak and spread somehow. Whatever, I'll be gone tomorrow. So where to start? Well, my life has turned upside down ever since Batman showed up. I just wanted to live here in peace. I was sick of paying for my life in the assassin rankings, so I came here. I wanted to become one with the trees and become a living thing again. I needed to get away from the fame. Now, I know it's not cool to leave a wife and kid behind to come here. What? But that's another story. So anyway, Batman had a fucking death ball. <laughs> one of the six legendary <laughs> games I had to search everywhere for them. I had searched everywhere for them. And the one he had was Electric Thunder Tiger 3, where Triple Star makes his comeback, a sequel to the legendary masterpiece. I played the shit out of it at the arcade. I was able to beat the game in one go. That game was a real legend. Anyways, apparently it seems that I killed Batman's daughter or something. <laughs> Must have been that one chick. She was a real crazy one. <laughs> one of my top three opponents. What? You want to hurry up and play? Just wait a second. You know, these death balls can only be played on the Death Drive Mark II console. A dark, unnatural console that never actually got released. There were only a few prototypes and they went for millions on world-famous auction sites. A true legend among legends. The first-gen Death Drive was only available for a single month and only in certain regions. It was an arcade cabinet that basically became an urban legend. So when it was announced that the Mark II would be a console, gamers totally collectively lost their shit. But it ended up never getting released. The so-called dangerous hardware became nothing but a rumor. But that wasn't the only rumor. There were six games that were scheduled to be released together with the Death Drive Mark II console. It was said that if you collected the Death Ball cartridges for all six games, loaded them up and beat them all, then your wish would come true, whatever you wanted. That was the urban legend going around. Fucking bad man. Is he really trying to bring his daughter back to life? That dude is such a hassle. So anyway, long story short, that dickhead Batman and I, we ended up inside, inside this here Death Drive Mark II. Okay, you ready? Let the game begin. He's not going to explain how he got the second one or anything. It's just going to be like, yeah, and then we were in here. Yeah, he had it, I guess. Hazure. <laughs> Hazure. It's good. You might be able to just click scenario this time? I don't know. Oh, that's just to select a scenario. Oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. I may need a drink. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of words. Yeah. Hey, Bob, you cover this while I go sure. get some water. Go for it. The wind hurts. Days like this are bad luck. Something bad's gonna happen. This road leads to danger and trouble. I know it. I mean, trying new things in a new place usually causes the, the to hit the fan. <laughs> I'm well aware of that. People ask me. What's the meaning of killing if you're risking your own life? It doesn't mean anything. It's about instinct, about meaning. That spark lights up in your brain. And that sweet, sweet dopamine starts to flow. There's no meaning to men fighting. 
men are born to fight. <laughs> My name is Travis Touchdown. The legendary assassin? <laughs> nah. The dude of legend has retired. My real story begins here. Get ready for the most hardcore bad assassin in history. Do 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 do. On the road. Hey. You. God, these faces are too much. I didn't expect Travis to be this anime looking. <laughs> if you're trying to hitch a ride, find a car. This bike ain't got room for you. Are you Travis? We've been waiting for you. Huh? Are you two assassins or what? Oh no. My name is Bruno San Marino. This is Red Ribbon. It's a bit complicated to explain. You got a minute? Not really. Keep it short and sweet. <laughs> okay. I'll give you the quick version. You're searching for the 3D devices known as Death Boss. <laughs> Our mission is to let you know. Where the, where, where the connecting points to the Death Balls are? So you know where the Death Balls are. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so where are the balls? <laughs> we know where they are. That's why we're here. We actually came from a place called the Why 25th called Ward. Red Ribbon? <laughs> What's Bruno and Red Ribbon? <laughs> but it kind of vanished. So we were sent here till the, our next destination is decided. The 25th Ward? Never heard of it. Whatever. Where are the balls? Tar tranquil tranquilo. Tranquilo, buddy. Take it easy. <laughs> you fuck with an assassin. And your next destination will be a world of darkness. Yeah, we'd like to avoid that. <laughs> There's a place called the Nightmare Burger down this road. There'll be a Japanese guy waiting for you there. Go ahead and follow his lead. So that's it? That's it. <laughs> we just told you. The connecting points. <laughs> Telling you the connecting points is our mission. Uh, can I ask you one more thing? I just, uh, one more thing. Sure, what is it? <laughs> Why'd the 25th ward vanish? A man-made natural disaster. A rezoning project. Rezoning project. Called the Raging Earth Plan? Rage Earth Plan. <laughs> Another way to put it would be <sighs> exclusivity cleansing. Or maybe genocide. Yeah. Put it negatively. What do you mean to put it negatively? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Naruto. That, uh, that sucks. <laughs> See you in the next space time. Later, Travis. We'll hitch a ride next time. I can't take both of you. Do, do us a favor and slap on a sidecar. <laughs> <laughs> you guys talk too much. Yeah, this is great. I don't know what's wrong with the reviewers. <laughs> nightmare Burger. Can I? Yeah. So this is the famous Nightmare Burger. I'm not really a fan of eating out. But this place is supposed to be pretty good. I mean, I got no idea what the hell they're feeding me here anyway. <laughs> you see, he took Grandpa's advice. Yes. He's Grandpa-pilled. <laughs> the vibe here isn't bad. The shop is dreary, but with a sense of cleanliness. Hold on. Why the hell am I talking like a narrator? 
<laughs> it's like I automatically started thinking out loud. Have I been, like, hypnotized? I just have this urge to talk. Hmm. Meat and vegetables from selected growers. Shipped in every morning directly from the farm. They use grapeseed oil for the fries? This place is full on. No way. Kobe beef patties. Are you shitting me? My mouth is watering. The aroma of the grilled Kobe beef. It's kickstarting my digestive system. Chill out, man. First, I gotta order. Menu. Menu. Where's the menu? It's right under my feet. I bow down to the management skill. Guess I'll check the menu while I'm down here. <laughs> and place my order. The alluring garlic slice burger. B set. Yep, I nailed it. Now I'll just wait at my table. Do? Do? I mean, it's supposed to be dough. There's a hardcore psycho frame coming off of that guy. The message boy those guys mention. It's got to be this dude. I recommend the shakes here. <laughs> it's like a Persona 4 for tag here. I'm, I'm sorry. One second, <laughs> chat. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. We need to pause this for one second while I pop up with something in the uh, overlay. <laughs> I'm sure well, yeah, everybody's getting really good. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. It's true. I... <laughs> His hat's on, though, in all of these shots, so they won't see it. Okay, I was like, I'm not seeing it, but, uh, I... I guess <laughs> his hat's on in every shot, so it's gonna it's gonna ruin the visibility of this uh, specific brain spider. But uh, you know, whatever, we'll we'll work with what we have. Uh, I'm just gonna do this right now. And, uh, I, I kind of expect you to post that guy from Colombo yesterday. <laughs> I'm just gonna put him right there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there you go, Bob. You can read the rest of your line now. <laughs> Strawberry in particular. It's how his fucking nose is drawn. That's what really gets me. <laughs> it's self-serve. What's your name? Kamui Uhara. Kami Kamui. Kamui. Weird name. Thanks for the tip. Please just leave the place. That'd be really great. <laughs> But I'm more of a challenger. I dig the new stuff more than the classics. Pineapple shake? So anyway, Kamui. I talked to Bruno San Marino and Red Ribbon. Where are the death balls? I'll show you. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get moving. Please let me finish my meal. <laughs> We've got plenty of time. Oh yeah. I haven't eaten my burger yet. <laughs> Allow me to explain while you eat. Okay. I don't actually know the concrete location of the death balls. <laughs> what? Huh? Seriously? Are you supposed to take me to them? I'm an observer. Are you some kind of fucking con man? I'm some. Uh, I'm something asking to a compass. A, a kin to a compass. I'll guide you to a very special point. This sounds like bullshit. Finish your burger and get the hell out of my sight. Do you agree with them? Oh my god! That is not how Gene looks! Trust him, Travis! <laughs> <laughs> if it's only way to find the dust balls. See where the where this leads. Follow his, this creep. This is this is amazing. God, I can't believe that. If that's what Gene says, then that's that. <laughs> what do you mean? How did you know? That this cat talks? <laughs> I am an observer, you know. I could tell by the general atmosphere. <laughs> this guy is one of them. But you should go with him. That's a terrible misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? My eyes are sharp. Your eyes are dead. <laughs> Watch your tone, cat. 
<laughs> you want to take this cat on? <laughs> okay, that's enough for now. Be nice, kids. So you'll follow me then? I'll allow it. <laughs> you have no schools. Your eyes are dead. <laughs> <laughs> she just won't let up. Your burger is here. Kobe beef, bring it on! Can we get Gene as the view counter? Oh that yeah, be, we should do that. that yeah, that oh, Gene should... is really strong. <laughs> We're gonna top 200 miles per hour. The special point calls to us. The road leads through. Kansas! This is gonna be interesting. That tone didn't work at all. I didn't know where the sentence was going. <laughs> I'm Ron Burgundy. Car wash. This is a car wash. Just like a set from a movie. The special place is in the back. Let's go. Hey, your nose is bleeding. I can feel it. We're zeroing in. Here it comes. Excuse me, sir. I'm afraid we don't do motorcycles. She's the special point. <laughs> Sukino, Suki Yono Akira. Ak Akari. <laughs> oh my God. Another Japanese person, huh? Huh? A competitor, huh? What a goddamn hassle. So why are you hiding out here? Must be a reason. Can we take this someplace else? <laughs> Come around the back. I don't want to cause any trouble here. In that case, let's go elsewhere. Someplace with good barbecue. <laughs> I'm hungry. Good call. <laughs> Are you gonna kill me? Do I look like it? Not, not, not anymore. <laughs> I've seen you somewhere before. A dark website. Live streaming assassins. You were champ of the assassins rankings, right? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. Anyway, follow me. Travis Touchdown. Travis Touchdown's such a fucking good name. Barbecue restaurant. <laughs> All right. I think I get it. So you guys are looking for the death balls, and you can't get to one without going through me. So you know where the balls are. Yeah, I know. Good girl. You know your shit. So where are they? I'm holding on to one for a dear friend. You think I'm just going to trust you and hand it off? I mean, an assassin shows up out of nowhere telling me to hand over the ball. It's only natural that I'd be like, go fuck yourself and kill you, <laughs> right? <laughs> Most people would be surprised, indeed. I've killed all over the underworld. I'm ready to go anytime, anywhere. Some otaku dickhead with corded gecko hair. <laughs> An annoying ass Japanese dude with creepy eyes. I'm supposed to trust that? And that cat you got is just fugly as sin. <laughs> hey, Travis. <laughs> Bob, I'm starting to think you shouldn't read Gene's Yeah, line. I don't think so. <laughs> Hurry up and snuff this bitch. That's a very fe feminine voice, right? Yes. That, I think that's more, more appropriate. I, I think it just needs to be feel. <laughs> we do the what picture. What the hell? <laughs> so this cat talks? The fuck kind of creepy anime shit is this? <laughs> you kiss your mother with that mouth? You really want to die that badly? I'll kill you. I'll kill you myself. Oh, calm down. I'm, calm I'm down. Like, come on, dude. I got three characters. You still got to talk some of the time. <laughs> Listen, Akari. You do best to avoid dissing the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Some red dream of cat lovers everywhere. Because oh she's God. an anime cat? I don't even know what that means. A talking cat. <laughs> okay. Fuck off, eyeball. Bring it on, Travis. Or can you only fight with your title on the line? Well, there's no price on your little head. But keep talking shit and I'll do you for free. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm <laughs> down. Akari, tell us what you want. Whatever. So there isn't enough time nor budget to make a new boss fight for this game. I get that now. You're pretty observant, sweetheart. Budget my ass! <laughs> Just tweak the specs and kill her ass! <laughs> Shut up, cat. 
Please, just let me negotiate. <laughs> Gene, keep quiet. Son of a bitch! God. I can't ag <laughs> I can't ignore this goddamn cat. But I have one condition. If you could solve this crossword puzzle, I'll hand over the ball. What? Simple. <laughs> Done. Correct! As promised, you can have your ball. <laughs> Here you go! This is totally not a ball. Travis, don't hesitate! Carve the bitch up! <laughs> what is this supposed to mean? This is an adventure. Life is an adventure. The time for space travel is now, or whatever. Every secret has a key. An adventure needs a key too, right? I've even made it a bit easier for you. What is the what is this key for? I got it from my ex roommate, Doctor Juvenile. Juvenile, huh? I see. So that's the gimmick then. Let's go, Trav. Go where? We don't even know what this key. I know. I told you. I'm good at solving mysteries. This is so good. This game is amazing. Oh my god, we're still going. Here you here we are. This is incredible. <laughs> this is just some convenience store. There's an underground dungeon here. <laughs> it's set up like a what? labyrinth. So we'll need a plan to reach the treasure. Oh my, oh my god. god. That's easy. Cheat. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. We're gonna cheat. <laughs> Slam in a cheat code. I don't think cheating would be a good idea. I'll try though. Death ball acquired. <laughs> Bitchin! Oh, oh that is. I'm, I'm saving that. Some good art. That's really good. That that might be our viewers. <laughs> 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 Glad I tried tried cheating like that. You gotta keep a flexible head, otherwise you'll never crack anything. What in the world? Welcome, Travis. Hey, Bishop is alive. That thing <laughs> you asked for isn't in yet. That's not why I'm here. Check this out. No way. No way! A death ball? You picked up a replica? This is the real deal, son. How? Where? Who? How much? <laughs> How much will you take for, for, for it? <laughs> Hold up. Chill. I've got a favor to ask you. Try booting this on your death drive. On my own shop's hardware? Check whether or not it's the real thing. Come on, man. That'll take... High con concentration ox high concentrated oxygenated water. Why? <laughs> <laughs> you know how much that's gonna cost? Do it for me. I don't have time to go back to Texas and check now. Ooh. I'll bring you the latest Mik flick for next time. <laughs> In that case, bring me his new TV series. Is that on cable? Tokyo TV in Japan. Tokyo TV? Leave it to me. I'll call my buddy in Japan. Hold on a sec. Go ahead, I'll be standing by. Guess I should take this opportunity to explain. I love that they're playing this theme. <sighs> this guy's name is Boots Bootsarashi Vili Bishop. Younger brother of Georgie Bishop, who was killed in No More Heroes. <laughs> God. Fuck. <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> he took over his brother's shop, Beefhead, and reopened it as a video game shop. He puts flowers on his brother's grave every year. One time, Mike himself came to pay his respects. Oh my God. <laughs> Man, Mike is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> also, just to avoid any misunderstanding, this thing with me talking to myself over here, this isn't a ripoff of that pervert Deadpool or whatever his name is. <laughs> God. All right, as long as we're clear. We did this shit first. Just wanted to make sure we're clear on that. I've heard of this before. The fourth wall, right? Okay, good. She's back up. 
<laughs> I gotta I gotta switch to full screen feed. Give me one moment. <laughs> Now I just changed this to be the game instead of us. <laughs> there we go. Then I changed this to full screen project to the other screen. Then I boot this program. <laughs> then I find my mouse. <laughs> We're getting there. Seriously, where did my mouse go? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. This is a nightmare. I have three monitors that it could be on. Okay, here we go. Follow it across. Follow it across. We can do there this. There we go. Okay, we're good. Nice. Let's save this real quick. <gasps> this is such an insane portrait for Gene. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if, if he'll just be able to talk in the new one. Yeah, I really hope so, just to fuck with people who didn't see it. Right. She certainly doesn't look like this. Because they released a screenshot with her in it. <laughs> oh, King Carpad stole first place with 101 bits. Thank nice. you, King Carpad. We appreciate the support. Okay, let's change out this viewer pick. Yeah, I don't think she even has the cross save scar on her face. I guess they did announce a voice actor for the cat. I just assumed that they would just be making meowing noises. But I guess now <laughs> knowing this. <laughs> so yeah, she'll be voiced by Knack. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Gotta change the scale filter so it looks a little bit smoother. There we go. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why choosing your algorithm that you scale with is very important. <gasps> if I disable, you can see it looks like fucking shit. I change it to point, it still looks like fucking shit. I change it to area, it <laughs> looks okay. I'm sorry, Moe Blob, it's your time in the sun's done. Right, they haven't returned, I'm surprised. I'm sure we'll have some super heroin team. We just haven't seen them yet. It'd be weird if we had a film more heroes without that. Wait, Knack is in the PS4 Knack? Yeah. Knack from the big game, Knack 2. Yeah, from the hit game, Knack 2. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good image for our chat. That was worth it. Gene voiced by Gilbert Godfrey. No! The instinct the gamers grab the controller, they are controlled, connected directly to the game. Travis has the ability to sense this stuff. It's kind of his thing. Basically, he's sensitive to this side of things. This side? This feels really familiar. Travis, it's ready. It boots up just fine, but loading is a bit unstable. Anyway, you can play any time. Nice one, Bishop. Traff, this is where we part ways. My job here is done. <laughs> I hope your adventure goes well. Part ways? Don't get yourself killed out there. Let's meet again if we're both still alive. Yeah, take care. <laughs> Let's hurry back home. Let's punch it. That guy, I sensed something, but there's a demon in his eye. <laughs> Maybe he's off to the edge of the world. Whatever, let's not dwell on the details. This one's incredible, Bishop. Everyone has betrayed us by not letting us know how good this is. <laughs> so all that was to get one ball. Yeah, now we have to play that ball. And then we have to do that four more times. Yes. Yeah, the stream might end up being ten and a half hours. Someone was saying that Easy Alley's reviews is like a 5.5. I'm going to guess that that was Huber. Out of 10? Yeah. 
I'm like, maybe their scale isn't dead. <laughs> it's absurd enough without the oh <laughs> yeah it's 5.5 out of 5.5 <laughs> yeah that, that's quite the scale ben. Oh, ben life is destroy a real life mass murderer he could appear anywhere and kill anyone what color is the most bl wait? What color is the blood of the most terrible criminal in U.S. history? Can you escape from this game's horrible pleasure? A mix of puzzle and action elements combining to form a new kind of game based on the real life tragic crime that took place in a newly built residential area. While solving a slew of puzzles and stages based on American suburbs throughout the years, doppelganger massacres, a varied lineup of garbage people in this crazy ass game. Oh. Massacres can be a verb and also a plural noun. Oh, yeah. That really fucked me up there. <laughs> Doppelganger massacres, the very lineup of garbage people in this crazy ass game. The actual crime itself is filled with mystery. It's unknown how he managed to murder all those people without getting caught, as well as why he killed his wife but spared his daughter. On top of that, his daughter still is yet to be found. In this game, you have to kill off all the enemies, residents, that keep coming your way. It's a bit creepy, but once you get into it, you just can't stop. Doppelganger was once a social worker, helping young people who had fallen through the cracks of society. One day, something set him off, leading him to murder his wife and then all of the garbage people throughout the city. All in all, he claimed more than 3,200 victims. Surprisingly, his weapon of choice is said to be a corkscrew. And to this day, he continues to evade capture. This guy is ultra fucked up. <laughs> Lick the death ball for a real eye opener. <laughs> oh, we got cheat codes. Yeah. That was the reason I had to come in here. Oh, right. the cheat code's the same every time. Okay. Uh, y, Y, B, X. Y B A, yeah, yeah. Y Y B A. Okay. The the important part is where you input it. Yeah, yeah. That very specific area. Is this a reference to licking switch carts? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Someone was saying the DLC adds another three of those uh, text based parts. Which is insane. That is insane. That's a lot of fucking lore. That's a lot of lore, my man. It is. Okay, cool. And there should be an intro for this one, too. We don't want to miss. Yeah. See, he says, I'll be back. Because yeah. he teleports in. Like the Terminator, yeah. What do you think Batman says? Oh, my God. I have no idea. Yes, and they are all important for No More Heroes 3. That's awesome. Yes, it is insane. I don't know how one could, someone could play this and not have fun. Uh, maybe you just really hate reading. Maybe. Oh my god, die. what? Die, die. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what are you
so I assume that was the intro. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <sighs> this game is really good. I should have bought it on PS4. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Everyone scared me. They're like, this is the bad one. I'm like, no, this is great. I wish no more heroes could get this off in the woods nonstop. <laughs> yes. It'd be great. I have to wonder if the three will just be like, oh, yeah, just it just loses his mind. They're like, here's Frequently. an hour of live action bullshit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's replaying it. Okay, cool. So it just automatically does them all past the first. Yeah, that's weird. They only made they the first one They must have passed it to, to make it do it on all of them, but for some reason, the first one never did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this this is great. <laughs> Loading in level. Whoa, he's so big. <laughs> what? Travis is as tall as a house. What's the problem? <laughs> How zoomed out we going? Very. I noticed from the game magazine that it was like really zoomed out. <laughs> so here we are, huh? Travis Touchdown, back for more? You never learn, do you? I assume you know this, but this is a restricted area. It's closed off. You can't proceed any further. The road keeps going. If there's a road, I'm going to keep going. There's a serial killer hiding in town. And all the roads have been closed. Then just change the game's rules. I'll get rid of the serial killer for you. Before that, we're going to kill you. <laughs> Fine, give me your best shot. The pen is mightier than the sword. You can't use your spiffy little beam katana during dialogue. The rhythm of the text will decide your fate. Die. Destruction assault buster. Huh? It won't work. Not enough points saved up. <laughs> you lucky bee. <laughs> well, whatever. Watch out for Doppelganger. He has no limits. Neither does the extent to which I'm going to kill his ass. God, this is so zoomed out. Let me explain what's going on here. Attacking the playing card will spin the town panel, creating a path. To clear each maze, find a way to open the path to the houses and go inside. Once you're inside, you need to take out all the enemies. Kill them all. What are you doing just standing there? Hurry up. Go, 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 go. Oh, that is cool. Huh. Yeah, this game's too cool. So the neighborhood is pipe dreams? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is... Doppelganger once worked with, with pride to improve society. <laughs> society failed to... Um, but when his intentions faced cold reality, it broke his heart. This house is where the first murder occurred. He killed his wife with a corkscrew. Then he attempted to kill his daughter. I'm sorry, the time was like, yeah, we, we want to order something. Yeah, I'm Go. getting lost in this game. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> But yeah, today's Monday at least, so at least that saves us from the curse of Sunday. Yes, that's true. Oh, God. I should still check when Taco Bell closes. We PT now. <laughs> sure. Yeah, he was always such a drag. Yes. Man, I wish I had known this game was this fucking cool from day one. They allegedly don't close till 11. Yes, but we can't order it through mobile because they'll just cancel it. Right. Yeah, I really wish I had known. I would have picked it up in a heartbeat. Yeah. Oh, that's a toilet. Yeah, but I can't. Oh, you aren't allowed in. I see. Oh, hello. <laughs> Pro Sad man said that he didn't say how good it was because he wouldn't believe him. <laughs> and yeah, I don't... It is hard to believe. 
I mean, plus, once again, 5.5 out of 10. Yeah, the t tons of reviewers were like that, where it's like, oh, it was really bad. <laughs> Wish Suda would make a horror game? He might be able to do, yeah. I don't know. Killer 7's a horror game. Yeah, like, I don't... It's not mechanically a horror game. Suda does not seem to want to take anything 100% seriously, and for some reason, or, and that would probably break people who don't like, uh, who like horror games. Like, I don't think they'd be able to deal with that. Which is funny, because that's never been a problem for horror movie goers. True. That is very Hotline Miami. Watching these streams does me excited for North Harris 3. Yeah, no, it's definitely... Yeah, I think there's plenty of reason to be hyped. That is definitely Hotline Miami. Yeah, Jesus. So we're going into houses and killing a bunch of dudes, huh? <laughs> no way. Yeah, I love this game. <laughs> uh, no More Heroes 3 is out in like a week and a half. A week and something? a half. Yeah, it's like the 25th of August, I think. We can double check. Yeah, I would say I like this a lot more than No More Heroes 2. <laughs> but that's not fair. This is uh, crazy fucked up levels of cool. Have a good one, Solens. Ah, the 27th. It's the 27th? Yeah. So what day of the week is that? That lands it on... So yeah, 11 days from now. Friday. That's, that's a day and a uh, week and a half, like we were saying. Yeah, the Friday after the com this coming one. Mm-hmm. like if the last guy in Hotline Miami had a baby. I missed No More Heroes 2 stream. What was the consensus on it? It was alright. Yeah, I think it was fine. We had plenty of fun with it. I think the only disappointment was, was the ending. Uh, that's definitely a disappointment. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I can't actually walk through here. No. No, it's a garage. I'm sorry, you can't go in. Damn. <laughs> Damn, ball rom. Yeah, I'm sure that the rotating locations will make it hard for us to recognize the uh, the cheat code oh, location. Oh, yeah, no. Like, when I saw that image, I'm like, I'm screwed. This does not look terribly unique. I like the thought of, on Twitch, can you even see Travis? Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, weirdly, Suda did a big interview just the other day with Free Game Explain. Oh, uh, yeah? He was like, yeah, in 10 years or something, I might want to do No More Heroes 4. <laughs> <laughs> Doppelganger wasn't able to forgive those who fell through the cracks of society. There was a dope dealer out on parole who was living in this house, but he's secretly providing drugs to teenagers. So to make sure this dealer couldn't do any more damage, Doppelganger sliced him to bits with his corkscrew. How do you slice him up with a corkscrew? I guess- Well, this... his corkscrew has fucking knives in it. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if we should even mention that the corkscrew is a big knife. <laughs> I'm weirded out how but how little bad man is in this story. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Those who say they're your allies are usually bad mouthing you in secret. Be careful of these people. <laughs> oh yeah, we did get a chip. We haven't checked out yet. We should look into that. You're right. You're right. I totally forgot. Because it's been like an hour. <laughs> well, did it at the last, at, at the very end of the last playable part, so we couldn't immediately look at it. Right. Oh, 
Oh, you can also level up again. That's funny. I have to <laughs> hold it. Ooh. Travis, <laughs> please. You know what? Never mind. We'll uh, we'll save that one for last. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll make this one an attack one too, and then make the bottom button the uh, healing one. Oh, it's a heal. Okay. Yeah. I should save that preset just in case. It is a turn A chip. I don't know why, <laughs> but it, this is the only other thing to use turn A. <laughs> Look at this guy. Wait, they're all named after Gundam? What? <laughs> yeah, Wing. Oh my god. That's messed up. I'm surprised he was able to get away with that. Yeah, Psycho Gundam as well. That Jesus. Did you use the new move yet? Oh, it's still charging. Okay. Um, I used it once. I haven't used the healing one, of course. Right. Yeah, I super enjoy this game. Hotline Miami is so funny to me. It is real weird. <laughs> All the character portraits of the visual novel are also based off Gundam characters. Huh. So who's Urahara supposed to be? I don't know. Definitely doesn't look close enough to be bright. I mean, depends on the scene. Remember, they kept drawing bright differently, like nonstop, look, and it was fucking stroke induced. Look! <laughs> he, the bright he, that was supposed to be dry. <laughs> he didn't get it as bad as that one superior who had five head. You remember that? Where we just oh, got God. one shot yeah, where, where it was like boom? It was really good. Oh, gosh, from Stardust Memory. It's been okay, too long since I watched it. that one. Because that's 0083. We really need to watch that. Ooh, I do one more damage per week sl slice. Nice. Okay, so that turned this. I appreciate that Suda no Oh. This is Dr. Juvenile. Basic attacks won't work on enemies who guard. You have to break their guard with a heavy attack skill or a charge attack. Taser. Oh, okay, it just hits a couple. <laughs> what? I was looking <laughs> down and to the right! <laughs> I appreciate that Suda knows how to keep things interesting even on a low budget. Yeah. Those were the splody ones. People are talking about how apparently Suda and some some went on some streamer's show mm -hmm. and the, somehow a Gundam came up and they mentioned they hadn't seen it yet. Like any Gundam and they immediately told him to watch Guitar's counterattack. Um, they, they, Groshinberg thinks it's a bad idea to just watch that one devoid of context. I don't know. I know I did that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I, I'm sure that's still fine as a, as a movie. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a lot more to get there if you have context, but. Because Sharks Counterattack is an OVA or a movie, right? It is a film. Yeah. Okay. It's the final part of the, um, universal, universal century, century made by, by, uh, Tamino himself, I guess. Mm-hmm. This house marks, sorry, this house marks part of Doppelganger's decent descent. You, you misspelled that. Ha! That wasn't me, that was you! <laughs> descent to madness. I accidentally hit that with my knuckle and now I don't get to read the rest. Dang, <laughs> thanks, Suda. Um, he crucified a teenager who had killed his parents and gotten away with the crime. Then, in order to hear the criminal's voice, he ate his body. That's when he began to play host to a range of different personalities. 
What are you guys talking about? Who needs to do a, a horror game? He did Shadows. <laughs> Definitely a horror game. Mm hmm. Is Victory Gundam set after Shark Counterattack? Yeah, All I right. thought later Tomino did more in the Universal Century, but there was a gap. Yeah, I guess it's just the last thing with, you know, the original main guys. Oh, yeah, and F91 is also afterwards. Grandpa's words of wisdom. When it comes to cheddar cheese, it's age two years or nothing. Learn to tell the difference. Yes, sir. My, my cheddar cheese comes in free, very highly processed squares. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with pre, pre? What's wrong with slices? <laughs> Nothing. That's what. It was excessive for one dude, but all my skills were on cooldown for a bit. This is... Oh, nice. Oh, hey, there's the healing aura. Oh yeah. I need to make sure to use that. Ringing a dinner bell to show that the bathroom's available is a weird thing. <laughs> a little bit. It's very peaceful here. Yes, he's having a zen cyberspace shit. Yes. It's sweet, like candy. Yeah, I don't, no one's done it yet, but please no Gundam spoilers in chat. <laughs> <laughs> we swear we're eventually gonna go back to continue watching it. We were doing good progress for we, a bit there. We were, we got all of issues that, uh, and then we hit the massive milestone that is, well, or millstone, I would guess, uh, that is, well, do we watch Devil Zeta? Bob's of the opinion of no, and I'm of the opinion of yes. I mean, I want to watch it, but it is just, there's so much. There is. Because it's Devil Zeta, and then. So, so really what we got to do is finish Columbo. Uh-huh. Start the Columbo cast, <laughs> assuming we hit that goal, of course. Which I haven't updated the Patreon. Right. Like no. Yeah, I, mean, I actually sit down and pick up the doubles out of Blu-rays. It's really unfortunate they never dubbed those. I feel like yeah, they there is enough hype for Gundam in general that they could dub all of those, all the turn A and that, and just it would sell. We did watch all of uh, JoJo's already. Yes. All of it that's animated. Thus, the term watch and not read for people who are literate. Is the Columbo part of the UC timeline? Of course. <laughs> God, I would love a detective mystery set in the Gundam universe. It'd be really good. Look at that extra. The game's teasing me because <laughs> I'm stupid. You think you can bully me just because I'm dumb? Yeah, Schreiberg, that's the point. It's, it's, it's Columbo heckling a man for an hour and a half <laughs> until they break. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. And usually that man is uh, a rich white man, so, you know, he has it coming. Oh, is there just, just a rich person? Yes. Because, you know, a lot of the time it's women, too. Yeah, yeah, they, don't, they don't discriminate. Anyone rich is... <laughs> is anyone. <laughs> is liable to be a murderer. Dude, Ricardo Montalban played a fucking matador who was loved and... He took that son of a bitch down. Yes. There we go. Yeah, it's fantastic. Ding dong. Oh, oh man, shit, ramen. ramen. That can be you. We got a customer. Welcome. Come on in. Give me your best ramen. Sure thing. Here you go. Go 
Sorry. <clears throat> Hakodate Shio warms you up even in the sub zero northern climate. The salt and seafood based broth is amazingly smooth. We're keeping an eye on the time. I just, my phone went off and I wanted ah. to, like, I've been ignoring it largely. Yeah. Grandpa's words of wisdom shoot for number one, then you can become the only one. <gasps> this is the spa where Doppelganger killed the most people at once. He killed all 82 members in a new age cult facility. The red on the walls is a testament to his amazing record. Take it all in. Oh, hello. Awesome. <laughs> it's a painting. Do you have to touch it to unlock devil powers? No, because this isn't stupid. <laughs> Why is Grandpa so based? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> what alternate universe title or Gundam titles have you guys seen other than your wing? Uh, G Jeez. Gundam. Uh, I watched all of Gundam X. We watched Iron Blooded Orphans. I didn't watch nearly of all of that. We watched like five episodes and we're that done. That was more than enough. <laughs> it was more than enough. I'm trying to think if there were any others I've seen all the way through. Did you suffer through seed? No, I watched a decent number of episodes because it aired, was on TV back in the day, but I really couldn't get myself to watch more of it. Never finished it, of course. For what? Seed. Ah, yes. I guess we'll let that ladybug bug survive. <laughs> yeah, he's not important. This is insanely generous with the save points. Yeah, surprising after the first stage. Are we on really? sweet? No, like we, we're we still on mild. mild. Yeah, I, I yeah. didn't switch it back. Weird. Double O is boneless wing. Yeah, I, I need to. I need to check out boneless wings. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We start the Columbo cast, and then we make one of our higher up goals some sort of insane Gundam cat. <laughs> And then people go, you notice their podcast became a lot like their streams? <laughs> Insanely ambitious drives to finish all of these long-running series? <laughs> Vanny with the Gundam helmet. That would be good, that Char's be good. helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Be careful. Get caught by the sickly blue face of death chasing after you, and it's game over. Kick your ass into high gear and hurry ahead. Run, run, run. Oh, yeah, it's behind me. That sucks. Yeah. Gee. Oh, it goes through the houses. It doesn't oh, even care. that sucks more. I thought this was a Pac Man situation. <laughs> yeah, I've seen War in the Pocket, but Dan has not. So, yeah. That's true. Don't worry, I won't read chat for a bit. <laughs> I'm running from a spooky face. Yes. Oh no. It's Pac-Man buddy cheats. <laughs> <laughs> so you know how Miss Pac-Man wasn't actually made by Namco? Yeah. Um, the people who were making Miss Pac-Man uh, were originally considering... There we go, I'm good. See you, bitch. Um... They were originally considering, like, what if the ghosts went through the walls of the maze? Oh, my God. That was just one thing they considered. That's rough. Yeah. Just one look out the back, and you can tell it was the site of Doppelganger's next crime. He killed his victims after allowing them to taste complete and utter hopelessness. Even with all the roots of escape, they were killed in the middle of their home without having moved an inch. Once he had found them, they didn't even have a chance. That's evil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Grandpa's words of wisdom. It was all a dream. Huh? It's all in your head. Okay. Oh, hey. 
Is this guy going to do this for all 3,200 victims? Of course. Look, he's uh, clearly magical in some way, so he can deal with it. Can't wait to put on my clowns shoes next week with, for those Ava Blu-rays. Yeah, I have to wonder how much they're going to cost. I don't Me think... too. I, I I just really want a good copy of End of Ava. Yeah. And it would be nice to have the series, but that's not the number one compelling factor for me. Yeah, yeah I, I, G-Kids hasn't... They only usually do movies, so I don't know what to expect for them on a series pricing scale. Mm -hmm. Plus, isn't it everything? Yeah. It's the series and the movies. It's the series and the old movies, not yes, the new Not stuff. the rebuild. But yeah, you get Death and Reverse and uh, End of Ava. Hopefully 3.1 or 3.0 plus 1.0 get the Blu-ray release, but we don't know yet. Inevitably it will. Yeah. Yeah, it's also, it's on Amazon too. It's not like it's on Netflix someplace where it's like, well, maybe they bought brights in a really weird way. It's awful. That is why are you back? I love Sheet well, Man this is Green. Sheet Man Green. <laughs> Who are you? Has Doppelganger come back? Just a passing assassin. Passing, you say? I'm not letting you pass through. Enough bullshit. Let's do this. This is your second trial, Punk. You know what? The, what makes a mid boss really terrifying? Scale application, productivity, and effectiveness. The effectiveness. Die. Talking like that, you're just leaving yourself open. Bring it on. <laughs> I let go of the L button way ahead of hitting, hitting jump. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow the sheep man feels like the most budget thing in this game. <laughs> Even though it's like so much of this game is budget. Right, yeah, sheep man is very funny. Well damn. Wait, they redubbed the other rebuilds for for Amazon? Did they do that? that? That doesn't make any sense because the cast of one through three doesn't match the fourth film. Yeah, but we only watched the one on Amazon. You're right. Never mind. Oh, man, if that's the case. Oh, yeah, then that would mean Amanda Wynn leaves probably. And yeah, that would mean they Wendy got the, or whatever. I, Ray's voice. Yeah, actress. Ray's voice actor would be the same for all of them if they did well, that. Shit. I would totally really watch that again. <laughs> Fucking Casey had a stroke. What in the fourth movie? She just sounded like an ASMR streamer. And I'm like, <laughs> that's how she's supposed to sound. I've been sitting here for the rest of these going, huh? That's different, right? Yeah, I would. I would totally buy those Blu-rays again. I bought them out of desperation last year because I didn't feel like we were getting it. Because before everyone else came back, we had uh, Asuka's voice and uh, Chinji's and Sato and Gendo. Yes. But we just didn't have Ray or... Uh, the other ones that still haven't come back, like Toji and stuff. Uh, Fiyutsuki's weird. Did you say recasts Fiyutsuki at some point? Yeah, he, he, just... he didn't come back at all. He looked like he hadn't dubbed anything like since the 90s okay. or the original. So I okay. assume he just retired or something. Yeah, that's understandable. And then again, and I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot, but Fiyutsuki's weird, period. Yes. <laughs> Fucking third film. Yeah, I think the, the, the Ava dub is really good. Like, those people clearly cared, cared a lot. Yeah, just don't watch the Netflix dub. <laughs> I, it's still such a... Netflix randomly did a thing, and then a bunch of people took a lot of meaning out of it. Mm-hmm. When it was really just Netflix wanted to save money. Yeah, Netflix didn't want to recast people because every th every time you have to go get someone for a thing, you have to, you know, they'll try to upcharge you. Right. And so they were afraid of that. They're a giant corporation. That's all they cared about. I really hope this guy doesn't murder me because I just fell for that trap hook, line, and sinker. You did. 
It's okay, though. You got this. Yeah, sure. I'll just run really far this, this way. Is... Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't see the new Blu-ray release not having the ADV dub. That would be insane. Like, you can... If they if that gets announced next week and they're like yeah we didn't get the real dub then then I, I don't think it, most people would buy it. <laughs> Went to Google Detective Conan first. Google suggested after typing Detective was Columbo. <laughs> We're winning. Thank you for the good news, Shiny View. <laughs> I'm sorry, Asaka Ryu. I just I keep retweeting them when I see good deals. So I'm, I, I, it affects KZ too if that's any help. If that's he any also, consolation. Yeah, he's also losing money if, the, if that does anything for you. <laughs> this guy's such a bastard. When he's asked Thursday this week. Yeah, that makes sense. I just, you know, we've been streaming since they announced they'd announce next week, so I don't know what time is. <laughs> mm hmm. When's the Columbo versus Conan podcast? <laughs> it's too powerful. I mean,. I love, I love Conan. Conan will not win. <laughs> it's so sad. I mean, it helps when you get to make four times the length of thing. Yeah. And yeah, have you... over a million dollars. Yeah. It yeah, helps a lot. Yeah. Columbo's really good. That's the big deal with Columbo. A lot of people woke the fuck up to justice. That's it. That's basically it. Uh, believe me, I'm just as surprised as everyone else because I watch all sorts of good shit that no one watches. Right? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's fine. So you say. <laughs> I cannot believe he put this here. He knows this is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Yes, we've heard about the uh, Columbo son showing up in Lupin. <laughs> he got caught on some sort of, like, pole or something underneath the letter. That's sad. I, I really don't like having to solve this on a time limit. This sucks. Next to you guys will buy Murder, She Wrote on Blu-ray set. I don't no. think Murder, She Wrote's I, none, good. None, I of those, it. none of those old series are going to hold up compared to Columbo, I assure you. Oh, yeah. No, the Canadian dubs for all the, the Gundams were really good. It's very sad that we don't get that anymore. Too like, bad I had to pass up that Azteca stone. Right. Doppelganger likes to kill his victims according to how they lived. Guns, knives, bombs. For the fatty hold up in this house abusing animals, he stuck a bomb into his gut and blew him up. Turn back now if you're afraid. Zero sixty four was scared by the Columbo uh, telltale tweet you made, Dan. Yeah, that was a terrible thought. Yo, you got a lemon juicer. <laughs> for arms. Yeah, I can get over uh, Domo's voice actor retiring. I mean, like, we got everything of Domo dubbed. It's more upsetting when it's like the guys who played Char and Amuro didn't retire even. They just no longer are hired, even though they make new stuff with Char and Amuro. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Gunbuster getting a dub is insane. Never thought that would happen. Not even, not even once. Not in a million years. Not in a million years. I hope that they hire nothing but old school voice actors so it feels like a dub done back in the 90s. Does Studio Car own everything Gainax ever made? I don't think so. I think that the rights are still super weird, but I'm not sure. I don't know if it's made 100% clear.
God, that these are just in a house now is worse. You know, when they were porta potty, it was a dimensional rift. That was yeah. one thing. Now it's just, I guess him taking a dump makes him ascend. Yeah, I guess. To the astral plane. <laughs> Case 007. Well, I know why there are so many zeros ahead of it. <laughs> I'm going to guess that this is the last one. Probably. It's weird that it just pops up with the pickups you're getting over there. <laughs> These are just coins. Yeah, you don't need coins to die. I bet there's a, a cheat code area up there, though. Maybe, yeah. That's why some of these areas only have coins, I bet. Okay. run him off this way a little bit. Yeah, it seems to be Batman coming up with his own commentary about what you're picking up. Oh. Actually, didn't notice that, you know? I like I got a lot going on. Yeah. This really is reminding me of The Last Guy. Yeah, I was kind of getting that energy, too. What a good game. What a cool fucking game. Wait, so was the top one the real one? I guess. What was the bottom one? I don't know. I bet it was secrets. According to Doppelganger, murder was his duty, his work, his fun, and his pleasure. He was a brilliant killer precisely because he loved killing so much. In this house, in front of the whole family, he killed their father. Nobody even pressed charges. It's <laughs> like they were waiting for him to do it. <laughs> Jesus. should try to level up again. Oh, yeah, yeah. You probably learned enough. You have to play through basically the entire stage. Mm -hmm. Doppelganger truly lived in a society. <laughs> That's right, Celestial Cage. Cool. Yeah, hopefully they get Die Buster and Cutie Honey and also on the layer. We'll see. No idea. Die Buster was also made in that era when they were switching over to digital, though. So, you know, it's, there's much less to be gained. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Indie games are fun. You should check out Rasho's work. There you'll find truth. <laughs> oh, shit. We got a customer. Welcome. Come on in. Give me your best ramen. Sure thing. Dot, dot, dot. Here you go. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Abura Soba, a next generation ramen pioneer. No soup, all new flavor. I'm getting super upset. Is I'm like I sit in here like oh man we're gonna have to eat Taco Bell. We don't have we don't get ramen like like uh, Travis does. <laughs> yeah yeah no soup I don't know I don't know how it works but I like I like I like ramen noodles. <laughs> I would do that in a heartbeat. Yeah you know if the noodles were specifically chosen 
to work in that format, right? You think Travis eats Taco Bell? Of course. Of course. You seen the guy? Just take one look at him. He's wearing a Taco Bell jacket right now. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Grandpa, come on. Ah, it's the entrance one again. I may have gotten mildly lost. This song sort of reminds me of a song from Secret of Mana where it kind of sounded like they were just checking that every key on the keyboard worked. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can hear that. It's got a good uh, <laughs> test. test. Testing one, two, testing. <laughs> Yeah, in the middle of the room. Is that not how you designed your yeah, bathroom? Yeah, you have three entrances to the bathroom, none of them with doors on them. <laughs> so that way, when the whole family comes back from Taco Bell, it's just a wild dash. Oh my god. <laughs> when you shit, they know it. Well, it's funny that you say that. This house originally... The bathroom for the master bedroom had no door. What? And the prior tenant was horrified. She was like, yeah, and there was no curtain either. So I could just, from the bed, you have direct line of sight with the toilet. What? And I'm like, that's fucking unhinged. <laughs> Why? She told me this because when I opened the door to the bathroom, tiny, tiny bathroom in the master bedroom, um, it covers the shower. And I was like, where's the shower? <laughs> She's like, it's behind it. I'm like, what? What? And then she had to tell me that. I'm like, that's horrible. What's wrong with them? Seeing if there's anything new at Taco Bell. Checking what what's new brewing at Taco Bell. Yes, it's unhinged. There are, there are literally no hinges. <laughs> Well, 008, you know. We're going to go all the way to double, uh, double eight MS team or whatever. <laughs> what, what? Okay. What's up? I'm trying to remember. Because 008. Yeah, there's 0080. War in the pocket. 0080. Okay. Yeah, then 0083 and then... 83. Then okay, eight, I was like, MS team. I was like, 8th MS team. I know that exists, but there are higher 8s. <laughs> yes. Yes, Ace MS T Steam. <laughs> yes, Microsoft Steam. Nice. Those are good skills. This dude is terrifying to deal with. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just a big face. He's gonna kill you. He's kill face? Yeah, he's kill face. We found him. Please let me pass. Why do the cards stop me from moving? <laughs> I don't know. Probably because he hates you. <laughs> and also, he's kill face. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised this one became just all about this. I think it's really great that it did. <laughs> but man, it's a struggle. Yeah. So I watched a few postmortems, uh, GDC postmortems, because I couldn't sleep. Okay, yeah. Because I accidentally drank a Red Bull at 1 a.m. I didn't realize what time of day. I have a late start to my day. Anyway. So I'm watching the, uh, oh, oh wow. I'm on it. What is this? I know a guy who has the same setup. He once played an entire match of Overwatch from the toilet. 
<laughs> that seems unhealthy. It does. Seems like you probably should not play a video game from your toilet for that long. You might, like, do something to yourself. Banny! It's a Banny! She meowing? Sorry, everyone. That's the Banny. <laughs> um, Doppelganger always made the f makes the final blow himself. With guns, it's always point blank. The holes in the walls are from lining up his victims and executing them one by one. Um... So the people who made Zork. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Watch Postmortem on Zork. That was also on Zork 2 and Zork 3, kind of. Uh, when it came to, I believe, Zork 3, one of the funniest things in the Postmortem, he was like, yeah, um, I'm going to play this clip from my coworker. He he made this specific maze puzzle that was really complicated in Zork 3. He plays the clip. The guy talks about it a bit, not specifically. Okay. He doesn't give you, like, mechanically how it works. He just goes, well, you know, how you move through the maze actually affected the shape of the maze. So it's like instead of hitting these switches here, which roads we de ran down changed what the roads were facing later on in a text adventure. When that clip stops playing, the guy on stage goes, so as you can tell, even he doesn't know how his own puzzle works. <laughs> <laughs> because he did not explain how to solve it at all. When he, when he put this in the game, I tried to play through it. I tried to play through Zork 3. And I come up to him and I go, how does this puzzle, how does it work? And he explains it to me and he shows me a diagram. And I go, okay, yeah, I guess that, yeah, I guess that works. And then a third guy played it. And he came to me and he was like, how does this puzzle work? And I tried to explain it, but I, could, I couldn't explain it to him. So we go up to that guy and he shows us the diagram and he explains it. All three of us go, yeah, nobody actually understands how this puzzle works. When you said it was Zork, and then said it was a puzzle, I was like, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, Zork's a ton of puzzles, yeah, was, but usually they're, they're key not. item and right. key action. That's not... how you expect a puzzle to work in an x adventure, right? Yeah. <laughs> not... they, it's, it's weird. Weirdly enough, that's not the only one in Zork 3. Oh Zork God. 3 also had, uh, what I think they called it the whale puzzle, which is a slider puzzle in text space like who in their right mind he put that on uh, uh, in the postmortem as mistake like i <laughs> he imagine was like, it's, he's like, it real, like by zork 3 they had no idea what to do <laughs> a real puzzle uh in a text adventure bad idea <laughs> um, grandpa's words of wisdom don't believe music 80 percent of music is drugs the other 20 percent is pharmacy <laughs> grandpa come on One moment, let me taste this asshole. Yeah, right. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> I keep thinking your beam sword is turned off when you're behind a wall because you see the outline of the, like, yeah. the metal part. My mom and teacher said the drinking energy drinks would make my heart explode, so I've never had an energy drink as Chaos Emeralds. Uh, yes, that's that's probably for the best. Yeah, you're probably better off that way. I've seen what's happened to Darren. Oh, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> to be frank, it was really rough for the last few weeks. It's finally... Last week, especially, was the one where I was like, I'm drinking like two to three a day. <laughs> this is bad. This is like overnight to CVS bad again. Yeah. Oh, come on. My ninja star don't do anything for you. Nice. You're cool. He ain't that cool. Wait, are you dead or what? You're standing there like you're not dead. Oh, there he goes. I was like, he's dead. He just hasn't faced it yet. 
I have a high natural heart rate, so my family doesn't want me drinking them. I also then won 48 cans of Red Bull in a contest. Yeesh. I also don't think they taste great either, says Celestial Cage. Um, I like the taste of Blueberry Red Bull. I think that's actually a good flavor. I think normal Red Bull is an acquired flavor, just like gin is. <laughs> uh, I figured out normal Red Bull, not gin. I will never figure out gin. We already got your advice, Grandpa. Yeah, it was the most insane one of this week. I'm going to see if he repeats it. Yeah, he does. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, Red Bull kind of tastes like a medicine called Calpo. Yeah, I don't doubt that it tastes like uh, medicine. Spiff says Red Bull tastes like ball sweat. <laughs> I assume blueberry Red Bull tastes like that, but with blueberry added. I don't know, Spiff, you tell me. <laughs> you have to buy him one next time you're down. <laughs> yep, I'll have to be like, so? How's it taste? Oh man, this is like not scary. Travis, you're familiar with insanity. You can feel it, can't you? Doppelganger's digitalization has increased his purity as a killer even further. Don't hesitate, otherwise you're screwed. I love this game so much, Bob. <laughs> this might win best old game. <laughs> it's, 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 it's fighting No More Heroes 1 for best old game. Yeah, No More Heroes 1 is really strong. That's one of the best endings I've ever seen. Oh yeah, no, that <laughs> ending is what catapults it. <laughs> Uh, ew, I would never drink Cherry Monster. That's disgusting. That literally made me sick just reading that. Oh, oh. I don't understand. All monsters gross. <laughs> Did you drink a normal monster? Yeah, I drank a normal okay. monster uh, when the and PS3 launched. <laughs> In 2006! Yeah, it was really disgusting. I don't think I've had one since. <laughs> that 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 ultra low carb monster was okay, I guess. <laughs> it's the guy. So, your dibs, dad, huh? My name is Doppelganger Patrick Ganada Jr. I am a professional killer. What and my, is my cape is really fucking up on the switch. They did not patch this to fix it. <laughs> Why would you get in my way? A killer? You're just a crazy-ass murderer. This game is bullshit. The developer really sucks. She's a genius. I gave birth to her, and she gave birth to me. A perfect cycle, a true succession. <laughs> You're, like, really fucked up, huh? But whatever. Sometimes you just gotta deal with weirdos like this, I guess. <laughs> you make me laugh. You think, you, you think an assassin can kill a killer? See for yourself how different we are. Yeah, I guess we are pretty different. I just noticed. A dude who kills by instinct and a psycho who kills for work. Let's see who's the strongest. Here's my doppelganger technique. One hit and you're dead. Perfect. I've been wanting some excitement. I can hear the sound. The sound of blood coursing through your veins. Now it's time to kill. I'm going to reset your very existence. Whoa. You probably play Doctor Who. <laughs> what? Never. <laughs> he teleported behind me when I did the grabby tech. <laughs> oh, he doesn't actually kill you on a hit. These aren't his secret technique. <laughs> this game's freaking out again. <laughs> Doppelganger 2! Come on, bring it! Bring on phase 2! Change double two. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Probably needed to see some clue on him to figure out which one he was. Right. Was that a Gitter reference? I wouldn't be surprised if Suda randomly referenced a uh, 70s anime. <laughs> Would not be Never. surprised at all. <laughs> Doppelganger 3! Your final form, huh? What are you gonna do? Mutate and get real big? <laughs> that was proposed, but it got scrapped for spec reasons. Huh? What the hell does that mean? Don't worry about it. I was just thinking out loud. Change Doppel 3! Okay. Well, you're lucky out, at least. That effect is killing the bit right? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I imagine a good chunk of this game has that effect. I really want to defeat you with Travis. <laughs> Unga! Yeah! Get off! <laughs> what a good game. He's just laying there. He's like, ow. That hurt. Continuous level three charge time for zero seconds. I wonder why he keeps telling me that. <laughs> S rank, don't give a fuck. I still have Jean over here in the full fucking image. Yeah, I should put her behind chat. Yeah, she's definitely a, a good behind chat picture. One moment. I'm going to hand this to you. Okay. Now I'm going to do that. You, you managed. managed to defeat me, so this is what an assassin is. This is the truth. Oh my god, look at his portrait. He's got a head in his head. Oh wow. Ooh. Ew. Man, the uh yeah, I gave birth to her and she gave birth to me things horrifying. Um It's now clear you're just like me. I'm nothing like you. You're just greedy, more greedy than anyone when it comes to killing. But you lack something crucial, human emotion. That's not true, assassin. I am full of joy and happiness. Having joy without sorrow means you're just an empty specter. Sorrow? What? Go wander hell for a while, specter. Then you'll know sorrow and pain. Hell? No, no, no! Help me! <laughs> You're no longer even human, just a demon. He I'll kill you. You know what I like about No More Heroes? What's that? Deep characters. <laughs> Doppelganger had become less than human. I think he would have been satisfied being beaten by you. He's still at large in the real world, though. I guess I need to be careful. Yeah. That's <laughs> so stupid. F91 ship. Jesus. I cannot. <sighs> Which is so good. I think I still have the gif up so I can show chat uh, what specifically that's parodying. But let me get this below the chat real quick. There we go. Perfect. Except for how translucent it is. That's that's really bad, actually. Oh, that's why. <gasps> Doppelganger wasn't a weirdo, a pervert, or a psycho. He was just a straight-up murderer. His soul is still wandering that city, most likely in search of his daughter. 
Is that his atonement? No. He was just an arrogant fucking snob. Always looking down on people. I'm full of shit. <laughs> I'm like, I hit him. Lying. <laughs> it made the clicking noise and everything. It did nothing happen. Oh, a new article on the ramen blog. I'm very excited for this article on the ramen blog. Facts received from K. Facts received from Gene. Oh, no. New scenario bananas, Travis strikes back, head for the motor your motorcycle. Yes. Okay. I gotta have this gift. It's gotta be here somewhere. I guess you could search your Twitter if nothing else. No, that's that's gonna take too long. I definitely have the gift, it just didn't end up in the gift folder. Oh, um, okay. See if we got any new t-shirts. These look like they're just all the regular ones that were for sale. Oh, that's a Santa Destroyer one. So that's neat. And lots of unreal ones. Jesus. Yeah, never mind. I'll switch my I'll search my Twitter because it's it's just missing. Man. Oh, Lama well, Lana too. So many. Freaking Didn't Elijah come out after this game? The Stanley Parable. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, there's the ick. <laughs> Look, nobody knew. Nobody knew it would just be that bad. No, I'm not going to wear the ick shirt. He has all these good games. So why would I do that? Oh, just go Elysium even. Have they been patching to add more shirts to this? Blazing Chrome, that's a good one. The DLC did, okay. But we didn't even download the DLC yet, unless I would just automatically add some of these. I mean, you just don't have to pay for them. SteamWorld Dig, Brawlhalla. The Art for Fury is cool. Hollow Knight, of course. The DLC is free, okay. What's your favorite JoJo's part? Probably part uh, five, I think. That's that's with Josuke, right? I like the uh, being stuck in his hometown the whole time. Oh my god, what? We got Zelda ones? Just, yeah, I got Majora's Mask t-shirt on there. Oh, Zelda. T oh my god. Oh, that's really good. Okay, that's part four. I always lose track because they, the first season's like two parts. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I have to wear the Zelda 2 t-shirt. It's too good. <laughs> yeah, Dan, did you see? Huh! Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. We also get Majora's Mask. I think these are just two of his favorites. Because <laughs> it seems very selective. <laughs> Well, those are the best ones. <laughs> mm, this is complicated. It's weird that we can't change the jacket to like his other ones. Well, no more Heroes 3 have performance issues on Switch. Uh, yeah. Of course. Of course. If it doesn't, that will be that will defy all physics. All right, we got the ramen blog. Oh my god. Is there anything else out here? I'm really surprised I can't talk to Batman.
Yeah, there's you're using Unreal for uh, No More Heroes 3. Or, yeah, it's 3. God. <laughs> you okay, man? <laughs> Clearly not. Let's see. Facts from K. So, what's that? Twitter specifically tries to stop you from saving gifts on the side. Oh my god. Yeah, I really fucking hate Twitter. You gotta read that. Yeah. Travis Dashdown, if you've come this far, then allow me to congratulate you on clearing the game. You're the first human to ever manage to clear two Death Drive games. And honestly, I'm pretty surprised. I've been sending these over and over, hoping that you'll give up and turn back. But the fact that I'm about to run out of paper apparently means that <laughs> you have no intention of doing so. In that case, hopefully telling you who I am will provide my message with a bit more authority. My name is Clark. I'm Dr. Juvenile's lover. It is, yeah, it's Dr. Juvenile, okay. What comes after clearing these games is nothing short of a tragedy for the entire human race. <laughs> I just pray that you don't end up becoming one to pull the trigger on the strategy. God bless America, okay. And then the gene one. I am currently in a dark, wide open place. Seems really high up. I can't see the bottom when I look down. It's it looks it it's like looking down into the abyss. I can feel something looking back at me. I'm completely lost. Please come for me quickly, Gene. And that's from Electric Tiger Th Electric Thunder Tiger 2. So I guess we go back to that level to find her. I guess. I don't see her out here, so... Yeah. Yeah, Twitter really doesn't want me to save this gift that I put on their website. That's insane. But the level's Electric Thunder Tiger 3? Oh, is it? Yeah. But this was from 2, right? Yeah. Wait. Let me see. Okay, that's a two, maybe? Yeah, that's a two. That's a two, okay. You got this, Bob. Sure. Hopefully it tells me, like, gives me some hint. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's today for us. Yeah. We <laughs> Make that sound bite. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. Let me see. We are three hours, 19 minutes into the stream. Okay. Sound bite. Man, I really don't know. There's no, there was no hint. The hint was her description of the area. Yeah, I guess, yeah, the big abyss thing. So I assume that would have been during the catwalks. Right. So much loading. This switch is not optimal. <laughs> Are you talking about the switch is always very good at loading? Yes. That's the thing it's best at.
I am so fucking annoyed Twitter will not let me download this. That's fine. I found it. All right. Still really fucking annoyed, though. Of course. Well, let's kick some ass. Okay, guys. So here's what that's a reference to. It's probably area three. <laughs> it's so amazing. Yeah, it's very direct. <laughs> I mean, even just the original thing of like, oh, yeah. you filmed that and then went, it looks great. Use it. <gasps> okay, this looks like, this looks like the high up area. It's also what South Park was referencing, yes. Which is why I used it when describing me waiting for uh, waiting for PS5 price to be revealed. Yes. For some reason, I didn't expect you to have to fight him. I don't know why. I was like, but Sheep Man Red's dead. Right? <laughs> that would be funny if that was just the case. At least you're stupid strong now. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so yes, that is Buck Rogers in the 25th century. There we go. Yeah, it didn't take him too much. Hasanaka is asking if uh, this if we use the 002 save point as an 001 underscore 02. No, I use the, the 003. But it looks like, yeah, I chose be right before that thing ended, apparently. Because I was in the right area, but then I left immediately. Well, time to do some more loading. You know how much the Switch loves that. Yeah, I'm like, there should be a way to go back to the main menu of the game, not out to the trailer. But I don't see one. Yes, Duck Dodgers is a reference to Buck Rogers. <laughs> Which is why it was Duck Dodgers of the 21st and a half century mm -hmm. or whatever it was. Because it's stupid to do a quarter century or half century. We made it. Excuse me. This is so stupid. Some voice actors getting getting uh, bombarded with hate mail over voicing a evil character. Yeah, yeah, vo boyfriend dungeon thing. Yeah. Yeah, because people are insane. I, I don't understand any of what's up with boyfriend dungeon, but... Why are people so stupid? I don't know. <laughs> I just... I... There's no better way to say this. People are stupid. Yeah. 
I saw people complaining that it didn't have a warning that it was going to have a dark theme in it. It's like, what do you... Did, are they supposed to put a big sign on the door before they have something like abuse at you know, all? It's, I, it's As I said in the fucking um, the Hellblade stream, like I don't believe in the concept that there are things you should just not cover in mm -hmm. fiction because I think it's important. It can make people who suffer through some stuff feel less lonely. It can make people who will never experience that form empathy. <laughs> That's so critical, then it's always under overlooked. Yeah. Like it never occurs to anyone that someone who's never experienced any of this stuff would grow empathy from having to engage with it mentally. But yeah. Yeah, people are too online. It's killing their media liter literacy. Yes, that's correct. Assuming people ever had media literacy. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not give it much. Aren't you cool with your level three that's being sustained? <laughs> Do I lose it if I get hit or something? Yes. Okay. That's yeah. why you never see me with it. <laughs> well, we are back in level one, so, you know, it happens. Got him. <laughs> Will that just heal me, heal? Dan, if people had media literacy, there would only be one Ninja Theory game. <laughs> you can be media literate and also have horrible taste. <laughs> oh, nice, we'll get some extra money. Not that that matters, actually. I hope that's not a donation about the topic. I'm playing the game for a second time. The game warns you up front about it. I'm playing the game for a second time. The game warns you up front about it. Yeah, it's a content warning, apparently. See, this is why all Hollywood actors must be attractive now. Because if they weren't, more people would kill them. They'd be like, you're a bad person. Now they're like, you're a bad person. I want to fuck. <laughs> that's, that's the state we're at. There we go. Finally. Yes, Hollywood needs the morally gray actors. Not just when you do a bad thing, but you're hot. God. That's what morally gray means. No. It's a real shame that save point came all the way at the end of this. Yeah. I get why, though. Yeah, there was a boss right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should, um... Sure. You want to <laughs> dig around here? Yeah, that's why uh, Griffiths from Berserk is morally gray. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Zero says, how's the game going? It's doing pretty well. Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. I think it's really great. I think it's really unfortunate it got such a bad reception for because of the price. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully Gene's somewhere really easy to find in here. We aren't going to be scraping it and uh, getting stuck behind some wall that closes. Yeah, we haven't been doing co-op because we want to be able to re-chat and stuff, so. 
see how he's reading what you said, right? Responded? Did I not think this Yeah, I out? assume it respawned. Maybe not. Oh. Kill chip. <laughs> yeah, mini trap is jumping out. It's really good. Yes. Yeah, it's a new chip. All right. That's weird. Really tired of that that activating when I'm just trying to jump after using another skill. Yeah. This does a control perfect like every other no more here. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay, I put the gene pss, 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 Danny picture in chat. Yeah, yeah, we need to find her. This is how you do it. <laughs> So I figure it's here. Because they built these out a they lot. They did build them out to places that don't, that didn't end up going anywhere. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Archeon confirms it's here. Spoilers. <laughs> You can jump off that, did you? Yes. Know? Yes, it's, it's it can go bad. I'm more surprised than anything, honestly. <laughs> He's next to where we found Bugstra before. I don't remember which end of this. Yeah, that dude, was on. guys, it's fine. <laughs> We're trying to find a thing in a game that is the game. Yeah. Okay, All nice. Right. I'm fucking awesome. Look at me. That's weird. I thought those were connected to something further left. <laughs> yeah, the camera's so close. I it's easy to walk off like that. Yep. Yeah, I can hear her. They're asking if Jean can talk. Why is she meowing? What? Meowing is a, meow is very piercing. I don't know if Travis can talk. Why does he have text bubbles? Bubbles? Yeah. <laughs> doesn't seem like yeah i think it was in that last area i think this is just leading yeah to this might be else. leading off completely my cats don't appreciate gene meowing well i'm sorry 
what you signed up for. We can get banging you out for you if you want. <laughs> Make it more real. Wait, this looks like it's the next actual area, though. Unless it's literally just put her on the main path. Maybe. Yeah, I think. Not quite fast. She's still making meowing sounds okay. as I go this way. As long as she's still making the sounds. Yeah, they, they, they're they getting louder. Meow. <laughs> Sounds pretty upset. Nice. She's pretty upset. Nice. <laughs> gotta be here ah. <laughs> oh hi yeah there we go very fat <laughs> okay so we can just leave now i assume i feel like we need an icon that says you know cat found Cat found humanity regains. <laughs> That's so good. It is. It's okay. She's just back up to 24 pounds. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Shrek's not up to 30. I don't know. We'll see in No More Heroes 3. <laughs> Once she can talk, I assume the diet's just ended. There's a gene thing on the menu that tells you if she's at the trailer. Oh. Oh. I mean, I can see her from here, so that helps. Ooh. It's time for another visual novel moment, isn't it? <laughs> Probably. Okay. Did, does Jean do anything? Can you talk to her now that she's back? No. Okay. Bob, we... if she did things, she wouldn't be fat. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, yeah. That's a really weird way to display that. Hey, Bob. What's up? Money, experience, Azteca stones, lives, gene. Trailer. Wow. All of these yeah. are numerical things until gene. gene. Yes, no. <laughs> What a good shirt. Yes. I guess it's important that we play this version for this shirt. <laughs> I am going to get a drink real okay. quick. That's fair. Are you ordering Taco Bell? I was trying to get ready because I'm like, I don't I don't know when, they, when they'll just be like, no. Oh, to mobile order? To mobile orders or just get there and they're closed. <laughs> I fully expect it. Okay, I'm just used to the Wendy's and other places in town being like, no, we're we're done. Yeah, Wendy's fucking sucks. Yeah. They're so bad, it doesn't work. Oh, just a little drink to just parch your parch your thirst. Yeah, I just not a Red Bull or anything. Quench my thirst. Yes. Oh yeah, let me, can I look at skills here? Yes, good. That was the electric attack. Psycho was immobilizing attack and then shining was the... Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's grab him and show him. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Generate an area in which enemies will be slow. And then creates a doppelganger to draw enemies disappears after a set amount of time. So it takes it takes a set amount of damage. That might be useful. At least worth trying, because like like Dan was saying, we don't it's not doing well with the ninja stars. Is Gundam heavy a thing? I assume it's heavy arms, but it might be something else. There are plenty of different Gundams. Gundam's pretty heavy, my man. <laughs> Can I level up again? No. Save real quick. Just wander off into the desert. So if I'm playing as Bad Man, do I get in his car and have totally different visual novels? That'd be pretty insane if they did that. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> We have not done the second visual novel part yet. We're about to do that. Also, I'll tell you right now, mobile's not going to work even at this hour. They're most likely going to let you order and then they'll cancel. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. Well, at least I can look at the menu and then just go there and order it. Yeah. God. We good to go? Sure. Azure. Continue. Yeah. You're like, I don't know. We should do that first chunk again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Magic Tiger on the mound. Okay, have a good one, Mr. Sickenberg. Here, I can take it. All right. Let's go, Gene. Wait a second. Go where exactly? To find the death balls. Is there a problem? So we're doing this like a visual novel, huh? There's no reason not to. Them's the rules. Rules are meant to be broken. Didn't they teach you that in school? That's just common sense, even for cats. So what's your problem? Come on, spill your brains. This bike just won't stop. The death balls away out past the wind. Listen up, Travis. Most of these gamers bought this game expecting a goddamn action game. So? So they don't want a buttload of text. Get it? Hold up. So what am I supposed to do? What, you worried about our meta score? <laughs> you scared of gamer reviews? If that's how you feel about it, then quit. Seriously? You're cool with just ending the series here? Just scrap the plans for that big old number three? If you're fine with that, then go ahead. This is an amazing video game. This is just... Holy shit, what is this shot? I don't know. <laughs> the Travis Strikes Back Digest. Coffee and Donuts was an original title for the Death Drive Mark II. A collaboration between Juvenile and Notsuma. Notsuma was a famous Taiwanese game creator. Juvenile was a huge fan of his SRPGs. They began the project after she went, sent him fan mail. Notsuma's most famous title was Eternal Organic Battle. The balance between story and gameplay was perfect. 
Notsuma sent over his storyline. A group of revolutionaries battle against corrupt politicians. They use smarts and guerrilla tactics to fight against the government. The story of the resistance. They say Notsuma's brilliant story made juvenile cry. Anyway, I go and meet with a hardcore Notsuma fanboy. Oh no! A Notsuma fanboy might have coffee and donuts. Fanboys talk like a lot. I sat through two hours of Notsuma's fanboy. <laughs> Finally, I was able to ask about the death ball. <laughs> I find out that the Texas Bronco Donuts change. Chain purchase coffee and donuts in an auction. Auction. I receive an invitation to Texas Bronco. They sent. <laughs> they send me through to the owner's room. It's a really pimped out, luxurious room. Rich people have class. The furniture is all casino. The rug is Persian. We give a toast with scotch. Turns out the owner knows me. Apparently, he'd seen my assassin ranking fights on pay-per-view. He paid three million per fight. The championship fight cost 10 million. The United Assassins Association made crazy bank. So anyway, it turned out he was a fan of mine. He brings the death ball out from a hidden room. He said he'd wanted to make Batman's dream come true. What? Why does he even know that dickhead? Turns out when Batman played for the Astros, the owner had been a famous pitcher and Batman's teammate. Blew out his shoulder three seasons in and retired. He tells me Batman was a great catcher. I don't give a shit. <laughs> he had an amazing arm. Must have with that swing and all. Finally, the owner tells me his name. Nigel McAllister. The legendary pitcher. I'm a huge McAllister fan. <laughs> Gene and I take the death ball and head home. Let's go, Gene. How was that? Nice one! Just to write him out of text. Your Metascore just went up five points! For reals? I don't know. I'll kill you. Let's go home, Travis! Batman's waiting. Oh, that was so tiny. Yes. That actually made me sad. <laughs> I'm sure that they'll just go crazy. With oh yeah, no. What? What are the like? The next one might just go insane. Yes, I'm starting to think there's there's anime gene and there's regular gene. <laughs> These are two separate entities. Possibly. Diabolical pitch is the Suda 51 baseball game starring Nigel McAllister. I love Suda God so goddamn much. God. <laughs> Maybe this area, okay, uh -huh. will be unique looking at points. So that way when I look in the magazine to see where to pull off the cheat code, it will be somewhere I could feasibly do that. <laughs> right. God, such a good shirt. Such a good run animation. <laughs> <laughs> look at him go. Oh, no, no, no! Uh-oh. <sighs> okay, we're good. We're good, everyone. We didn't get a new fax or anything either. Oh, Coffee and Donuts is the specific name of the death ball in the game inside. Holy shit. Fear can enslave you. Hope can set you free. What man versus the government? A thrilling tale of impossible revenge. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's zoom okay, in. Okay, that's a... That's kind of recognizable. Kind yeah. of? Yeah. We just look for some sort of down bridge. arrow and then some sort of overhang that's a rickety piece of shit. Right? Yeah. Play a dad tape and refers to hear an evil curse? Is this a bug or did the developer do this on purpose? You have to check out what we found. Make your way to the place of the photo and then immediately try playing the death drive console's dad tape backwards. This will let, let you hear a special version of Sylvia's answering machine message. According to rumor, it's actually kind of nice. And if you're lucky, you may even get to hear a message from some certain children. Be sure to try it out. A king transformed into a robot and his pilot, the blind prince. Okay. Powerful stuff. Ooh, this is a much higher rating than all the other ones. 
This one's gonna be good. Part part of me is like, these numbers are so exact. Is this how Suda feels about each level? <laughs> that would be really funny. I think he's underselling the last one, if that's the case. I know, it could have been liquor donuts. It's game time. I took the whole last world. All right. Is this one going to be live action or they find some other crazy thing to do? <laughs> well, that's a way to start it. My God, we got some PS2 graphics here. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> His shins are horse heads. That was like a Hanna-Barbera, like, robot that's junky sound for a second there yes. at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. The gunshot sound was also Hanna-Barbera core. Still doing that, huh? Oh, wow. Both of them this time. I guess that solves the riddle of what happens with Batman. Right. Hello. Hello. On pleasant days like this, I always worry that some something untoward is going to happen. Well, we've come to this new game world, so let's find the boss. Yes, let's hurry and hurry up and clear the game. Okay. okay. What the heck? Grandpa's words of wisdom. Catherine, coffee goes best with Japanese sweets called Shiratama Anmitsu. Try it. You'll be amazed. Cool. Music's very cozy. Yeah. Also, yes, this house it looks a lot like the one from Clock Tower, the original. I wonder how long it's been since you. Wait, that's not the voice I use for this character. <laughs> hey, Bob, you read him. I wonder how long it's been since anyone visited this hall. You're looking for the boss of the mansion. I don't know what a boss is, but I know this mansion's master. He was known for having put an end to the brutal war. His name is Brain Buster it, Jr. Try, try one more time. His name is Brian Buster Jr. There we go. <laughs> While he's called Jr., he's actually a white-haired old man around 70. Brian Buster Jr. was a man burning with vengeance. 
After his father was killed, he destroyed the opposing army. I've heard that he is now somewhere in this mansion. I hope this information proves useful. Good luck on your way. It's such a cozy song. Oh no! <gasps> ah! Oh my god, that old man collapsed! <laughs> He's dead, was this your doing? When we arrived, he was already... Oh, right. Batman's Bloom. Yes. I don't want to... We don't have to, no. White-haired old man. Isn't this who we were looking for? There are no clues anywhere. How about asking him directly? Offer him coffee and donuts, his favorites. <laughs> Out of sheer happiness, the spirit remaining in his body should tell you something. Where can we get those? The bugs in the de in the desert in the forest stole them and ran off with them. They're behind one of the doors in the mansion. I'm getting a vibe from the door to the side there. <laughs> Death, drive, thank you for your help. So I guess we're going to have to collect coffee and donuts then. Let's go find them. Not exactly what I expected from that intro video. Mm -mm. It's like the story never matches up with what the gameplay style is, right? At least that last one sort of did, right? It's like there was an attempt made, not mm -hmm. this time. Oh, is Alphonse asking about, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we bought Deadly Premonitions. We never played it. That's gonna be a dangerous stream. Yeah. Because chat. Yeah. Chat being chat. Yeah, chat. Brutal. What do you gotta do? <laughs> oh, there is a desert. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh it's, it's missing out. Okay. So was it just that it was still loading? I think so. Okay. I'm trying to think, what games has uh, Nintendo used Unreal Engine 4 on the Switch for? Uh, they did it for that Yoshi game. Oh, I was say, that's the only one, right? Maybe the Kirby one too, I'm not sure. Mm, yeah, I can't remember. All I remember is that Kirby game is 30 frames per second, and the Yoshi game is uh, insanely blurry. Yes. Frames more like soul. <laughs> Deadly Premonition would be very hard to death stream, it's quite lengthy. Let me get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, you did change out a skill, right? I did. I haven't used the new one the yet. The ninja star, right? Yeah. So it's the the A button. Yeah, it's the doppelganger ability now. Okay. That's true. We have done uh, 20 and a half hour streams and 33 hour streams and 21 and a half hour streams. Right. Technically... Deadly premonitions, how long to beat is under 21 hours. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, Bob, I'm going to need a bit more regular energy in that. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is mine. You're going to die. <laughs> well, that was dealt with pretty easily. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Jesus. Really surprisingly, they went down easily. Uh, yes, main story for Deadly Premonitions, 18 hours. Whoa. So, you know, we could do that as like our one stream for a week. <laughs> that way we have time to recoup. 
Yeah. Wait, could you imagine starting an 18 hour stream on a Friday? That sounds terrible. It does sound pretty terrible after we just did a podcast day. Yeah. Line right no, that. that's, that's the hard thing with us doing death streams nowadays is that our normal pot, our normal stream days after the day after podcast day. It seems that defeating the bugs fixed the bugs in the mansion. Convenient. We may be able to go somewhere new now. <laughs> or I could just creep in. Let me go save again. What a cozy song. <laughs> they let him wear that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Okami death stream. Oh, no. We would literally die. Yeah, that's a game that absolutely would be a lot to deal with. We could do this crazy thing, though, right? Split into two streams? We, we, well, th there's that. But also. <laughs> okay, what's this other thing? We could do a short Friday stream, like some sort of retro roulette where we go for four, maybe five hours, and then we shut the stream down, and then we come back Sunday to do yeah. Deadly Premonition, so that way we have time to recoup. It's true. Not that this would be happening very soon. We have, uh... Yeah, we saw we have Sly Weeks. hasn't happened. Besides, just because a viewer gives me deadly premonition doesn't mean I owe you a live stream. I'm going to charge you guys $900. Spiel bug. Right to young. Dad, no! Chaos Emeralds. Oh, okay. <laughs> Side of you says, got it. <laughs> Wait, was I mean, that bug's name really Spielbug? Yes. That's amazing. But I mean, I, we probably should have that as a stream goal at some point because Jesus, that will yeah, be 18 been, hours of our life. We've been streaming a lot without <laughs> having put up a lot of stream goals for things. Right. Like, but you know, that's fine. Once again, this isn't, this isn't any time soon. Yeah. We got a lot going on. Uh, as it turns out, No More Heroes 3 comes out in a week and a half, and at some point, we're supposed to stream slide. <laughs> then there are all sorts of content plans you guys don't even know about. See, I didn't get bug gates. That that wasn't that wasn't apparent to me. <laughs> Japan uses the word gate or gates in things a lot, and it's like that's not a normal name, and you're shoving it in weird places. Don't worry, Dan. Sly can wait until 2023. Dude, at this point, it's starting to look like it. Because cause, cause Metroid Dread's October, right? Yeah. So if we were to do a Metroid month in preparation for that, if we were to offer a stream goal and hit that, mm -hmm. we don't have much time. We don't. Likely it's the end of October. We don't have to play it. We can just continue to play old Metroid games when the new one comes out. Yeah, I just feel like people are interested in seeing the old ones before the... So that's, that's why the doppelganger blocks your path. Oh, he he takes yeah, he hits just, from them. Mm -hmm. He distracts them. Oh, that's cool. Well, good for him. Good for him. Also, Metroids are very short. I mean, on your second playthrough, this <laughs> is just on yeah, your first playthrough. I, you uh, are lost, and I have no idea what, how long to expect those prime, prime games. games. To be. Prime games aren't terribly short, yeah. But yeah, I mean, in the grand scheme of games we play, yeah, no, they're not very long. Like, like this game will end up being longer than basically any Metroid. Oh, even in the Primes? Yeah. Yeah, I'll look it up to be sure, but I don't think any of the Primes are 10 and a half hours. Yeah, in my head, those are like 15 plus hour games. Oh, really? Dude, that would be insane. Okay, let's start with one. Metroid Prime 1, 13... 14 hours. We'll just round up to 14. Okay, let's try Prime 2. 17 and a half. Okay. This is insane. Because having played a huge chunk of one, yeah. I never ever assumed that it was going to keep going that much longer. That's insane. 
I wonder if these numbers are just radically wrong. <laughs> Maybe. That's always a possibility. People are saying Metroid Prime 2 is pretty long. Okay. But yeah, and then 3 ended up at like 13 and a half. So yeah, all of those are chunkers. Yeah. Damn, that sucks. Right. Nice string. It looks like it's broken. Yeah, it's probably just a little too low res to properly show it. Yeah, yeah, it's shimmering. Prime 2 is long, but probably the best Prime game. <sighs> Look, I don't doubt that it's better than 3. That's not hard to believe 3 became Halo, and it's weird and dumb. And, man, they really don't know what to do with Metroid over there. But... <laughs> you mean to tell me Metroid Prime 2 is better than 1? That seems... Hmm. Bob... Yeah, what's up? Dread is coming out on the 8th of October. Wait, what? That is what Power Proto Man in chat is telling me right now. Oopsie. I hear from most people that 2 is better than 1. Huh. It's weird how many franchises Nintendo just has no idea what to do with. Uh... Weird... I think we transcended weird into downright aggravating and... Like... Almost a law of physics at this point. <laughs> right. Like, Nintendo will make an important formative game and then just not know how to do that again. Oh, no. And the weirdest part is, that, as everyone can see, it doesn't even need to be a 2D game originally. It could be a 3D game originally. <laughs> and they'll be like, we don't know what to do with it. And it's like, do, do it again. No. That's the last thing we'll do. <laughs> yeah, replace that. Yeah. With see. literally anything. Okay. Oh, fuck yes. Yeah, that sounds good. Common Advent freaks out because he just noticed that it's they're just Gundam names. Yeah, <laughs> it's really yep. something, man. I wish Game Freak would do anything other than do it again. Lord Richter, we're in a very bad scenario where they're not doing that. <laughs> they changed from 5th gen to 6th gen's weirdness, where it doesn't take any of the core strengths of 5th gen, goes goes and praises gen 1ers, uh -huh. and then doesn't do anything with that. And then we went to 7th gen, where they're like, we're reinventing gyms. Then we went to 8th gen, which is nothing like the other two. They, their problem is they didn't just... Keep doing five. Anyways, <laughs> who the hell are you? Get out of here. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> he had like some noodles pouring out of his mouth. Yeah. Also, yeah, they're doing Arceus. And their fourth gen remake is nothing like any of the other remakes. So, if anything, the number one problem with them... Plain donuts. <laughs> the number one problem with them, as uh, people who are not happy with them see it, uh, is that they're, you know... Yeah, even the... Yeah. Like, what should have been just more of the same last gen. Right. Was like, oh, we don't... We lost all the models. We don't know how to bring your Pokemon forward. We can't do it. We have no idea. Our brain's broke. <laughs> Oof, that was some fucking popping. <laughs> how about asking him directly... Offer him some coffee and donuts, his favorite. Out of sheer happiness, the spirit remaining in his body should tell you something. Thank you for repeating what they said. Yeah, right? It was like, okay, now it's a lock. Just checking. No, 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 no. I was trying to roll, but I was way past the door. But it's still like you're going in there. Yeah, just like I let go of L way ahead of hitting jump. <laughs> After every skill, because I want to use a skill and <laughs> jump to evade. Yeah. And because of that, it's like, I know you stopped holding L during that skill multiple <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> but you hit L in this corner century, so. Um, yeah, also someone pointed out the fourth gen remake isn't Game Freak. True. But I... You know, it's easier to generalize to the Pokemon Company slash Game Freak. Right. Dad, you can let go of the L, but the L will not let you go. <laughs> Do you feel safe? <laughs> Giant L. 
So, Bob. Yeah. Are you getting food? Yeah, I figured I should. Now's a good time? Yeah. Well, I feel like now might be the downtime at them. They're not late enough where I think it will be slammed. Yeah, I think that was our best chance. What a good song. I just don't want to be like, oh, well, now we can't eat. <laughs> I can eat brownies for the rest of the night. <laughs> yeah, it says they close at 11. So now's the best time. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. This is, I thought this was the door with him in it, not the desert door. So what do you want to do? Do you want me to type into your phone what my order is? Better text you have the me. app. What, well, which would you prefer? I just text me because it, it sounds like the app's just not going to work. Okay. Cancels and all that junk. And yeah. what do you think it's easier to do it this way? I mean, uh, if fine. you use their mobile app and not like a Grubhub or something, I don't think they're going to cancel it. Okay. The thing they cancel is their, um, is the Grubhub orders. Yeah, go for it then. Uh, I mean, in a worst case scenario, we can always just screen cap what it looks like. Right. Please. You guys become familiar with whoever works the late night delivery shifts? No. No. We can't get anything delivered past a certain time in this town because everything sucks. <laughs> Death drive, I brought coffee and donuts. Please place them beside the body. <laughs> Jewish grandmother of it. Please place them beside the body. Oh no. Until I get my revenge, I have. Uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> now he is able to rest in peace. The bugs of this world have been fixed just a little bit. He was able to go peacefully, but we don't know the cause of death. If the bugs have been fixed, then some of the bugs sealing off the mansion should be gone now. Let's check out another floor. <laughs> oh my god. Conehead. Uh, so they have a loaded taco fries burrito. So I'm going to order that with chicken instead of beef. I'm scared. Oh, he's out here, here now. Is it weird that that's immediately what I assumed this whole thing was going to be? I'm like, he just moved, which is hilarious. Ugh, another body. You got this, Bob. Please stay calm. I. It seems a good amount of time has passed since death. It wasn't there a second ago. Loaded taco fries burrito? Or taco? Well, the principle is simple. Let's go find coffee and donuts. Don't worry, Tosh. I was going to bring this to you after I put mine in. Beep, boop, beep. Loaded taco fries burrito. So imagine a burrito, but they shove fries in it. Yeah, I think they offered that before. I feel like I've ordered that. Did, did you want to order something? Okay. Well, why are you running away? You came all the way here and then ran away. And I'm like, I'm about to put in one item. Oh, you didn't leave your cup in here? Yeah. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Beep, beep, Catherine, beep, beep, beep. the sweets best suited to coffee aren't donuts. It's double berry cheesecake. Believe it. <laughs> I think Grandpa just wants to have a heart attack. <laughs> have a good night, Alphonse. Do, 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 do. It's very cozy. I can't believe the... But, the the other dude gets in my way physically. <laughs> yeah. Finn, Finn took us to the small dog, and I didn't know. I thought she was under the bed the whole time. Yeah. Oh, she's just hiding in your blind spot behind your laptop. That's funny. Novella Bagua. Okay. Okay, it was a time thing for the gate. Got it. Here you go. No bell means new. No way. <laughs> oh, geez. He blew himself up. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that was bad.
Okay, there it goes. Bomb does take a little while to go. Yeah, Marco, the uh, Travis Strikes Dan's been pretty fun. It's uh, very interesting. You can really tell that he just goes crazy with it. Like, no one's stopping him from doing anything. Get out of here with that exploding nonsense. Charge up again. I think I just knocked him all the way down to the second floor. Okay, I did. But yeah, I'm really excited for if he has this much creative control over a more regular No More Heroes game where he has budget. It's kind of insane. That guy's hurting me a lot. Heal and lightning. Throw him away. All right. Oh, damn, it was gonna be the camera. I thought I was going quick crazy. Yeah. Fair. Is that another gate? Okay, it seems to be for this to get up to that next level. Which might be a secret? Let's try. Here we go. Oh my god. That's really tight window. Do I have something that makes me faster? I feel like Suda here has free reign to go out there with no more heroes. Like, I don't think there's any reason to expect three to be normal at all. It's about superhero aliens attacking. I, I'm i pretty sure you shouldn't expect that to be anything close to a, what people would consider regular. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. God, this timing is so tight. I don't know if that's even possible. I guess we'll continue and see if there's some other way back to it. It's a There's a button to hit to make this platform go up, and mm -hmm. there's barely enough time to get here. Can you cancel? Maybe, maybe the bomb will work. Yeah, that'll work. No, it doesn't work. Damn it. Yeah, no, the power is assumed to work. Thank you, Shiny Mia, for gifting El Gordo a sub. Oh, man. Yeah, and then Did it I drops frames it? while I do it. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That was really good. <laughs> Did you guys get everything on the order? Uh, she's working on it. Okay. I saw him fill it out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, we haven't dropped any frames on our side, so that must be you, Marco. Exactly. I mean, the game is dropping frames. Yeah, the game's, the game's dropping like crazy here. I don't... I'm gonna be honest. I don't... I don't know even if it's up. Yeah, that's what... That's why I was like, I'm not sure if this is possible. So I'm like, maybe we go farther in the stage and something makes this make sense. Maybe. I just spilt a, a, an open can of monster onto a work keyboard. What do I do? <laughs> Tell no one. <laughs> Be like, hey, some stupid asshole did this when I wasn't here. <laughs> Man, I can't believe a Doritos Locos Nachos taco is $2. Yeah, everything at Taco Bell is not cheap anymore. Because they're criminals. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't see this happening. Yeah. 
God, this is so obviously near Automata inspired. <laughs> the backgrounds are shooting bullets now at me. They sure are. And I'm like, the aesthetic was already kind of approaching that. We need to use these powers. Taco Bell isn't cheap, then what's the point? Uh, they're open till 11. <laughs> yes. That's the point. That's how bad it is here. Bug. I'll bash you. I'll crush you. You're gonna die. Well, that was that was easy. Okay. So that's everything. Yeah. Cool. I guess I'll order this and run out there. Yeah, just make sure you screen cap the order before you order it in case something fucks up. True. That's what I do every time. The keyboard does feel faster now. <laughs> Seems that defeating the bugs fixed the bugs in the mansion. Yeah, yeah, I know. Please stop repeating everything you're saying. This is like a bad, bad video game. <laughs> Were you able to go into this door before? 204? This is upstairs. Um, yeah. Sweets, yep. yeah. The cheesecake thing. Yeah, they're gonna re keep repeating. That's why I'm not gonna read any of it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've already eaten dinner, but I'm gonna die, and now I want Taco Bell too. Sorry. We're really just getting Taco Bell because it's the solution. Yeah. Desp desperation if, if, more than if anything. I were not in a stream I could steam some fish and broccoli or make some rice dish with egg and you know why are we eating KZ's brownie uh cause I thought it was funny if chat paid me $30 to eat his food <laughs> without his permission but then he gave me $5 <laughs> <laughs> alright I gotta go out there and do it okay cool uh, you want my money I already paid oh okay Oh boy. Yeah, I guess so. If Taco Bell is going to be cheap, at least bring back the volcano menu. Bob is the storm. <laughs> Words of wisdom, coffee. Siphon brood or get the fuck out. The nostalgic rhythm of the coffee siphon of... Uh, Coffee siphon of a cafe under the tracks. Perfect for killing time while waiting for the laundromat. The aroma brings tears to my eyes. Is that a lovely memory or is it an atonement? It's a mystery. Oh, real quick before you go, Bob. Last thing. Oh my God, please, Travis. Open the door. Stop spinning. Um, This door right here. You haven't gone to that, right? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Just wanted to be sure. It looks like a, another area, but I know the area it looks like was downstairs. See? So, I'm pretty sure this is new. Wow, Travis, you're so cocko -y. Do you guys have Uber Eats? Uh, yeah, they just canceled stuff. You don't understand, there's nowhere to fucking eat in town, and they're all complaining uh, that the government gave people money to live. Um, no joke, Wendy's won't hire anyone. McDonald's is the only people who aren't just mad Wojak in the middle of this fucking, like, pandemic. 
everyone else is like, oh, we can't afford to hire anyone. And and, and we, we close. There's a burger place. There is a burger place that literally closes at 3 p.m. now. 3 p.m. They're open five hours. It's the Topps Burger from the infamous uh, burger conversation on Big Thing. Oh. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Digimondo. I, I noticed that when KZ was bringing stuff up. I'm like, KZ, why is McDonald's charging two bucks plus for a, a large soda when that's supposed to be one dollar? Then, yeah, just found out. Oh, yeah, that's, that's they're doing that for a lot of things. Cool. Wendy's is to let wait. Wendy's is 11 to 10. McDonald's is 8 to 9. Huh. Yeah, our McDonald's is... Oh, my God. Our McDonald's is doing pretty good. As I said, one of the few people in 2020 slash 2021 to deal with it just fine. The sad part is my parents believed Wednesday, Wendy's. They're like, yeah, Wendy's can't hire anyone. I'm like, then explain McDonald's doing well. Maybe if Wendy's paid people and had proper management. Because the number one reason people quit jobs isn't even isn't even pay. It's usually just work conditions. So, you know, hire a proper amount of staff for the love of fucking Christ. You know what? We're just going to cast that healing. Where did it go? I must have tried to jump and they hit me in the middle of it. Yeah, our McDonald's added the two drive through speakers a while ago. Thank you for the vault. Yeah, if the manager's a tyrant, it doesn't matter how much you get. Yeah, and the Wendy's here, I'm going to be honest. They've always struck me as a really crap place to work. Now, what? one second, that's the down arrow. Okay, we got to bring up... I'm pretty sure the cheat image is the same everywhere. Or the cheat code is the same everywhere, but we're going to make sure. Yeah, okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I totally want to post that. Thank you. Okay. Well, that helps. I hope that thing comes back. It does! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. I'm probably just not understanding every reason, but can you explain what's wrong with uh, having the drive through entrance and exit on the same lane? Like, explain what that is exactly. Do you mean they connect to a major road on the same lane or what? Ladybug bug, you're gonna die! You're gonna die! You're gonna die! I got my first back shot today with the partner. Oh, wow. That's terrible. About Utah. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad you got the back shot. Um, absolutely miserable that your job said they, they wouldn't allow you to call out due to symptoms. Go, donut. We must ride. These are very well modeled donuts. Yeah, accident entrance from the road. Okay. And it's not wide enough for two cars, so it's basically one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, like, like the literal entrance to and from the road is only one car wide. Yeah, we have some real nightmares for fast food, like, establishment design and integration into cities around here. Um, the Popeyes is terrible. People get backed up into the road constantly. That Popeyes is not a nice fill, uh, because it's a nice place to eat. Actually, I found a tiny saw. Oh, that's amazing. 
A Sonico, that sounds great. That's a nice blender, don't it? It's a very high quality, don't it? The Wendy's in my area has been advertising hiring with $14.50 per hour, a signing bonus, and free food. Yeah. I saw McDonald's here was offering a sign in a signing bonus. He's still on the stairs, I assume. Yep, there he is. Please stop dying. I don't want to die. Continue. Donuts, so sweet. Ghost. Yeah, minimum wage in Florida is uh, shockingly low for some reason, uh, which is why every business here had a shit fit when the government gave people money to live. God, that's insane. Yeah, no, like reading these fucking minimum wage prices is minimum wages is insane. What does that continue about? I don't know, but I assume he's attempting to continue doing something. Another bug has disappeared. Let's keep going. Is this an elevator? It is. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Catherine, the cherry pie at the donut shop is usually amazing. I'm almost at triple peaks. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Catherine, tofu donuts are really healthy. Don't worry, just eat them. <laughs> yeah, we talking about Denny's? Oh. <laughs> there are two of him. Ah, more dead bodies, two of them. What is this, murder mansion? If we give him now, his death will remain a mystery. We need to find coffee and donuts. Okay. Yeah, this is easily the worst level so far. I think they know. Hmm? Please stop trapping me in places, bad man. Okay, this room seemingly does nothing so far. But yeah, the, the McDonald's in Niceville is really well done, uh, run. Like, it's very competently run. So it doesn't surprise me that they're dealing fine. Ooh. We got a customer. Welcome on in. Give me your best ramen. Sure thing. Here you go. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Gochisosa. I ordered from the wrong Taco Bell. Oh, Bob. <sighs> Taiwan ramen, a quirky Nagoya specialty. I need to remind him to check the food. Check the food when you leave. The chicken-based broth and spices pack a nice punch. That is a scary-looking ramen. It's mad quirky.
Grandpa's words of wisdom. Catherine, I recently found out why donuts have holes in them. The whole part is connected to the deep sea. <laughs> and it's food for deep sea fish. Do your McDonald's get raided at 3 a.m. when all the clubs close and you have drunk hassles causing a ruckus so much that the McDonald's have metal shutters at the counter so the cashiers aren't being threatened. Threatened. Welcome to McDonald's in the UK. Our McDonald's doesn't get anywhere close to 3 a.m. I am genuinely having trouble here. What do you mean? 725 in Texas? Jeez. That's insane, Quakesies. Yeah, I don't... None of these areas I opened up seem to be adventure areas. That's Grandpa's advice. This is also Grandpa's advice. 725 in Kansas, too. 75 in Nevada. Yeah, night, uh, Florida is really expensive to live in, so I don't know about... Our minimum wage being sustainable. Middle elevator. Oh. Oh, that stopped having bugs on it. Okay. It's really too bad that the United States fetishized uh, freedom so much that people are just doing harm to each other. And if the government tries to stop them from doing that, then that'll that'll really uh, step on someone's. Uh, like, that's not what America's about. America's about you letting me do whatever I want, no matter how much it's going to hurt other people. Except for when it comes to all these things I don't like, like drugs somehow really against uh, recreational drug use, but really for not wearing a mask. So you let the aroma of coffee lead you right into this trap. He will die here. You will never get the forbidden coffee. Damn. Come on, damn. That was it. Jesus. Well, at least you guys know what building is the right building to protest. UK protesters don't even know where the BBC is anymore. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, clearly there's, there must be a level of context that I'm missing here. And eventually I figured out uh, from listening to people, no, they just fucked up a Starbucks. Yeah, I guess they somehow thought that Starbucks was the BBC. It makes absolutely no fucking sense. I don't know. I have no idea. But I also don't know what the BBC building looks like to begin with. Oh, it used to be a BBC. Oh, my God. Yeah, destroying a Starbucks will definitely do something. 
Ips, Ips, Ips. I mean, the UK only fuck it sounds wild because the United States isn't uh, locking down as much. I'm, I'm sure it would get that bad here, at very least in my state of Florida. Okay, at least it's not the desert. That's something. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Yeah, I saw that CF. Yeah, it's nuts. Oh my god, they're bouncy donuts now. Oh my god. Okay, Dan. Space this out. That's the middle. Nailed it. Remember what it looks like. Okay, it's the shitty bridge. <laughs> what is that dude's deal? At least this is more interesting than the rest of these areas have been. These chips seem a bit ridiculous. Okay. Okay, that means this is the end of this area. Bug gates. Be cool. I'm gonna blow. You're gonna die. Well, that worked okay. Uh, Travis Strikes Again is really fun. I'm really, really enjoying it. Wasn't that desert area the same style as this is the first level of TSA? I feel like it was different, but I could be wrong. How about I? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this is currently the, like the lowest end level. Oops. Oh, that's good. I was sitting here wondering if they were going to bring the chips into uh, No More Heroes 3. I think the chips are really cool. You know, having skills with cooldowns is smart. 
We're gonna feed one at a time. This world, the bugs, it's time to let it end. I'll eat them all. Uh oh. Fuck. I guess maybe it was one of these on the top floor then. <laughs> it's an elaborate joke, but a lot of the game it's a lot of the games it's parodying never got released overseas, so uh oops. See, that's the thing. I got the clock tower vibes from this, but I don't know what that other thing is. Well, I found it. Yeah, yeah. The uh, beginning of this is... Uh, the beginning of this world did say that. Ugh. Come on, I don't even know the last time I saved. Oh my god. Yeah, this might be the worst world for that to happen on. Can anyone remember a save anytime remotely recently? <sighs> It'd be nice if there was one per floor. Now I gotta go back down every time I beat the level. Ugh. That's disheartening. Wonder how food is going. <laughs> one bathroom, everyone's worst nightmare. I mean, it's a huge house. You would think. I'm starting to worry this game won't boot. Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ. Never seen a console that had games crash as often as the Switch does. Um, I feel like PS4 games used to be worse about it. PS4 games used to be worse about it. Um, <laughs> huh. Yeah, I do often have a lot of games when the Switch crash. It probably does outdo every other console. Probably. Oh my god. So yeah, this is floor one. Which means... Have a good night, Dragonite. This is what I was afraid of. <sighs> See, I don't even know. I might have the thing from this level. I don't even know. I didn't handle the first floor. Bob did. <laughs> At least Bob won't miss any content. I'm sure Bob's probably listening on his phone. Okay, there we go. We are past the level one floors being... The floor one levels all being done. So we just need to remember which room he's in and give him things.
Yeah, the game crashed on the worst possible level. That's all. That's all. progress did you lose uh um, 40 minutes 30 minutes something like that man i hope bob gets there in time yeah i didn't take into account the possibility of a crash If I had and realized it was never going to give me another bathroom to use, I would have headed back to the first floor. So in a way, that's my fault. Um... I was really sad that X-Dive just isn't working on uh, my MacBook. The controller's not working. Wanted to give that game a chance. Like, in general, not necessarily as, a, as an episode. There you go. Man, you take a lot of hits. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do there. Yeah, it should be it should be faster just because I have a good idea of what I'm doing now. I'll bash you, I'll crush you. You're gonna die. Yeah, I was there for that. Um, I was watching her stream before we went live. So that was cool. Uh, as I understand it, she's using blue stacks to en emulate Android on her computer. I hate that like the game boots and everything's fine, but they just didn't integrate the controls correctly.
Yeah, I still think 5.5 is a really extremely bad score to give a game. Like, a large amount of this game was very joyous. So it crashing like that once, uh, you know, it's bad, but it's not too bad. Oh, did Banny wake up? She was uh, sleepy. She was a kitty ball hanging out behind Tosha's laptop. And apparently she has awoken. She's become bespoken. I really appreciate the fact they put a, a hue glow, like a red glow on the corner of the screen to show you which fucking way the enemies are at all times. Hey, Dan, you're dying. Cut it out. You know, it's wild. 7 Gen was so shitty that they could resell those same three to five year old games. Running properly at full price, they couldn't pull the same shtick this gen since a gen at very least worked. Um, I don't know. I mean, people are paying for ninth gen upgrades on some games, like Judgment. Um, yeah, there, there, there are a few different games that are getting next gen upgrades that people are buying. Sony's whole stick seems to be that. Okay, it's just going to take that and then two of these, and then they're dead. Yo, you go down? Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Yo. Oh, this is not great. I didn't mean to get myself into this shit. And they can just appear there. I guess we're gonna use Batman for a second here just to just to skate on through. He's not even that strong. We need to get his skill selected. No. How do I How do I select his skills? Oh, you have to hit that button first, then hit down. Man. That menu's still the weirdest menu in this game. Of course, now I have to do cooldown on all those moves. Oh my god. This is looking a little dire, you guys. Hey, Bob. At the end of your journey, you got food. At the end of mine, I had to redo it. It crashed. They didn't give me a save room since you saved at the very beginning. Yeah, so I apparently should have been running all the way downstairs every time I beat a level. That's nuts, though, because they make the elevator system kind of crappy at some point on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's uh, four floors tall. Yeah, it just keeps going. This is easily the worst level in this game, and then it made me redo it. I'm like, come on. Wait.
Is that... I didn't even... You can level up for free heal as well. Oh. Ah. Uh, Dwayne says, since I have virtual, I would just be paying for good load time since my TV can't do 120 frames per second. Yeah, those uh, load times on um, on Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition are completely insane. And I would say worth paying for on their own because it's nuts. I can't believe that level had a secondary exit that didn't have the key item on it. Am I insane? Is that not exactly what just happened? Oh, there we go. We got to see Batman take a shit. I felt like I was crazy, but then when I exited the level, they didn't do the usual dialogue. So I'm like, okay. You skipped the coffee by accident. Yeah, yeah, and I couldn't go back down. Uh, we haven't been streaming that long. For us, anyways. Uh, it's on screen. Why do people always ask? It's on screen. It's always on screen. Yeah, it's so insane. It's like the whole point, the whole point of, I thought the whole point of that area would have been able to get something secret, but it didn't even let me beat the level. You know what? Let's, let's see how many points we got. Accidentally went to the bad talk or the wrong Taco Bell. He went to the bad one and they forgot food. That's what was happening in the other room. <laughs> yeah. You can eat now. I got this. All right. I'm just redoing fucking bullshit. Great. Yeah, There's I wasn't able to catch to... anything while I was gone because. Uh... Well, that's okay. Yeah. You literally missed nothing. Yeah, apparently. Uh... Yeah, no, it's it's really rough for the stream. You, yeah, but yeah, you go eat and then, then I could go eat. Maybe not have to do all of this. <laughs> I still can't. I guess, I guess this game and how it reviewed proves why people aren't doing PS2 action game sort of things anymore. Because this reviewed terribly. <laughs> I would consider it of the same scale. You think this is cheaper than a Bujin guy? Yeah, I think it also doesn't evoke that sense at all because it's like usually trying to be the weird arcade view. Yeah, it's like 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 Yeah, Bujingai had a celebrity in it, but when it comes to a lot of things budget-wise, it didn't strike me as an extremely high-budgeted game for the time. Up, oh, right, this is... Uh... It's the sort of thing that makes me go, there really is no middle space, huh? You have to make something that's really, really indie or something that's AAA. I still can't believe they had this other path that 
jumped me with an insane amount of enemies. That didn't seem to give me anything special other than, you know, I guess a lot of experience. You bet what? Oh yeah, Gene probably will be there eventually. Yeah, you're right. like I should just go back down there and fight them again to raise my experience <laughs> but no no we we have enough to replay I don't need to replay this one level multiple times I've already done it twice yeah I do I do because I feel like there's more experience to be gained down there in an easier way than most of the rest of this I mean notice how I changed to bad man and just instantly started level three peaking Not a very good game to play single-handed. Oh, okay. It's the one on the far side. I can't answer that question for you, Hasadiko. Only you know the true answer. Wait a second, Dan. He disappeared because you got both and you just went in here for no reason. I need to save. They give us an extra what? Oh, okay. I should have said tomorrow something? Oh. The tombstone pile driver. Okay, time to remember which fucking door it is. <laughs> Should have been the elevator in the middle. Yep, we discover them. That's still funny. Yeah, I don't know what's with... um. With them spawning in both characters, but not having an AI take control of either. Nope, middle was not it.
<laughs> it won't let me jump over them. Maybe talking to them triggered this door opening after I would have passed it. Yeah, that's what it ended up being. Okay. <sighs> yeah, money doesn't do anything in this game now that, you know, the DLC unlocks everything for free. Or the latest patch does. How are you? Okay. <clears throat> Here you go. Enjoy what I already did. Seat man purple. Sure, Dan, I already read that. <laughs> oh, well. Um, hope this isn't too bad. What's up? Are you serious? Yeah. I don't know. I ordered hot sauce. Yeah, it's the worst. To... So, how, where does mid boss sheep go from here? He's already got rockets strapped to his back. There we go. There's some people who want Sproz Taco Bells. Yeah, yeah, and that one's extra bad. All right, I got the coffee. Yeah, I got the a couple of the flatbread things, which were okay. The flatbread seems fine. All right, yeah, fixes the bugs in the mansion. Okay, now go upstairs. The other, room. then all the way to the left. Okay. If you pass the brown door, go in. But I'm pretty sure you're not. So go all the way to the left. And then go down the floor once you're all the way to the left. So we're like, oh, you're not apart. all the way to the left. Go oh. all the way to the left. Now go down the floor. Now go all the way to the right. You can see why I'm thrilled to redo this. Uh -huh. There you go. Okay, that's like. There was a whole area you you skipped because I told you exactly where to go. Okay. Where you just wandered through there going, why are there no fucking cars? No need to go. Remember to go run save after doing this one. I wish they just put a save run in, in here or something. Yeah, it's insane that they put none. Yeah. It's just like you don't get it. You don't deserve a save run. You know what? I assume Trap is super low health. Probably Chat pointed out you can level a dude up to regain health. Oh, okay. Uh, I saved, so he's not, really. Hmm, okay. But no reason to not use Batman and then just switch to Travis to be a chart. Yeah, that's true. Because if you switch to Travis, you're gonna have to reset the skill. Right. Thanks for subscribing, Mad World Card. Subscribed for 32 months. Jesus. Oh my god. That's what? a lot. What? Made World Card. <laughs> oh, made my, made my card. Oh, thank you very much. We're enjoying 
this game, it just crashed and I lost 45 minutes of progress. So, you know. Yeah, it's a little rough. Oh, what is that? Bugwis? This guy's tough. Let me, um... Let's see. Where's that bomb? There we go. Charge up again. Just show chat something real quick. Okay, chat. This is how the Gordita arrived. Part of it gnarled off. Shell insanely uneven. <laughs> Steak instead of chicken. They know exactly how to make a sandwich. They earned the title, The Bad Taco Bell. <laughs> Let me just teal in here for a minute. Look, they're not tacos. We could just call them chicken, or to call them sandwiches. It's no, fine. Just call it chicken. Yeah, it's chicken. So, I guess. Chocolate donuts aren't bouncy, but frosted donuts are bouncy. Why not? God, he still blow up. So I could slow him down. Oh God, you can fall off of that. It's an extra flatbread uh, beefy br beefy t potato thing. So it's got beef potatoes on a flatbread. Oh my god. Why did they get rid of gorditas and then call things flatbread? I don't know. It is basically a gordita though, yeah. are extra bouncy. No, 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 no. Okay. Let myself recharge that a little bit. There it is. Are you making that app, Digimondo, or is it, is is there really a Negan that has a laser bat? <laughs> oh my god! Too much for run. Wait, I don't get the. Okay, sure. I don't get that benefit this time. Is there a version of The Walking Dead where it's all set in the future? That seems really stupid, but okay. What? You're talking about a version of Negan from The Walking Dead that uses a laser bat. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to blow. You're going to die.
<sighs> this again. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go save if I can find yeah. that. Oh yeah, absolutely. We're approaching when it crashed. Great. Okay, now we're in the main part of the house. It's always right. Yeah, I remember where the save point is at least. Okay. <laughs> oh, this first time I've seen him save. Great. Just what I wanted. His sides aren't in nearly as good a shape, and they're very hairy. I'm gonna guess that I go back to back up there. Yeah, it should be fourth floor, so you go all the way up. Middle, you take the door to the left of the two bodies that disappeared down into the middle. Yeah, that. God. Oh, I'm bad, man. <laughs> no, you're Travis. <laughs> Yeah, you talk to the no, we need to find the bodies. Okay, so run slightly to the right. Okay, here we go. And then you just go back to the area you just went. All right. That's, man, that's really bad that that consists of RT Young. How many bodies does this guy have? Let's go find the coffee and donuts. <laughs> they put Negan tech in, but they didn't those cowards didn't put Armor King into Walking Dead. Yeah, I know. That would have been re the true crossover. Well those certainly didn't open. Okay, I need to figure out where what did open then. Hmm. <sighs> what could it be? I assume we already went there. Oh, this is the worst. This is absolutely the worst level to, to have to redo. I don't know if I've ever tried peanut butter and donuts. I have no idea how that would go. Worst part is I don't know. Well, most of those doors are still locked, so I have no idea. Yeah, the, when I went down in the middle. Really? Yeah. I didn't go in here, but I wasn't. Okay. Yeah, then do that. <sighs> it would be fine if I hadn't already done all this. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh, this is a pretty bad part of this game. I guess you know this too shall pass. But what if it didn't? <laughs> but what if there was a <laughs> Because I hold it to jump higher on the donuts, the, the uh, B button, I honestly was like, was, is that the wrong button normally? <laughs> Hopefully that exclusion's not big enough to hit me. Okay, it looks fine. Yeah, 
And this is the guy who is from that baseball game, right? He's not. It wasn't a reference to someone else who wasn't him. Let's see. Okay, there's another donut coming. God, a burger patty inside a donut. Do you use two separate donuts or you cut one donut in half? Right, that's what I would assume too. Alright. Let's throw the bomb at him. Okay, I can't throw the skull. That makes sense, I guess. I keep hearing good things about Donut Country, but I don't... I have no idea if that's the kind of game I would get into. Oh. Oh, the rest of the level disappeared. I have to just trust it. This looks kind of like the area that had the cheat code in it. Uh, yeah. I guess it's in the album, so I can double check it. Okay, it's not quite. I think you probably hit the same spot I did when I checked that. Okay. Because I think that exact double made me check it. <laughs> Chat's like, oh god, I'm stuck in a time warp. <laughs> Man, he just took, kept taking those heavy hits until he could just shoot me. There's got to be a way to break this thing. So did chat say whether it was a, a donut cut in half or two donuts? I did not catch it. Do you remember who was talking about it? No. Chat, can you run that past me again? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> At least you saved. Boing, boing, boing. Speaking of donuts, the other day I went to Timmy's, asked for a glazed donut. It was like 90% glazed, 10% donut. Oh my god. Two donuts plus cheese and bacon, says Digimonda. Good lord. Mm. It was 0645 and he said two donuts. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah. I feel like one donut and I'm down with it. You know, it's probably tastier than a McGriddle if those donuts are fresh. Yeah, if it's a good donut, sure. Okay. I'm always surprised when they throw the easy Danny's at me like this. Like, I'm so used to the ones that take tons of hits. If I recall from what the boondock said, it was two Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh, well, that, that, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fresh Krispy Kreme's god tier. Yeah. Not much can compete with that. That boondock's recipe gave me a mental heart attack just from seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's funny to have a game where they put in Steve Bloom, but most people would rather play as Robert Atkins Downs. Yes. Who are you? You're going down. As you can see, the dialogue has been on loop the entire fucking world. Yeah. Yeah, this is weird. It's nothing like the rest of the game. 
Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking with this. Budget dimension. Yeah, other than that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they should have just put in Shinobu voiced by Steven Bloom. <laughs> then people would play it, sir. <laughs> Uchunari coffee. Very fancy. It's very expensive. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure that there's no way that an air fryer donut would recipe would be easy or good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That seems like not a great idea. <laughs> oh my god, that's really sad, El Gordo. The thought of the only places to get donuts near you are Walmart or Edmonds. Or Entenmann's, whatever, the, the grocery store donuts. That's really bad. Of those two, I'll choose the Entenmann's. Yeah. Yeah, no, I... Korak says, I might have missed the question, but coffee or tea? Coffee. Coffee. As much as I respect tea and enjoy it in many, many modes, I enjoy coffee way more. These didn't open up. I enjoy coffee so much that it's a threat. Because most coffee has dairy mixed in. Oh, yeah, no, that's... I, I have to just give up on that and <laughs> make sure I don't order anything with that. Um, maybe this one? Yeah, probably. This is probably it. Could be. In the UK, we have local bakeries, a big chain called Greg's, Supermarket Donuts, and we got Krispy Kreme in Scotland about five years ago now. Yeah, luckily we at least have donut places here. We got Dunkin'. Yeah, we got Dunkin' Krispy Kreme. I mean, you can go to Publix, Winn-Dixie, or Walmart. I'd only recommend Publix. Yeah, um, I, I, grocery store donuts are just not even donuts in my head. <laughs> yeah, and then and then you can get you know like the that one um small donut place in Valparaiso, which is fine. Oh, this is it. Yeah, this is definitely it. Um, I can do the code if you... Oh, you remember it? Yeah, of course. It's oh. the same code for everything. But yeah, we have uh, the other local place out, out in Fort Walton as well. I do not believe this is it. Oh, well. We tried. Oh, it was one step down. Weirdest donut you've ever eaten. Mine was Voodoo Donuts ODB Peanut Butter Oreo Dough. That sounds pretty good. We had some really weird donuts at that place that's now closed. They opened out in Destin. We're trying to be like a... a oh, I can't get back up. Oh, now. no. They're mean. I'm trying to, there was like a Fruit Loot Donut or something. Oh, yeah. You're talking about that insanely high-end donut place in Destin that was there for yeah, the... Yeah. The whole thing was like, we covered the donuts, all sorts of weird stuff. Our base donut's kind of not great, but uh, we put any, we put a ton of weird things on it. <laughs> Lord Richter says, I think you have to enter the the code on the pause screen. Uh, I didn't have to last time, because I did the one earlier in this world. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That was several levels ago now, I guess like three or four. Because, you know, this place keeps going. Yeah. I do find it funny that they fucked up which one were the chocolate ones and which one were the frosted ones on that last level you played. Oh, did you were you were bouncing off of chocolate ones? Oh my god! Chad even pointed it out, and then I looked back at the screen, and eventually you hit it again, and it happened again. And I'm like, "How is it like this?" <laughs> How's TSA going so far? Oh, it was going really well, and then it crashed. And I had to redo about 40 minutes. 
hot sauce and caffeine intake, it's because of those that my digestive system is fucked up and one of my relatives got colon cancer. Um, I mean, that's just blood pressure related, it sounds like. Because, you know, caffeine and salt. Oh no! It's so weird that like this just makes him jump. It look it doesn't look like it's bouncing so much as just like yeah I, I ha I'm compelled to jump. Donuts make me jump. You seem to be having a time. Yeah, is it put spawned enemies before I got up there ruining it? Mm-hmm. This is still 3D, by the way. So if you step further into the background, it'll center you on the donut more. This is a good preamble to us playing, um... Oh, God, why do I always forget the name of the game? That action game on the PS3 that's now coming out on PC and HD. El Shaddai? Shaddai, yes. El Shaddai. This is a good preamble to that. I feel like this has strong El Shaddai energy. A little bit. Or it's but just I... like, here's your dumb platforming challenge. <laughs> You're like, can, can I not? <laughs> I don't remember that actually having 3D space of platforming, like when it went 2D mode, but maybe it does. I feel like it did at least once. <laughs> I could be wrong. The more I'm playing Fantasia, the sadder I'm getting about how it's arcade, Apple Arcade only. I want to actually be, be able to actually own this game, and it seems like the chances it will ever get ported seem slim. I really hope that there aren't any Apple other art, Apple Arcade exclusives like this. Well, I mean, if the alternative is it not getting funded, I'd rather it be exclusive to one platform than not exist. You know, like, uh, sure, I would prefer BoJack Horseman come out from some company who likes doing home releases, but if at the end of the day, the alternative is never getting BoJack Horseman, then whatever, Netflix can have it. Oh, did they lock my skills? Yeah, what the heck? Who can do that? Is that his field? That's his stand. Okay, there we go. No, he still, I still have it. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know why uh Korak said that to you, Lord Richter. Hey Bob, uh Korak said uh Sly Weeks after uh TSA. Yeah? <laughs> Let I, me read this for me. Sly Week, hopefully. I don't <laughs> is that that's news to us. Uh, <laughs> This is like when I go into the questions and suggestions <laughs> channel and someone will be like, hey, how long does it take to edit something? And somebody shows up and they go, uh, well, I think it's this long. And I'm like, why are you? T you don't. I'll be back. You don't even know what my workflow looks like, <laughs> right? Oh, that's unfortunate, Duan. Ugh. Oh, so, so, so. Gotta save that preset. Anything on fire? Nothing's on fire. Leave me alone, then, phone. I said, hopefully. I was hoping. Yeah, but they asked a question and then you answered oh it God, like that, Cameron. as though we said that. That's what they walked away with. <laughs> well, we could level him up and that's heal him. That was Travis. Yes. Okay, so you're switching to Travis. Yeah, I already okay. switched to Travis and his health was and already he, he down. Somehow. So. Wait, then that you, means we need to switch characters and use the bathroom I, individually? I guess it does. What? Actually, I don't know if the bathroom heals you. It's I think it's Earth's Ramen stands. No way. What? Yeah. That's... This game is unhinged. Yeah. Well, there was a ramen stand in one of those optional doors. Oh, was there? Okay. Yeah. Oh, this thing's hard. This is a purple donut. This is very different. Or it's a pink donut in shade. <laughs> I don't have any block or anything. <laughs> but yeah. 
Um, the problem with us is that we're definitely going to be dive bombing No More Heroes 3 when it comes out. So, like... Then, then, you know... What's, what's, what does that mean? Oh no, Travis! Why didn't it stop? So why isn't he aiming this time? I don't know. Seems to break. Um, so what that would mean, right? Mm -hmm. Is that we would have to start Sly Week Friday and get it done by next Friday. <sighs> and we can't do that because PlayStation All-Stars is a part of that. You know, because we're doing the catch up on, on every PlayStation All Stars thing, Jesus. so that adds that literally makes that a decent chunk of stream now. Right? Because it's Dante, Nar Nariko. Yeah. Wait, we did, did we, we, I don't think we did Nariko yeah, before. I, don't think, I we think, did. think people were pointing out we never did Nariko. Um. And then there was one more. Oh yeah, Gen General General Radic. Oh, yeah, I forgot he was playable, because... Who? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Travis strikes again more like Travis fucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure if we were going to stream No More Heroes 3. Yeah, I, I don't know either, but either way, I have to... Yeah. I have to play it. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, it really the bomb missed him. And it went into it's the okay, background. just lure him back to it. No, it went on the No, it went all oh, the way what? in the background and blew oh, up. Oh okay, I thought the bright thing on the left was it. Oops. Oh, oh matcha, matcha donuts. donuts are so good. <laughs> yeah, and then we have to watch Jin Ro <laughs> for kill zone. <laughs> Okay, I was like, what? Oh, right. It's all in design. I mean, to, I mean, to be fair, if we ever do play Killzone 1, 3, Mercenaries, or the, the or Liberation 3, we really should watch Jin Ro first. Yes. Well, is that the boy or is it just our own curiosity? I, yeah, I don't know. We 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 really did a weird thing in that we did a review of Shadowfall first. Mm hmm And then... And then ended up. Oh, so he's alive! <laughs> Please help yourself. I assume we're still not caught up to where you were. No, this is this is. I didn't do that last stage. Oh, okay. And I started I started the one before, and that's when it crashed. Why? Why won't you let me reach game over? My work is done. I want to die. This world is nothing but weak, unworthy enemies. The heated, exciting battles. Days long past. Or no more. The bitterness and the sweetness. And it's delicious. And then he dies even though he was alive. Yeah, what? So I assume that will open the main door now. Coffin and notes are like a life source. His exact is his revenge. Lost all worthy opponents and... With nothing left in this world, he attempted to take his own life. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> no. There's nothing wrong here in the, this world. Now we can finally proceed. There was a heavy door in the lobby. It should be open now. <laughs> Let's go. The time for peace and quiet is over. Yeah, they're not acting like themselves at all. No, they're it's clearly not. <laughs> <clears throat> Which is why I'm like... This this part is terrible. <laughs> I don't know why it's like this. I don't think it works. Ooh. Somehow Gene being a talking cat is more on brand than this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
I mean, even if it is aping it, these two characters are spending a protracted amount of time acting nothing like themselves. Okay, that did heal me. And it's the worst world. Change, change, change characters real quick. I want to have a stroke. Play ball. Yeah, we, we gotta take him we to the bathroom too. We gotta take shits individually. Oh my god. Well, they can't use it at the same time. <laughs> Suda, what are you doing? What in the world, my man? <laughs> <laughs> you have to stagger the shits. <laughs> well, you should change to a character with skills no matter what you do. Yeah. This is insane. Socially distanced shits. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's so insane. It is really insane. He's very shaky. Well, he's a mech. Oh, that's how you, you're in it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they showed that in the intro we watched uh, forever ago. I, I couldn't quite make out where he was before. Who are you? I'm Travis Touchdown. I'm an assassin who somehow found my way here. Have you come to kill me? Possibly. Whether you live or die depends on you. Why have I returned? Did you do this? Well, yeah, I guess I did. Why? I was seeking death, I'm tired, and I just want to die. <laughs> so I made it look like a murder. I thought everything out so thoroughly. What? Oh, that murder was solved. By whom? By me. You should have just left it alone, you goddamn fool. Hey now, I just saved your life and you're calling me a goddamn fool? You worthless little punk. This old bastard is already far too g Draw your sword. I'll put you down like a dog. Bring it on, Gramps. I'll kill the shit out of you. Dai Tokyo Mugen Sabaku! Dad, it's showtime. Wood suit onward. Woods. So your dad was Woodman? Nice. Brian Washington Jr. Oh, hey, it's from some of the review footage I saw. Who's that? Who is that? Oh, it's Voxandra. Hey, Vox. Vox's raid message, happy birthday, Winter. Oh, happy birthday, Winter. Happy birthday. <laughs> if she's here, yeah, she right. may have been like, we're raiding Giga Boots, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, there she is. Also, thank you for the follow. Also, one moment. Just, just uh, one more thing. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, do a chat. <laughs> Everyone gets the power of giving Winter a happy birthday. <laughs> Chants are so great. Thank you for stopping on by, Vox. Uh, I'm really glad you stopped on by at the end of the level we just went through. Because it was easily the worst one in the game. And the game crashed, so I had to redo it. Oh, wait, wait. Even Tosh said happy birthday, Winter. Why is there a sentinel watching you? I, I don't know, but it's cool. Unfortunately, all of your moves will be on cooldown. Yes, it's better than never having them, but... Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this game has been really fun so far. It's got hilarious writing. Um... And honestly, it's been a joy to play. It's just this last level, this last world. That was like really bad. <laughs> Cause the writing just stopped being good intentionally. And then the levels got really bad too. On top of that, it was like, oh no. Oh shit. Oh my God. <laughs> 
so that would be why Sentinel's watching. Now we know. Right? Yeah, st stick the bomb on his butt. Just blow his butt up. He did a desperation move? Whoa, Wait. now I... No way! <laughs> oh, he sucks compared to his dad. <laughs> oh, this is good. I like that he doesn't just wrestle them. Right. They give Batman his own finisher. That's cool. It's probably always hitting with a bat like that. But, that, but that's great. <laughs> Yes, zero deaths. A rank. I feel like it's weird because this doesn't rank the world. It just ranks the boss fight. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I realized this time. Huh. I always was trying to figure out why the time wasn't remotely accurate. I'm like, we didn't spend two minutes in that world game. No. What do you want? You went easy on me, punk. I'm older than you seem to think, and I didn't go easy on you either. It was tough enough taking your crazy old ass out. You've got good eyes, boy. Dangerous, but good. Seriously, I'm no goddamn boy. Guess I'm just wasting my breath. He looks like uh, the Cromartie criminal. Like, he just reminds me of those, like, terrorist hijackers. Yes, with their the lousy masks to show yes. their nose. Yeah, they're just insanely shitty masks. <laughs> that was fun. I led a good life. Goodbye, punk. You were batshit crazy, but you were a funny guy. Rip, old man. I'm sad we don't get the Travis uh, story for that, but okay. A man lives constantly seeking the moment his petals drop. Bad man, when your time comes, be sure to look your killer in the eye. Be sure to look your killer in the eye. Lord Richter saying that is very different from the Travis dialogue. I guess you could just reload the level and refight the boss and make sure you end as Travis. I guess. And that would let us see that dialogue. That's weird. <laughs> that that name for that chip sounds good. Strike Freedom Chip. Oh, it's from uh, Seed, so it's bad, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, Vox. Uh, the chips are our skill sets in this. Also, this is funny. Pay attention. Okay, I'm going to put the thing it's referencing back on screen. <laughs> um, every single skill chip or skill set chip in this is named after Gundam. Anyways, here's what it's referencing. <laughs> Seed and Seed Destiny are the same thing. Don't even pretend. <laughs> oh. Ryan Buster Jr., son of death. Seeing him struggle to search for a place to die was pitiful. So why didn't he choose suicide? I mean, he did. That was the whole point of the last <laughs> level. Maybe you skipped the last level. I would understand. The fear of death. That's not it. He had no right to die by his own hand. I felt like he realized that dying like a dog was the only way for him to atone. Could I live like he did? No. That old dude was a real... Was That old dude was real man. <laughs> whatever else may... Whatever anyone else may say, he really was a real man. Rest in peace. How do you like our Zelda shirt? It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a great shirt. <laughs> Fox and all of our viewers are going to have a stroke. <laughs> When returning to the trailer during co-op play, only player one can you see. But we didn't actually do co-op play, right? You just generated a dude to stand in our way in the hallways. Well, he's also, I was playing as Batman by the end. And it's like, we can't have you play as Batman out here. Okay, maybe that's it. Maybe that's why it procced. Yeah, he was a real human being. <laughs> 
He too is like the guy from Drive. <laughs> Did we get new shirts again? I'm curious. Some really good shirts in here. <laughs> Man, those Woodwaker ones are excellent shirts. They are. Uh, no more heroes three better have some exclusive fucking shit. <laughs> if it's gonna be if it's gonna be that. Yeah. You know? Okay, I don't see anything. Why did we watch a guy take a whiz on the safe screen? Okay. We don't know that he's whizzing. It's probably just not wiping. <laughs> uh, that's what they do in No More Heroes to save? Yeah. Yeah, it has a billion fucking indie games, so Yik ended up in here because... Oh, we got two more messages. From it wasn't there. really out by the time this was, I'm pretty sure. Right. No, no way knew Yik was going to be bad. So you've cleared the third game. Simply knowing the, knowing the following information puts your lives further in danger. So I didn't want to tell you, but now I guess I have no choice. The military and CIA were involved in the development of DDMK2. Juvenile and I first met at the DDMK2 labs, uh, which stands for Death Drive Mark II, for anyone who's just joining us. Uh, barely 10 years old at the time, we were both orphans and were scouted by the development team after our hyper-intelligence was noticed. Okay. The DD Mark II was originally developed for a project to move people to Mars. In this what? project, the glove would collect personal data and then to send the data to a machine on Mars. There, a device sort of like a 3D printer would create a clone of the person thus populated the planet with human Martians. What? However, the CIA repurposed the technology for a different project in which they plan to create murder machines here on Earth. If drones could be used to haul the printers to the enemy territory and print out the soldiers there, then they could pull off everything from assassinations to full-on terrorism to the heart's content. The printers are terrifyingly accurate and can print up everything from humans to weapons. In order to stop this project from taking off, juvenile planted bugs and the mother machine still in development, preventing it from working properly. Now, you can probably imagine just what will happen if you manage to clear all these games. That's right. The mother machine lying dormant under CIA HQ will reset and the CIA will revive the death drive project. Please, I beg you, stop and turn back now. God bless America, K. Okay. What in the world? <laughs> to help you understand the nature of our work, <laughs> I'd like to tell you about the juvenile's background. She was originally born in Ukraine and raised by a single mother. She survived the Chernobyl meltdown when she was small, but lost her mother. After that, she was adopted and sent to America, where she gained U.S. citizenship. It's never been proven, but there are rumors that her father was a high-ranking U.S. government official. We do know that her adoption was facilitated by the government. They say that her genius intel intellect was inherited from her father. We first met at the Haz... Hazure Lab. We were just barely 10 years old at the time. While we both had extremely high expectations placed upon us due to our intellects, we were still just children. We were also lonely. She was like a little sister to me. And while dealing with the mental and emotional strain of being stuck between heavy responsibilities and an excessively luxurious environment, I devoted myself to development. The project for the transfer to Mars was extremely crucial to the U.S. and was meant to finally reignite America's worldwide stardom. It was literally the American dream, but the project required vast amounts of money. The cutting-edge systems came as a set, along with the tools for profiting from war. While I did have some inkling of what was going on, that was America's business, not mine. I turned the other cheek. <laughs> I myself an American citizen, and I was happy as anyone for the U.S. to regain its glory. But she was different. The Soviets had contaminated her and ruined her Ukrainian homeland, and her anger and disgust towards government tyranny and oppression knew no bounds. She, when she found out about the CIA's project using the DD Mark II technology to develop weapons for assassination, her feelings of utter hopelessness and rage caused her to shut herself away in the lab. <clears throat> Jesus. She planted bugs throughout all of the games and made it so that entering the mother machine would be unable to wait. Made it so those those entering the mother machine would be able to come back out. When she barricaded herself in the lab, she was prepared to die if necessary. Being one of the top minds even in the US, my superiors asked me to convince her to stop. If possible, the government wanted to get things under control the easy way and get her back on their side. 
Me, a proud Amer American and juvenile who hated the very idea of government from the bottom of her heart. We were torn between our differences in nationalism and patriotism and our affection for each other. It was hard. I'll continue the story later. God bless America, K. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Gene, good, you only have one. Life is destroyed. Resting after moving, blah, blah, blah. House seems abandoned. There's no traces of anyone here. This room looks like it's been ransacked. There's appears to be blood stains on the floor. It's really uncomfortable here. Come from. Uh, I mean, there is a weird, there's a weird, we can check one room in that house. It's, well, that was probably for the second game, not even that. Oh, the one we just I did. thought Life is Destroyed was the third one. No, that was Donuts and something. God, you're right. No, okay, I'm not. Yeah, hopefully it's not important to save Gene. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. Batman, more like Bedman. <laughs> no, that's the Guilty Gear character, Dan. That's true. We ready to go to the next story segment? Or do we... Chat really wants us to save Gene. Oh They're saying we get a cool ch uh, chip. Speaking of chips, I should uh, check out what that one I just got was. Bad man, bed man, and that man. Yeah. Fires a guided laser from an orbiting satellite. That sounds good. <clears throat> it's funny because it's like, everyone's like, you should save your cat. And I'm like... But we almost hit the visual novel. <laughs> That's <laughs> gonna give Fox a stroke. <laughs> I don't even know where it would be. I mean, everything in that area is the same. That's the worst that's, part. That's, yeah. See, like, if it was the third world, I would have, I have intimate mal knowledge as it turns out. Yeah, you know what, Lord Richter? Tell us, tell us. This, this is gonna be a long stream. And I don't, I don't wanna. Oh yeah, it was the second world. The second world was really cool. Yeah, it was cool, but it was the one like, that was a bloodbath. Yeah, every blood. every house was a murder hut, right? O two o o five. It's game time. It's game time. But yeah, I do remember them being like, "We covered the walls with blood," in like one specific place. Even though it was like, yeah, a lot of these places have blood in them. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Wait, actually, go back. Let Vox see this intro. Sure. Because that shit's hilarious. So each of these games has an intro and magazine reviews and cheats and tricks you can find in the magazines. And they're all really good. They're all really, really good. It's going to be like, no, I'm not doing it because you hit the button to bring up the chapter slug. How could you? Oh, well. Oh, what? There it oh, goes. Okay. What is your purpose?
Jesus. <laughs> so it was five, right? Uh, yes. Okay. If you want, I can. I can. Sure. You, can you know this Larry better than I do, obviously. <sighs> this intro had such a high level of shit post energy that I think the censorship makes it better. <laughs> yeah. No. This. This felt like um. Oh hey. Oh wow. Found the cat. She's so big. Chonkers. <laughs> God. Gene became chonker mode. Okay, there we go. All right. That's interesting, but I didn't expect it to be in this game. Each 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 game's intro has a really different vibe to it. Yeah. Like like the one for the world we just did was about um what was it? A king and a prince who are oppressed by the government. And then they blinded the prince. He wanders the desert until he falls into a weird sinkhole in the ground. And underneath this, his father rebuilt as a mech. And it's like, what is any of this shit? And it's not live action. Yeah, it's all done it, with graphics that look like they're from PS God Hand. Yeah, they <laughs> look like PS2 cutscenes. And it's like, what is this? Lord Richter says, I like that she's fat again. <laughs> I'm just saying, if she's going to be fat, I should be able to do the hyper rub like yes. we did in No More Heroes 2 to make her lose weight. Because that was... That was genuinely one of the best parts of that game, and it's really sad that it stopped halfway through because we were too good, right? Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, the the prince looked like Gold Lewis for fucking. <laughs> yeah, let's check for his next uh, facts because I assume you got another one from Jean. No. Okay. Yeah. She's always trailing. Okay. Would you like to start the game? Yeah, this is so weird. <laughs> the real game is this. The rest, who knows what that yeah, is. Yeah, that's, that's the funny part. This is more the real game than the rest of it in a weird way. <laughs> mm-hmm. We'll check the ramen blog when we get back. Do-do-do-do. National Census. Oh, yes, I know Celestial Cage. <laughs> so that's Jean over there. That's her. What Look are we doing, thing. Travis? <laughs> the digest thing again? Yeah, let's do it. I feel like I've been missing out with these. Yeah, no, No More Heroes is real great. <laughs> the Travis Strikes Back Digest. Do you believe in urban legends? Me, I love them. I'll read any book with urban legends in the title. <laughs> now for the segue, I've got word from Kamui. Count Dracula is not only both real and alive, but he's a death ball collector too. Of course. So off to Romania. <laughs> okay, there it is. What a fucking game. <laughs> what a fucking game. But asking if anyone's seen Dracula as well, People just think I'm a tweaker and ignore me. <laughs> I can't find him with just the weak ass info I have either. I wandered around aimlessly and checked out this beer hall. A horse with a chip on his shoulder came up to me. What? What's this now? His eyes are all sparkly. Okay, this is definitely a guy who knows where Dracula is. Oh, okay. Awesome. I decided to trust those sparkly eyes. His name was Epona. <laughs> Of course. Let's go, Epona. Take me to Dracula's castle. Epona guided me onto all sorts of old castles, but we didn't find shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured I might as well try a fortune teller. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> this may be the funniest video game ever made. Um, <laughs> What a sketchy ass shop. <laughs> I pick one from the gaggle of fortune tellers in the underground mall. A big guy with long hair. This dude is huge. This guy must be like seven feet tall. And his name, Sundance? A sketchy ass name to boot. Sundance grabs it. <laughs> Wait, grabs some fresh coffee and spills it all over some paper. The coffee stain spreads on the paper. Sundance reads the stains. That's going to be the you. The Bel Belmonia Castle. 
Oh, is that it? <laughs> that was it. It says the Count is in that castle. Gene and I get on Epona and head toward the castle. Apparently, Epona and Gene don't get along so well. They fought the whole damn way. Anyway, we get to the castle, but as soon as we get here, Gene just bolts straight into the scary-ass horror movie-style castle. Oh, so it's like Secret of Evermore? I'm wandering around inside looking for Gene. This place is probably haunted. I follow Gene into the Great Hall. Always breaking my balls, man. Hey now, there he is. Count Dracula, down on the floor. Something's up here. A guy with a katana is trying to slice the Count's head off. <laughs> this dude is fucked up. I can't abide my target getting jacked like that. This dude is also determined. He comes flying at me. This could get crazy. Come on, bring it. But then, he slices the Count's head clean fucking off. He sticks a hand into the Count's brain and pulls out a death ball. He throws it at me. <laughs> this was what you're looking for, right? Wait, that's Killer's Deadman. Yes. <laughs> I've got no beef with you. Take it. Shut up and leave. Go now and I'll let you live. My name is Mondo <laughs> Zappa. Mondo Zappa! <laughs> I'm with Federal Mimic. Mimic. Mimetic. Mimic? Mimetic. Mimetic. Assassination yeah. Administration. This doppelganger was a finely crafted fake. <gasps> the real one is still out there somewhere. Tracking him down is our job. Dracula acquired tolerance to light in a quad pro <laughs> quid, quid pro, pro quo with the ring. With the re <laughs> He became a doppelganger, able to live in the sunlight. That's all, no questions. I'm done here. I'm off to find the real doppler doppelganger. They say he's in Central America. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you to it. Travis touchdown. <laughs> He just ran his mouth and disappeared. Mondo, he's pretty good. So there are still a few out there. Whatever, I got what I came for. I'll have Bishop appraise it. Let's go, Gene. Let's punch it. Don't let them catch you. Like hell, I'm approaching vanishing point. Take his motorcycle back to Texas? To, yes. Or I guess that's in to, uh, Santa Destroy. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's driving from Romania to Santa Destroy on his on his on his motorcycle. What's well, the problem? I mean, he's hitting the vanishing points, so sure. <laughs> it makes me so sad that the first one was so long, and then the others are shorter. <laughs> well, whatever. That one gave us Mondo Zappa. Yeah, and he killed uh, a Dracula. Yeah. So apparently, his mission is to kill more Draculas. I need to be so, Killer is Dead. I wonder if that is like going to going into a sequel as well. Like if after No More Heroes three, we're gonna see Killer is Dead too. Uh, is Killer Seven related to Killer is Dead? I don't know. Oh, okay, sorry. The, well, that guy was from Killer Seven. No, he's Killer is Dead's main character. Oh, yeah. I thought. Wait, what's the name of the main character of Killer Seven? Dan something. <laughs> Video games. <laughs> Okay. Oh no! I always do that. I'm always trying to look at this uh, archive over here. Yeah. Golden Dragon GP. Uh, Let's check out these review well. scores. Ooh, that looks like it's gonna be a driving game. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Racing with murder, a four kilometer straight away with shocking twists. You've never seen a racing game this thrilling before. Who will survive the race and what will be left of them? Oh my fucking Lord, look at that dude. Yeah, yeah, no, he is a car. <laughs> the racer, a masked former sumo wrestler topping speeds of 800 kilometers per hour. Take control of your monster machine to dominate the GD GP. Do you think Sudas has a team? He's like, draw me the stupidest thing you can think of. Please, please draw an absolute fucking moron. Put down for twenty minutes. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with me? Okay. Uh, these seem pretty 
Like, I could get this. <laughs> I could get water. Yeah. Yeah. No, I understand. I just read all that. This is exciting. I'm so excited to see this intro. I love this fucking game. I am so upset that... Like, I largely don't listen to reviewers, but every fucking reviewer and every person was like, yeah, the, you don't want that game. I'm like, no, no, this game's me core. Don't forget the ramen block. Sorry, totally did that. That's why I was bumming around in the archive. I thought... I thought what I was looking for was there. Death Drive, Mark II. Very Tron. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, no going too fast. It's okay. He's just going to back to the future a little. Oh, no, Dan. He might crash up. Guess we'll never know. <laughs> How colorful. <laughs> regular room <laughs> but now you're really small no okay, okay. are we gonna race anything i'm maybe oh no i'll be later in it yeah that's got to be in this there's no way oh hello huh what a tiny room where the hell is this huh is this japan i've seen this before this is like leiji matsumoto's manga otoko oiden the very Yojo Han, where the gods are said to live. Holy shit, this is awesome. Grandpa's words of wisdom. The world of Yojo Han is deep. Time flows backwards. It takes time to get used to it. Rely on me if you're in trouble. I'm good at navigating. I can help out. Smoking? <laughs> Okay. Is that really his name? I guess. Welcome to the world of GTGP. Your participation is appreciated. Can you make it to the pinnacle of racing G1? The road is long and hard. First, you must win the Visitor Cup. Go claim victory. Grandpa's words of wisdom. The latest VR machine is on the table. The world of G Golden Dragon GP awaits. Dive in. What do you mean there's a game? There's a game within this game. The game system. Is this VR? What the hell is this? Another one of Juvenile's traps? Well, as a gamer, I can't just sit here and not play this new VR game right in front of my eyes. <laughs> Looks fun. Let's do it. A game inside of a game. <laughs> this is the dumbest video game ever. I fucking love it. So we're three layers down. This yeah. is a video game about us playing a video game where we're playing a video game. Yes. It's very deep, actually. <sighs> Allow me to explain the race. It's so simple. A monkey could pick this up. Use the accelerator. Use the button to accelerate. 
no steering. Just make the call to first accept, understand. Next, I'll teach you how to shift gears. It's the same as the driving stick. Then the stick up and down while you're holding the clutch button. Wait until Mr. P is blue to shift gears. Otherwise, you will lose speed. Be careful of the timing. Nitro can only be used once during a race when it really counts. Use it for an ultra speed up like a real stairway to heaven. Get the timing right and you can really turn the whole race around. This is insane. Yeah. It's like he made a drag racing game. I can't even steer. Yeah, they said that, you know, steering. You just gotta be all about gear shifting. Oh my God, Bob, look at the RPMs. Oh my God. Well, you're maxing out. You gotta shift those things. Oh my God. I'm just a little dead. <laughs> I can't believe they brought back the dick from No More Heroes. <laughs> Nintendo's like, yeah. <laughs> it's so, yeah, it's just, come on! <laughs> this is like, this is important. <laughs> There's no higher gear than third. Doesn't look it. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. Mr. P. His name is Mr. P. Are you serious? Where did it say that? Uh, he was talking about it. I was oh like, who the hell is Mr. P? Oh my God. What the hell are you doing? Hurry up and get over here. I'm waiting for you. Always watching. Don't let your guard down. Each and every battle counts. It's crazy that... Uh, Grandpa's word of wisdom. Do you know the name of the VR machine? It's the Death Drive VR unit. The G2 final race awaits. Dive in. G2 final, time to kick some real ass. The ghost of visitor to final. I guess. <laughs> He's just hanging out. <laughs> There's no higher gear to shift it to. Yeah, I guess you just need to this is to it. as fast as humanly possible. This is insane. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Have a good one, shiny view. Also, Vox, if you're still here somehow. Uh, picking this up on PC will load a lot faster because the switch loads really slow. You lost. Winning requires strategy. First, you have to pip out your bike. Try powering up your gearbox. The wiki says it's on the eighth floor of the Dragon Tower. First come, first serve. Hurry up. But oh, the undead monsters in Dragon Tower are hungry for your blood. Get rid of them work. Yeah, oh I was God. like, how can I? <sighs> Grandpa's words of wisdom. Power up to win the G2 final race. Get a new gearbox and tweak your death machine. It's hidden on the eighth floor of Dragon Tower. Choose your mission at the entrance. Find it. This is insane. Oh, there's a toilet. Good. I was like, there's no way they just made a racing game. This this game will go too fast. Right. No. And they're like, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. You can also do the race. Like, Travis waxes and then greases his legs. <laughs> it's very unacceptable. <laughs> Every world has power-ups, power-up items to be found. We're going on a treasure hunt. Oh, this is a good song. <laughs> That's... This game's so good. <laughs> At least it goes right to day four. 
Whoa, what is this? The astral plane. <laughs> Platinum Marine really needs to direct the game. Yeah, yeah, I think about that a lot. I'm like, people with money should let Sud have their money. <laughs> right? Whoa, so yeah, I that's, assume that's, that's the new. orbital laser. So you have to aim it and then shoot it. Unfortunately, they hit me in the middle of my business. We gotta hope No More Heroes 3 sells really well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Luckily, the Switch is a very uh, successful platform for some companies. Right? They are actually giving it some advertising, so maybe. Yeah, didn't didn't someone say the banner image for Nintendo's Twitter right now is this is No More Heroes 3? Yes, yes it is. I saw that earlier okay. today. That's that's what I thought. I was like, I'm pretty sure Bob said that, but there's a I wonder if they will do any more like Nintendo Direct like if they'll do a No More Heroes Direct or something. I feel like we kind of got that in E3, so it'd be really weird. <sighs> yeah, but they didn't give it to us in the actual thing. I know. But yes, it would be weird. I don't expect that from Nintendo. I remember they did that. They, they used to do it more because like uh, when uh, Wonderful 101 came out, like Kamiya came on, did his own Nintendo Direct where he did the directly to you thing. It was yes. really good. So do you think Lily Bergamo herself shows up in uh, No More Heroes 3? <laughs> I'll be surprised she's not in here. Lightning is so good. It's still like one of the best moves. Do you think that Mondo Zap will appear in Over Heroes 3? I mean, they put him in here. <laughs> I'm man. still just like, man, maybe there will be Killers Dead 2. <laughs> What's up? I just, I, I think uh, us doing this after Ninja Theory Week was a really good idea. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Really, really good palate cleanser. Right. For the full experience, please recharge that. I know. They make it sound like an energy system in a mobile game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, that is intentional. I didn't. Yeah, I wonder if the original killer is that gets into him fighting Dracula. <laughs> I kind of hope it does. I mean, the wires are really weird. So, it is possible. The wires? Yeah, that's what the thing in Killers of De Dead oh, are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. What so, so, part of me was like, is that a translation change? <laughs> See, I'm benefiting from going back and watching our uh, quick play from eight years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I just pick up my save from where I left off. Like, I remember, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> you can trust me, Suda. <laughs> he just... Mm. Wow, 480 damage. Nice. I'll be right back. Sure. Yeah, I really need to check into uh, people in chat alleging people have fixed no uh, Killers is Dead on PC to run at above 30. I, I need that. I need that bad. Oh. Naruho, though. Which 
Which one? Gearbox. Oh, that's that's the gearbox. <laughs> you just Mega Man teleported and Bob missed it. Oh, it breaks the QTEs. Now, did someone make a thing that removes the QTEs? Because that would be good. What's this? Gearbox E. I guess I'm supposed to stick it on the VR thing, huh? Grandpa's words of wisdom. Access the DS Drive VR. If the Gearbox Z chip is auto-equipped, the G2 final race will be awesome. Dive in. Yeah, yeah, this level's a lot better. Dan, you seriously fucked up. Oh no, you can't shift during Nitro. Yeah, I should restart this. Because even though I'm gaining, it's not fast enough. Actually, it's going to be down to... Yep. Yep, not fast enough. How about selling off Kung Fu Chaos to skip it? I, I didn't order it just to, just to... Just to get the game and then at the last second be like, Oh, we don't need to do it. In fact, it arrived today. I'm, I don't want to make that Friday stream, but also I'd like to cut back on stream quantity. <laughs> He says while wishing he was streaming a retro game in the next couple days. Oh shit, Dan. Okay, let's um <clears throat> let's just uh Yeah, I think I got it this time, guys. Just me. There's always time for some Neo Turf after this. No, this stream might end up at ten and a half hours. I'm starting to doubt it. But it might be possible. Because that's what how long the beat said. Also, we have that DLC. Actually, I don't think Bob bought the DLC. How's it going? Having a good time? Next up is the G1 semifinal. Win this for a chance to challenge the eternal champion, Smoking King. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh my god. I think we might hit 11 because of the crash. Yeah, that's entirely possible. We could split the DLC off into its own day. What is with this shape? Even if I did it completely perfect, this guy would be me. So this is just another, oh, you got smoked? Time to go kill shit. Gotta stay up for your X Dive S ticket pull. Ugh. I wish the controller worked on my MacBook. I don't want to play that game on my phone. Like at all. <laughs> it. Wait a minute. Why is it even letting me retry? I can try one more time. But yeah, there's no way. There's no way this is going to work out. Wait. 
Oh, that jumps me straight to third gear. We're just gonna... So if I successfully do the start, I have to look at my gear shift thing. Because for people who aren't paying attention, my gear shift box is completely different every run. Yeah, I noticed that. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, and if I do the perfect start, I jump straight to second gear. Ah. So that I have to mentally be prepared to shift a completely different direction. Right. Luckily, I completely fucked up and I'm doomed. Yes, good thing. This dude's just smoking me. Look at this. I'm just barely keeping pace during Nitro. There's no way this is possible. So, Bob, you have X-Dive on your tablet. It seems like a really great format to play X-Dive. Maybe. That's kind of heavy. <laughs> yeah. But it's I, like an even bigger Wii U gamepad. It was like, people were saying that controllers might work on the tablet. I guess people I guess. said things. <sighs> I, you know. I wonder if um, if Vox continued to play x for the whole day when she rated us. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't ask. I should have. Have a good one, Siathia. <laughs> okay, next mission. 32nd floor? Oh, Jesus Christ. She played X-Dive for like eight hours. Did she spend money by the end? <laughs> 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 Five dollars. Okay. Five dollars. Oh no! <laughs> Whoa! Zuckerbug. Zuckerbug. Mark Zuckerbug. We found him. Yeah, hit him with the uh, portal laser. <laughs> Taze is nuts. Damn it! I was like, certainly I'll finish just in time. Yeah, I guess gotta stun him and then do that. Uh huh. Oh, he's got a skull in his back. Nice. Because he's cool. Yeah, I was going to say, this dude has to drop soon. He's not a mini boss. Yeah, he's not a sheep man. He can't be a mini boss. Okay, note to self just do that. You were gifted five dollars for the monthly thing, huh? Like someone in chat gave you five dollars to get it? I assume the game said this one's on us. Oh yeah, yeah. That's big. Do that sometimes too. Them and drug dealers. <gasps> yeah. I hate it when you when that happens. Like you get interrupted while you're casting, so it's just gone. Uh huh got some of that Final Fantasy 7 remake energy to it. <laughs> okay, it was from chat. Oh, okay. Well, that's awfully nice of you, chat. <laughs> Who the hell is Buggy Chops? <laughs> Whoa. What? Oh, great. Whoa. That's just how it looks out there, right? Yeah, but that's that's the side of the wall I'm inside of. That's unsettling. Yeah. <laughs> how your Please don't taste going? my nuts. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't got anything good, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. He got a perfect waifu. Yeah. He has it's... perfect waifu forever. <laughs> It's bad. I'm just like, well, certainly the four star one will drop. No, no, it's not even happening. It's okay, though. There's plenty of time left. <laughs> yeah, I don't spend much on X side. The cost of things is too high. Yeah, I, I've had people tell me about the cost of stuff in that game, and I'm like, that's, that's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wait, what's Iris another? I mean, it sounds I, like Iris Alter. It does sound like Iris Alter. I need to know if that's literally what it is. <laughs> does she have white hair and is sicko mode? <laughs> <laughs> or does she just have evil eyeliner? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Thanks for the follow. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Someone was like, whoa, these these dudes play gotcha. This is just <sighs> they live taste their nuts. <laughs> you know how Iris and Colonel were made to be like X, but one Rough Floyd couldn't contain the power? Iris and another or let's see. So we became two sibling Rough Floyds. Iris and other is what if they didn't have to be split? So she's like Nyx was Colonel? That's really weird. Also, I forgot about that insane lore. I don't, I don't think that lore comes up in that game at fucking all. <laughs> right? It does, it ain't in English. <laughs> all the power and all the races. <laughs> Wait, which one provided? <laughs> you know? <laughs> You're asking the important questions now. Not Nyx, it's just... She's powerful. Well, that's lame. It should have been Iris uh, with the Colonel hat. Oh, <laughs> I get hurt by the sky laser. Oh, do you? Yes. Oh so my God. That severely limits my opportunities to uh, stun and then immediately use it. Yes. Ow. Bad. Bailiff. <laughs> I'm gonna look up Iris another real quick. I just need to see a picture of this. Yeah, I'd like to see a picture. That sounds funny. Oh, looks like Fox posted one. One second. We can just click this. That's really zoomed in. One moment. Ah! <laughs> that's ah, so that's terrible. <laughs> that looks like fan made. <laughs> like the concept. Like the art itself is fine, but it. Very excited to read the, her webcomic. Yeah, it's. Wow. Who are you? Has Smokey King come back? Just a passing assassin. Bad luck for just a passerby. Enough bullshit, let's do this. It's your fourth trial, punk. You know what makes a mid-boss really terrifying? Color swapping. Die! So much power from color swapping. What a big mouth sheep. Let's rock. Nerd! Yeah. Yeah, Jesus, the tase isn't enough stun time. Man. This is, but then I have to get out of the way and use it? Right. Holy shit. Dude's just tossing Molotov cocktails. Vox, I don't see anything there that would imply that she's not racist. <laughs> no. <laughs> She doesn't look like she took sleep meds, though, so maybe that's what Vox is. Uh, people are saying this looks like one of the rooms from um, from the cheat list. Yes, it does. All the rooms look really similar, though. Yeah. She might be even more racist. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, my God. I swear, you stupid asshole. Bob, that sky laser is a huge risk. Yeah, yeah, you probably wanted to switch it. I, I put it on because it sounded really cool. I didn't know it hurt you. Okay, cool. My top two Switch games, Travis Strikes Again and Gamoku. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it has the boss there. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, same code as always. That one just heals, okay. Fantastic. Who was that? It was a little girl. Do you think it was Badman's? Oh, 
don't think so. She looked like she was in a cowboy outfit. Score! Gearbox ZZ, stick this on the VR thing. I should be able to beat the next stage. My God. That looked like the pro tag of La Mulana 2. Oh, it probably was because La Mulana 2 is uh, on a shirt. Yes. <laughs> That's insane, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like a lot of this game. It was a secret, so, um, sure. Cruel Iris is still racist, but in a cool way. Stout fish, don't. <laughs> don't go down this path. Oh my god, this gearbox is insane. Yeah, it gets really difficult to do all this shifting. Yeah. Man. Do 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 da da da. Oh, thank god. Yeah, they still make me earn it. Yeah. It's like loving Javik from Mass Effect 3. <laughs> the drum light was very two knock, two knock, tune core. Yeah. <laughs> it's the 64th floor gearbox. I'll be waiting at the finals. Hurry, fight, work. But okay. you just got that, didn't you? Oh, no, no that you was the 30, 30 second. second. Your machine is screaming. It needs the best parts possible. New gearboxes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Definitely save, Jesus. Yeah, I'm worried about the next possible crash, too. <laughs> but see, I'm enjoying this, you know? Mm-hmm. On, like, the last stage? Yes. It helps to not have Batman always there getting in your way from walking. And, and to not have these characters just drop their entire character. Yeah, I this don't know. This hack and slash map that. is pretty simple, but I guess you get used to it. Let's kick some more ass. Dog is crazy. Yeah, I don't know why we skipped 16. I guess they were like, oh, man. This We'd isn't working. <laughs> we, we don't need another level of this. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds way cooler to start at this one. Well, they started at 8. Okay. Jumped past 16, went to 32, and now we're on 64. So they just skipped one power of two. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. I was hoping he would get literally all of them. It was fun to me. <laughs> we haven't been leveling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you only heard one, really. Well, whatever. I'll yeah. take it. Right. Are the cheats probably on this floor? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it was actually a really hard one to recognize because, um. Yeah, it's a hallway. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's a, a hallway with a card and then two coins behind it. Okay. Weird. Normally the card's the end of the fucking level. Sometimes they have hidden cards. So that could be a hidden hallway. Yeah. That one, that one just. It looks a bit like the ones we're doing to get the gears. Oh, like, yeah. the gear parts are very similar looking to those carts. Those chips. Oh, my God. Oh, nice. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say the Strike Freedom Chip is worthless like the show. It's... It's a lot, a lot more enjoyable than that, at least. What is? The, your laser. Your side laser. It's better than Strike Freedom. Gundam Seed Destiny. Oh my god, please help me. I'm gonna ask you to back off, and you, I'm gonna taste your nuts.
<laughs> Sorry, no no Gundams that are in Siege are uh, cool looking. Just they can't be. Watch out, this one's purple. That's way more powerful than the last one you saw. Just starts playing Ava battle music. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, that was a lot of damage, so I'll say uh, that was worth it. Worth sure, it. why not? It's funny because combat-wise, this is similar to No More Heroes in enough ways where I'm like, what was the block button again? Yeah, right? And then I keep hitting L trying to charge my lightsaber. Mm. It's like, that's not... Yeah, I don't know, even if the, they, their base designs for those guns are kind of neat, they, they're true to the art style of that show, which is real bad. <laughs> yeah. What is that thing? Oh, well, it's sad. Yeah, it's a creepy enemy that's been in a number of worlds. It just floats away. It's real weird. Oh, they're like extra XP. That's what the, why they they get away and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really like the reward here. Yeah, no. It's, yeah, I'll just one shot him if you hit it. It's real good. Good dodge. Oh yeah, it looks like there is a ship right up there, so that's yeah. probably the shield. Yeah, that yeah. is the highway or the hallway. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, so it should be right here. Oh, it just... Oh, no. no. Okay. Oh, another and one? now it's... See, that's how oh. similar they are. Oh. They're just straight-up Switch cartridges, though. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so would that be Gearbox Victory, since it's the weird V? Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That thing should have given you enough XP for a level. Wow. Score! Gearbox victory! Let's stick it on the VR thing to reach new heights of awesome! Now, I know it's not relevant here. It yeah. gave me a chunk, but it didn't It didn't give me full levels. Worth. Right, but it is It a did lot. for him. So maybe that's what it does. It, it looks at who oh, has the lower. Maybe. <laughs> that, would suck. that would be really bad. That I would, feel like that would be awesome. terrible. You're not going to look at what chip you got? I mean, it won't be relevant to the race. <laughs> All right. Powerful final race. Come on, Smoke King King. The Dem Zam Tiger is screaming to go. Oh, 
God, he's just barely gonna win. <laughs> I don't want to explode. Yeah. Well, is it maybe less loading? No. No, same, am same amount of loading. This pattern's even worse. Yeah, it is. You're good. Where are you from? Santa Destroy. Never heard of that team. Team, it's my beloved hometown. You're a tough one. I could sense your bloodlust. You're not from the surface, are you? Bingo. I'm more of an underground guy, so you're not from the... So you're from the hood, too, huh? That's right. I worked as a bodyguard for years. I protected a brilliant racer, but he died in a, a, a race... And racing accident? However, it wasn't an accident. It was a carefully planned murder. I frantically searched for the killer, then one day I finally found him. It was a humid summer afternoon. Look, is this gonna be a long story? Sorry, I get really into stories of the old day. Shall we change the venue? Is that even possible? We're in the middle of a race. I too live inside a game. I understand what's inside the hearts and minds of gamers. Everyone's hoping for some action. I assume they're about fed up by now, since they didn't buy this game for the racing, right? Hmm. You think so? I mean, it's no skin off my ass, but if you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. All right, then, follow me. What a, what a good video game. This is a good video game. Uh, we are playing the Switch. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Have you gone to the bathroom? The champion awaits on the top floor of Dragon Tower. Hurry to the entrance. Time for a boss fight. God. Here, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to okay. hand this to you. You can select your thing, and then I'm going to go to the bathroom. There we go. Whew. Yeah, let's see what that skill was we got. So that's the cloud one. Bad hop? Oh, it's a bad man only skill. Shoots a reflect the ball. Attack power increases with each reflection. Ball can be reflected back by attacks. Huh. Okay, so that sounds dangerous. Let's uh, put that on Batman, I guess. Why not? I cannot loop from going up to the top or bottom. It's always annoying when you can't do that. All right. Now, will there be a stage leading up to him, you guys think? Nothing else in here. What, what if I call him? No time to be on the phone. Yeah, nothing new there. All right. Let's go. Top floor. I don't know. I feel like it's just going to send us straight to the boss fight, but there might be a stage. Maybe. We'll see. Whenever it finishes loading. Okay, yeah, just boss fight. God, his design is so bad. This is one of those legendary public bass. <laughs> yeah, it's my own communal bass. Isn't the view amazing? Nice scenery, man. It's like I got the world in my hands. Luxury, greed, and riches have limits. This bass is sort of a farewell to all of that. Nice line reading there. <laughs> like a famous quote or something. <laughs> Listen, racer. Stand on the borderline itself. Standing. Standing on the borderline itself is how you feel the true world of true speed. If you're not standing on the line, then you're no racer. Just some guy. Hold up. I can't fight a racer. 
don't misunderstand, tough guy. From here on out, I'm a bodyguard. Who's bodyguard? The champion, Smoking King's bodyguard. Sure, that'll do. Let's go, champ. Did you want to play the boss? <laughs> you can fight him. <laughs> it's fine. I just took an entire world. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. Also, did you change the skill at all? No, it was a bad man skill. Oh. Rip. Jeez. Oh man, this tower's cool. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> neat. Oh wow, where, why did it start all the way over there? I don't know, that was clearly a glitch. <laughs> Mr. I like spam. Subscribe to tier one. Thank you. People are discussing how people didn't really give this game the attention it deserved. Being like, yeah, and well, it's not exactly an action game like one and two. Right. So people immediately just went, well, this is a cheap spin-off. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, as someone who liked things about No More Heroes 1, I feel like... I feel like this is doing more for me than 2 did. Just because 2 didn't... 2 didn't have the... I mean, it had one good minigame. <laughs> and then a bunch of tolerable ones. <laughs> oh, God, that's still hurting me. Oh, my God. All right. Two wasn't actually directed by Suda in hindsight, it shows. Yeah. Scorpion catching is in both one and two, which is hilarious. They literally brought the same minigame over, despite every other minigame being um, some new arcade 8-bit looking thing. So we only have one set of coins for the entire game, I'm noticing. Uh, yeah, that's scary. I have no idea what that means. Right? Hey, how many times I hit the heavy attack once and he does it twice? Yeah. Yeah, that is, that is a real problem here. Okay, you just automatically get booted back to the trailer. I guess at that point you can continue for your most recent save point. How's the boss battle going? <laughs> really bad. Tough guy. That's some impressive power. You're pretty impressive yourself. Looks like you're the tough guy. <laughs> but the real battle begins now. Get fat man or bad man's free health. Yeah. I really wanted to see the story for Travis. It's it's real frustrating to do that. You could get him down to one hit and switch back. Yeah, that's a that's the plan. You only have one skill selected. Yeah, it's the one that's exclusive to him. 
bad hop. Oh, it was just dialogue. He was uh, letting us know about a face change, basically. I mean, aren't there enough extras that maybe? I don't know. Because they show you which ones are yeah, equipped. Yeah, they're, they're extras, but they're probably all bad. It's better than nothing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe we should be using that one normally. Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> See if it works. Slow them down. I wonder how much a boss would be distracted by the doppelganger. I imagine not much. Right. Whoa. Whoa, that was my whole off bar. Oh my god. Looks like you're about to die as him anyways. that does not stop the move yeah it doesn't i was trying to mash the door but he did the summon the laser anyway oh my god It's like funny because it's Metal Slug text with a Street Fighter 2 announcer. Right. You burn. <laughs> we were getting S's and A's. Yeah. That they just like, I'm going to put you in a wood chip. <laughs> we're like, oh, that's that's bad. What if I didn't get stunned by anything ever? <laughs> I've lost. What a disappointment. You're not a bad guy, champ. You're not built for killing. You're a good and honest man. That's why you're respected. I'm not a good man. I'm full of greed and avarice. Usually a boss battle is full of all kinds of unfair tricks and attacks. But your attacks are full of holes. Fight clean and fair and you'll lose. That's the code of the underground. I see. I guess it's time to turn a new leaf. Thank you, tough guy. Hold up, champ. The world is waiting for you. Someday the GDGP will get a sequel. Until then, you gotta keep being the champ, you know? I'm afraid I've reached my limit. Try racing one more time, then decide whether or not that's true. It's not like you're running out of time. Travis Touchdown, you've got a way, way to go as a racer, but you're a true tough guy. Someday we meet again. When we meet again. There we go. Let's ride. I'll go easy on you next time, too. Goodbye, tough guy. He's going home to be a family man. <laughs> in the real world, or in the world of real men, the realest of men rise up from nothing. I'll be looking forward to watching you two realest of men interlocked in your dance of death once again. Fissilis. Is that a Gundam? I don't know. It just sounds like Chrysalis, but you replaced the first syllable. <laughs> I'm, I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> oh, man. The GP02 Fissilis Gundam. It's from 0083. Has a bazooka that shoots nukes. Okay. Jesus. Yes, I the syphilis the Gundam. Thing. 
There we go. We're playing the Switch text right now. <laughs> it was a strange video game world. It seems I'd been living in both the future and the past. Wait, the past and the future Japan for years. The illusion was that I'd been here for three years. Living here inside this game is one possible option. Wonder what sort of life I'd live as a racer. I'd like to see Smoking King back when he was a sumo wrestler. I miss that tiny crowded room. I was filled with a kind of nostalgia. Dr. Juvenile seems to have been greatly influenced by racing games. I too am a huge fan of racing games imported from Japan. Juve has pretty good taste in games. <laughs> Why does the last one always take an extra? I don't know. New facts from Kay and from Jean. We need to remember to read the ramen blog. Weirdly enough, I found no ramen that entire stage. Yeah. Uh, this is Zelda 2 Link. The opaque soup, the smooth, refreshing hints of seafood, having already been around for hundreds of years, this is seriously some historic World Heritage level cuisine. The soup on the spoon spreading out before your eyes looks like the ramen version of waters of Lake Bakai, Baikal, the clearest lake in the world, with even the bottom of the bowl visible. The moment it hits your tongue, you'll understand why this flavor has survived so long. The noodles even have a hint of sweetness as they help spread the comforting, subtle flavors. I slap a huge smile on my face and order a beer, but nope. Even with this ramen-based emotional experience, that's going to be minus 5,000 points. Gochisosama deshita. Born in Musashino. Sorry. <clears throat> Born in Musashino in 1965 and raised with no soup, comes with salty sauce and plenty of char siu pork and green onions. This is similar to the earlier thing. I offer a little self-introduction to get to know this Abra Soba guy a little better. The overwhelming sense of junk food in a good way is somehow reminiscent of American hip-hop culture with no soup in sight. I add spices to my liking and mix up the noodles and... <laughs> And the sauce, wait, mix up the noodles and the sauce gathering at the bottom of the bowl before jumping in. I blinked at the exact moment you put it in the <laughs> I inhaled the whole damn thing and then wet my whistle with a nice cold beer, except it's not on the menu. Since this injustice makes me want to call the cops, I'm giving it a minus 9.11 million points. Gochisho sama deshita. Great. All right. Hey, Alexis. Oh my God. Three? Wh what? Oh my God. Bob, you're going to have to read some of these. I'm going to lose my voice right, if I read sure. all of these facts. So it seems as though you really have no intention of stopping. Since implementing the bugs, Juvenile and I have been on the run for close to 30 years, but the time to finish this once and for all may be near. We will begin making our own preparations. However, if you too are prepared to see the, this game of death all the way through to the end, then order... Then in order to make sure you don't make the wrong tr final choice, I've decided to let you in on the secret of the DDMK2. You've been playing. You've been what? You've been playing. The, the controllers for the DDMK2 are loaded with a horrible gimmick. They read the player's personal data as DNA at the DNA level and create clones with increased abilities and power. For the purpose of creating powerful clone soldiers, these clone soldiers are installed with special AI, turning them into murderous weapons. If the hardware could be sold all at, all over the world, then data can be also be gathered from around the globe. Juvenile and I have made every possible every effort possible to prevent this. Juvenile's home country of Ukraine. She lost her parents to the after effects of Chernobyl's disaster and saw her hopes and dreams destroyed by the tyrant, their tyranny of the government. Travis touched down an extraordinary assassin and a genius gamer. I've heard that you're a lazy, selfish, overly opinionated 
otaku, but also they, that, that you're just kind to cats, to, that you're just kind to cats and a man oh, of your word. Like, you're just kind to cats. I'm like, you're <laughs> like a fucking station. <laughs> you're just kind to cats. This letter contains our desperate prayers. I hope it reaches you somehow. God bless America, cat. Barricaded inside the lab, Juvenile had no intention of reverting the system back to normal, nor of leaving that room alive. But I loved her, and I just had to get her out of here, there alive, no matter what. That meant that I was left with but one choice. I had to join and assist her. I convinced my spirit to give me one more week. And during that time, I created a dummy program to make it look as though I had reverted all the programs back to their normal functions. Then I created backdoors to all of the government systems, uh, obtained untraceable credit cards and fake passports, and we simply walked out of the lab as if it all was normal. I had brought us several, or I had bought us several days worth of time till the dummy program would be noticed. Honestly, it was exciting. We just walked out and then we ran. I'll continue this later. God bless America, cat. It needs a first continue already. That's <laughs> the three? Yeah, that's the second of three. Now we're on the third. Once we left the lab, we immediately went underground. It's been about 20 years since we'd first gone on the run. How did we manage to support ourselves, you ask? The answer is extremely simple. We stole information. We installed a special device into keyboards at the CIA, top officials, which let us see ex exactly what were, they were typing in real time. When we sold that info to various countries, later we simply sold the device itself to different people. It brought us great or pretty good money. There were even hackers who provided us with safe places to stay. During the time, the CIA tried out all sorts of measures to restore the system, but to no avail. Juvenile and I hopped around various hackers' hideouts while digital anarchists around the world helped us to continue to keep the system in ruin. But it wouldn't last forever. God bless America, okay? Okay. And that's all of those. Wait, wait. I need to look at what Jean's got. Coffee and donuts. I'm currently in a huge mansion. The interior was painstakingly done, but not very good taste. Not in very good taste. A mansion can't just be big. Some people have no sense of style. Please come to me quickly. Huge mansion. Interior was painstakingly done, but it's not very good taste. Okay. I assume it's that. Right. Just choose the latest safe possible. Yeah, because everything should just be open. That's the hope. So stupid. Yeah. I enjoyed most of the game except for this one we're booting up right now. Oh, yeah, I guess you probably remember the house better. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's easier than trying to direct you to the room that has no purpose. Right. Porpoise. Didn't Switch. even ask me to chapter select. I guess maybe you just start the whole thing as you left it. Maybe. If so, it's inconsistent with the entire rest of the game. Right. Okay, at least this is not where we started originally, so hopefully. Okay, this is open. Thank God. I like these is excited about coffee and donuts at least. I mean it sounds pretty good. The level was terrible though. <laughs> okay, this ain't it, but we'll take a look. Oh. 
Well, we didn't get that last time. Batman doesn't get to eat ever. No, doesn't deserve it. Yeah, that's the weird one. It's quirky. Ah, it's a Nagoya specialty. Also not the one I was thinking of. Oh no. I don't think that happened in this room the first time. Huh. Yeah, you have skeleton men, so there's I'm sure that this game's banned in, in China. <laughs> The wrong vendor reminded me what ever happened to Let It Die. It's supposedly still up, Car Odin. What is? The uh, Let It Die. Ah. Yeah, that's what people are saying. Weird. Huh. There were extra rooms that did not open, so. Mm hmm. Okay, this was the room I was thinking. Oh, there she is. Yeah. And it was exactly where she was. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Goodbye. So we only have two games left. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. We sure are seven and a half hours into the stream. Whew. Meaty. <laughs> There's... There's a lot in this game. Oh, uh, there's DLC too. Uh, all right. You seem thrilled. I'm so thrilled. I'm thrilled. <laughs> I need some more water. <laughs> oh. I um I really don't like the idea of that racing level having Gene in it. I hope they don't do that. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what, what you like. Uh the thought of Gene showing up in that racing level. Oh yeah. Yeah, that would be terrible. Maybe she'll just be hanging out in the room. Taiwan ramen. First off, there's something I need to say. This Taiwan ramen is actually from Nagoya. The spicy-looking red soup is topped off with grilled ground meat, chives, and with more, yes, even more spices and chili peppers. A single bite really opens your eyes and makes you feel absolutely jacked up. But the unbelievably gentle chicken-based broth waits patiently deep down at the bottom of the spiciness. There's only one thing to wash this down with. Beer, which in a shocking twist is unavailable. I wolf down the rest of the soup and knock off 80,000 points. Gochujo-sama deshita. So do you think this is a, like, a blog that Suda himself has written? <laughs> like, none of these places served him beer and he was very upset? One, yes, I think this is his, um, <laughs> ethical assault, his moral assault on, uh, ramen shop owners, uh, but, but more importantly, I think that one's gonna be cup ramen, but he had a beer in the fridge and so he gave it a really high score. Here we go. Hazure. Would you pair beer with something that's salty? I don't know. I wouldn't pair beer with anything. Though, right. So. Modern observation. It's his phone ringing. Oh. 
Gene, Kamui's calling. Ignore that dickhead! Hello? Like now? I guess, yeah. You're going? Yeah, and I gave up on the digest. We're doing it old school DOS slash V adventure style. How cool is that? Keep it, just keep it simple. I hate Kamui. Thanks for coming all the way here. This is the East Coast, right? What? You don't know? We're pretty damn far from Texas. You'll be getting the check. <laughs> Eat whatever you like. Gene, you want something? I hate this guy, so I'll be outside. Bring me a cherry shake. <laughs> I totally can't trust this guy. Cats never lie, you know. <laughs> I'll have a garlic fat boy burger, fries, and a peacherine shake. Peacherine? How refined. I'll go get it. What's your name, buddy? Who the hell are you? Nobody you know. Just a Japanese guy passing by. Okay. So what do you want? Hey now, don't get so defensive. How do you know that man? You mean Kamui? He's just some dude. A friend? Nope. Okay then, be careful. That man is dangerous. I figured that much. I bet you did. Your bloodlust is pretty hardcore. Like nothing I've seen. Yours is pretty obvious too. You're a detective, right? Maybe. In Japan, I would have shot you in the face. <laughs> I would have killed your ass first. <laughs> Don't get killed by Kamui. Don't get killed by America. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks for the warning. I love this game so much. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. So what did you want to talk about? Well, actually, I want to tell you how amazing these burgers are. Sorry. But save that for next time. We've generated too much text. Localization costs are going insane. <laughs> so I want to keep things simple. Do you feel me? No problem. I'm an ADV man myself. <laughs> I'll keep it short. Come to Tokyo's zero ward. There's no trouble. Oh, sorry, there's trouble. Got it. At first, I thought you said there was no trouble, but then I realized you didn't. I'll go help out. With sort of trouble anyway. It's complicated. Is that okay? I'll give you one line. Juvenile lived in ward, er, zero ward. So there's a death ball there? Yes. Th <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> a good fucking game. What a fucking good game. So, where are we going? The airport, duh. I'm doing the wrong voice. <clears throat> what about your passport? Do you even have to ask? It's at home. Let's go back home. <laughs> that easy. It's just, you know. Did you find it? Shit. Huh? What's wrong? My passport's expired. God, you're such a loser. <laughs> so how long will we have to wait? No idea. It's almost summer vacation. So all the kids are getting their passports. Hey, you're up! I can finally go to Japan. <laughs> Japanese airline food is delicious. That's Japan for ya! <laughs> Gene, it's Japan. It's Akihabara. <laughs> Travis, let's go to a maid cafe. I want to see some maids. Before maids, I need some figurines. After that, we'll see some maids. My God. I'm exhausted. I'm sleepy. Yawn! <laughs> Mama! 
I miss you. This is so good. Wake up, Travis. Wake up. Huh? Where am I? Japan, in a hotel in Akihabara. What a comfy ass hotel. That was the best REM sleep ever. I'm so sleepy. We're not here to screw around in Akihabara, remember? Oh yeah, Juvenile used to live in Zero Ward. Let's check it out. Okay. This is Zero Ward? It's called 25th Ward Station. What's that mean? Who knows? But this town reeks of death. Uh, that's gonna be you. You are Chico. Chilco? Are you Travis? Here for your appointment? I don't have an appointment, but I am Travis. Could you hurry up and get on? I'll take you. Where? To the appointed location. You'll see. Gene, get on! What a cute kitty. Meow, meow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really feeling it right now. It talks? Just hurry up and go. Okay, fine. <laughs> kitty. <laughs> Kowloon, no. Erishiwa, Long City. This is where Juvenile used to live. We were like BFFs. BFFs, huh? Cool. So what kind of person is she? Complicated. Hard to explain. It'd take days to explain Juvie. Can I s ask you something? Don't bother. The death ball, right? You know about that? Juvie's ex-boyfriend has it. She gave it to him when he the way broke up. Even though they broke up? I will as hard as a stormy thing. You? You're kind of thick, huh? So who is this guy? This ex-boyfriend? We're supposed to ask all 3,000 residents here for info on the ex-boyfriend. But I'll skip that for character limit <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate the service. I'll take you there now. The kitty can stay here. Okay. I'll take a nap. I think uh, choosing the Gilbert voice for uh, the cat it was an inspired pick that paid off at the maid cafe. Here it is. This is just the ocean. <laughs> What's supposed to be here? Do you see the roof sticking out over there? The roof of a house? It's underwater. That's where Juvie lived. Welcome, Welcome to my home, Travis. You're my first foreign guest. I'm glad you're here. You're like on the water. <laughs> Pay no mind to that. I'm what's called an observer. This is nothing, really. You're a creepy ass dude. What are we doing standing here talking? Please, this way. Please? Brum, 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 brum. That's a reference to a chapter of the Silver Case where you go around apartments asking people for shit. Oh my god. Here, it's Japanese tea. Drink it while it's warm. Did you just use magic? What the hell are you? This is where we used to live, though my time with her was short. It feels like we spent decades together. She's something really special. I felt it the first time we met at the mall. The mall is crowded on Sundays. Among the crowd, she was... She alone was colorless. Colorless and transparent, like she really didn't exist, yet floated there. She was at the sale area checking discounts. That domestic vibe and that transparency, I was just enchanted with her. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. Can you get to the point? <laughs> Sorry, I was lost in my memories. This is what you're looking for, right? Juvenile gave this to you? She asked me to give it to an American guy named Travis who'd come looking for it. She knew my name? She said you'd be a famous assassin. I wish I could have known you earlier. Know me for what? I wanted to start a revolution together. 
we could have destroyed justice itself. My justice is my own thing. I don't give a shit about your revolution. Is that so? Well, it's a shame it ended that way. What's with the past tense? That was what Juvenile had wanted. I guess this is why. This ball is entrusted to you. He disappeared. No, that's not it. Did someone delete him? Whatever. Got me a death ball. <laughs> My god. Who in their right mind would give this a 5.5? I do not understand. This is the best shit in the world. God, I wish video games were written like this. Can you imagine AAA budgeted budgets thrown at this? Yeah, that'd be pretty great. God. Get some of that Uncharted money. Just have them sitting there talking about this house that's in the fucking ocean. <laughs> huh? <laughs> that could be you, Bob. Okay, Good luck. sure. I saw everything. So you're Kamui? Kamui? You mean Kamui Uehara? Your bloodlust, it's abnormal. You're screwed up. <laughs> you can't kill me with that gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your head right off. Maybe, Kamui. But either way, I'm gonna kill you. Kill myself. <laughs> yeah, Wait. <I> like, <laughs> this kid's dangerous. Lights out, punk. Either <laughs> way, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's all resolved itself. Kamui, Kamui, Kamui. That was an awesome move. It was a legendary suplex. I meant to throw him gently. He's out cold, and his eyes are weird. Hey, bike delivery girl, can you take care of him for me? Sure, but are you going to be okay? I'll swim back. To where? To America. <laughs> I was like, I I'm know about coming, to just but... cut all of these into its own YouTube <laughs> upload. Because <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> To America. <laughs> what a good game. Yo, you guys, you guys, did you know this game's good? It's really good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Suda 51 is a very powerful man. Yeah. Dude, dude, dude. Did I? You did get it? Yes, new... I did read it. Okay, yeah, yeah. The time one bowl. Did you want to look at the, uh, the cheats? Oh, yeah, sure. Actually, I what? Right here. That's weird. That's weird. Oh well. Let's kick some ass. You're still doing this wins list, so I figured I would hold it a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. I know you like skipping this, but this is funny as shit. <laughs> I usually it's only skip it on revisits. Yeah. It's so dumb. There you go. See what we get. Where am I? It's under construction. What, are you blind? Under construction? What the hell does that mean? This is what it looks like when a location is being built in Unreal. I was going to say, it does look like those Unreal test areas that you start with. <laughs> so it's a work in progress, huh? How much of it is done? I have no idea. Go ask that woman, Dr. Juvenile. She's kind of moody. She has a problem with 
with the staff while making Kelly Marathon. She started flipping over tables and stuff, <laughs> made them redo the whole thing. Did somebody piss her off? Every game development team is unique in a, to others. <laughs> I mean, that's probably true for any type of workplace, but none of them are that simple. I thought that making video games was a much more fun job, but... It's extremely low-key, yet delicate work. Like, surprisingly so. <laughs> I see. Anyway, I don't care if it's a work in progress or not. I'm passing through. Don't come crying to us if things go badly. We warned you. I'm going on a tour of Dr. Juvenile's mind. Grandpa's words of wisdom. People who say, I'll follow you forever, usually don't. Not even 10%. <laughs> Grandpa's words of wisdom. You shouldn't go any further. Pandora's box is coming back. It's called the Death Drive. Oh, hey, ramen. We got a customer. Welcome. Come on in. Give me your best ramen. Sure thing. Here you go. Dude doesn't even ask for beer. Tonkotz show you the Yokohama bad boy. Enjoy the one-two punch of pork and soy sauce. Grandpa's words of wisdom. If you can't take out the mothership, you're screwed. The nucleus is also called the core. Destroy the core. Light it up. Sure fading out here. <laughs> Press button. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just shoot wherever I hold direction of. You don't have to move too shoot. I do. You? Oh my god. It's really bad, actually. Do you park in it? Oh no, you shoot yeah, it. I shoot it. It's core. That's insane. Try it. I can. I can do the explosion, but that's the only way to shoot without moving. Maybe touching it won't kill you. Maybe. Whoa. <laughs> You'd think the right analog is a good issue, but no, they're just no. like pain. They're psychopaths. Dante Namikaze says, I didn't even know you could do the explosion. <laughs> this, um... This seems a little too easy. Yeah. Wow, it's fun right next to you this time. Yeah. Clearly it was destined that you play this unfinished shooter. <laughs> Wait, what? There it goes. <laughs> the copy of Killer Marathon I got wasn't just some pirate version. 
It was the death drive port of the legendary arcade game that started it all, created by John Winter himself. Apparently, it's not finished. Dr. Juvenile must have created it by analyzing records and memories. I suddenly have flashbacks to when I was a kid happening upon this game. The lights... The light emanating from the creepily alluring vector graphics seemed to pull me into another dimension. I wonder if Juvenile created this Death Drive Mark II specifically to facilitate this very experience. I kind of sympathize with Juvenile. No, that's just my imagination. Next up is the sixth Death Ball, the final game. What'll Dr. Juvenile show me next? Bring on the next game. Is that really it? Man, they really are just like, uh, get it out of there. It's in the way. <laughs> I said we just do the motorcycle immediately. Just to go ahead, yeah, why not? And then, and then we can read all the things in the base. See, we're way ahead of schedule. <laughs> it's not even eight. <laughs> And the game assures us that's the final game. I'm sure it is. And, and, and that Nothing will happen after we get all the death balls. The, no. the game just ends. Yeah, there's not an extra slot for death balls or anything. There's no DLC. We can save Gene after we do the, the visual novel. Oh man, you two gamers blitzing through this. <sighs> yeah, we're pretty cool like that. <laughs> yeah, true. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You know, with how many times I say true, I do wonder if that coworker who occasionally tunes into these streams has been here for any of them. <laughs> On the road. Listen to this, Gene. It's about a guy. Okay, what guy? A real asshole. Did you want to just go ahead and hold Sure, it yes. You, Since you I'm most of the characters. Voices. His name is Damone Ricciatello. Oh, that's the guy for me, eh? His last name was Ricciatello. Oh my god. I cannot. Like Ricciatello. Oh my god. They just god. added extra letters. <laughs> From Utopia? Yeah, those IT types creep. <laughs> Dudes, creep me out. A world of data with no actual substance. I mean, video games are just made up of data too, but that's okay. But those have substance and emotion. It, IT, was born from an aversion to those. A tool of efficiency and consumption to destroy man. You get molested by an IT guy or something? That asshole has the death ball. I cannot believe, I, I sense a connection. What the heck is this map? Utopia is an urban development consulting firm. Oh, wait, why am I doing a narrator voice? That's Travis. <laughs> they specialize. They specialize in revitalizing cities. They've grown huge with their redevelopment projects. They've got their eyes on Santa Destroy at the Utopia Land Amusement Complex. The building itself has become a paradise. After just half a year of construction, Utopia was able to open that huge complex. There are rumors that they're using some sort of technology from the future. Huh. An IT city. Screw that. The dudes in this town use conditioner and treatment. Spray on cologne and shit like that. They take supplements. Soap is good enough for me. My musk is my cologne. And nuts over supplements. Utopia HQ. It looks like a university. A full cafeteria, a soccer field, a tennis court. It's like the perfect workplace. Depends on your values. Now just a PC. No, that's old now. With just a smartphone, you can work from anywhere now. So this campus is all for show. Suda, this is unhinged. <laughs> Let me see the CEO, sweetheart. Travis, watch your tone. They're gonna kick you out. May I ask your name? Bob, that's a very, very hotly drawn secretary. I'm not to ask you to sound sultry. <laughs> May or... I ask your name? <laughs> the hero of Santa Destroy. Damon is away on business at the moment. Please come back again sometime. 
This chick seems good at her job. <laughs> Are you his secretary? Yes. Where is he? I'll go see him. Due to matters of confidentiality, I'm afraid I can't say. Whatever. I can't believe they got a mappy thing in here. That's yeah, like, I know. I was like, isn't that? Hot chicks love mappy. <laughs> <laughs> You've got good taste for someone so young. Thank you. And I ha and have a nice day. <laughs> you have good taste for someone so young, he says, because she's wearing a mappy shirt. That t-shirt, mappy. That's pretty cool. She's really something. <sighs> you, that has to be based on a real person, right? He must have just seen an American wearing a mappy shirt and been like, whoa. My name is Julia Chesterfield. I work at Utopinia. Is Damon's ter tertiary? Tertiary. Tertiary. Yeah. Secretary. You know what a tertiary secretary does? I call the CEO to wake him up. <laughs> I check the traffic before he leaves. It's a real hassle. I stopped by the farm or primary secretary's house, then the CEO's. <laughs> this is insane. If there's even a bit of traffic, the primary secretary gets pissed off. <laughs> then I clean the secretary's office, prepare the breakfast bu buffet, welcome the CEO, deal with the claims and the complaints of all day, mostly from the shareholders. I have to explain everything and calm them down. A big shareholder in New York hits on me sometimes. He took me on a day trip to Portugal on a private jet once. I totally would have spent the night if I had work in the morning. <laughs> the shareholder understood, but since then, I have to keep my guard up and turn him down. <laughs> telling him if I get soft in my use, then I'm finished. Sorry, I kind of <laughs> rambled on there. I joined Utopinia <laughs> after the CEO saw me or saw my videos. He scouted me right away. I was pretty famous influencer, oh digging up and uh, digging up and live streaming old vector video games. <laughs> Some games were crap, but I had I saw the future of those primary color-based graphics. I became head of a huge vector game project in, at Utopia. I was really kicking butt. The company was so young, I, so I kept climbing up the ladder. Since I was a kid, I dreamed of being a secretary. I, I gave Bob this role, and I was like, she's just going to say a few lines. Right? <laughs> it's fine. Foolish. <laughs> so I requested that they, they ask, make the tertiary secretary position. Well, they had the mappy shirt. We should have known. <laughs> and now I'm in subordinate training. But that man, he noticed Namco's famous game, Mappy, <laughs> on my shirt. <laughs> Travis Touchdown. <laughs> I know that guy. He beat me in Unreal <laughs> Tournament Finals. <laughs> I could never forget him. But back in the day, I was a pro gamer myself. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> what was all of that? <laughs> <laughs> I love these char suey noodles. They're real simple and remind me of old Japan. <laughs> I've never actually been to Japan. But somehow ramen makes me feel super nostalgic. Gyoza and beer. Can't beat it. Mind if I sit down? It's you. What a coincidence. I love ramen too. What a convenient coincidence. Have a seat. Hold up. I remember. The 2008 Unreal Tournament World Finals. <laughs> Only you and I were left at the end. I still have nightmares <laughs> about that mistake. I was still green. You weren't green. You went for beauty in battle, not the win itself. I like that. I don't need your consolation. <laughs> if you don't win, it's pointless. But that's not what you came to talk about, is it? Nope. Tell me where Damon is. Damon. Now I started to say it because you started to say it. <laughs> Tell me where Damon is. I need to talk to him. Travis. Who are you exactly? You're not just some random gamer, <laughs> are you? <laughs> you smell like blood. Okay. That got better. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You smell like blood too. Maybe from way back in the day. I left my past behind when I left home. But I guess I can tell you 
where Damon is. For reals? Where is he? How many bowls of ramen can you eat? <laughs> if you can beat me, I'll tell you. Right on, I'm down. Just kidding. You shouldn't waste ramen. <laughs> Let's just enjoy what we have. Yeah, you're right. City of Split, Croatia. 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 <laughs> Croatia? How many hours away is that by bike? <laughs> Look it up yourself. 96 hours? Utopian is putting on a huge festival. There's a VIP party tomorrow. That's your chance. But don't kill him, okay? I can't promise anything. <laughs> huh, an intruder? He looks like Camille adjacent. Whoa, that's just straight up Max Headroom. Oh god, it kind of is. That is just he's straight a, up him. He's a little There's, thick, but he's yes. got like the exact head shape with the jawline. <laughs> this in the, the shape in the exact. <laughs> the, even his background. Yes. This guy's suspicious. Take he's him away. Sexy and tight too. <laughs> you calling me suspicious? Do it. Oh, we're battling. This is incredible. Jesus. Who? Who are you? Are you a model? You look like a cosplayer. Or are you today's DJ? Whatever the fuck I might look like, I'm the guy looking for your death ball. Not a very warm welcome, huh? Get the hell out of here. You need to brush up on your manners, son. What's up with the death ball you stole from Juvenile? I don't. I know nothing about that. You don't, do you? You used to work with Juvenile. <laughs> oh no. I simply joined the Serious Moonlight Dev team and worked my butt off every day developing it. But all Juvenile's ideas just came out of the blue and the game just wasn't working out. So I got together with the other staff and we objected her game design. We objected her game design. Objected to, maybe? <laughs> it was all for the sake of what we considered to be the perfect game. Then the project was canned at the last minute. And I was sent to another team. That woman. She became afraid of our amazing ideas. <laughs> Whatever it took, I wanted to see serious moonlight finished. So I pressed Juvenile hard. I told her to hand over the desk ball. So she had, was so con but she was so condescending since I was an intern. Screw her. She brought it upon herself. I beat Juvenile to a pulp. Even when when her swollen face was twisted in pain, I kept on beating her. She finally stopped moving. So I let her go. I took the sole remaining desk ball and went home. See? She's the one at fault here, right? <laughs> Holy Whoa. shit! Whoa! You aren't even worth killing. Feel the same pain she felt. My fists are gonna take a while to heal. Let's go, Gene. Piece of shit! Man, what a backstory. I won't let you... Get away with this. I will have my revenge. Revenge. <laughs> I feel a chill. Yeah, and I just got goosebumps and introduced the word just to the sentence. It sounded better. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Do we continue? <laughs> Be really great if someone just remade this in an actual old computer game. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be neat. That'd be so cool. I'd love to see it on a CRT. Oh my god, it takes so long. New article has been added to the archives. 
Death Ball acquired a new game is playable on the Death Drive Mark II. Save. What the heck is this? <laughs> I'm Carlos Setagaya, a game reporter who will absolutely not let you down. Today, I've got a special piece I'd like to share on a really huge development in the gaming world. One that's completely shrouded in mystery. Don't get too shocked now. Actually, no, wait. I hope you're as shocked as shit. The only <laughs> info which even the great Carlos himself was able to get his hands on consists of a little title screen and some vague information regarding the setting. This report is the result of an entire month spent staking out a certain game company. However, I was unable to meet even directly with even a single person working on this game. Nobody comes into the office and nobody leaves. What the hell is even going on? Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is what the hell is going on. The dev team has been living in the office since they're apparently even sacrificing their precious beauty sleep to work on this game. It has to be something awesome. The title is Serious Moonlight. That's English for a uh, serious moonlight. A moon that everyone takes into the grave consideration. Yep, that makes sense. Maybe it's like a Nostradamus type thing. A game taking place in December 1999, and this heart on the title screen and the eight arrows sticking out. Do you play as Nostradamus in this game? <laughs> Keywords, Final Fantasy of the 20th Century, Evil Demon Lord, Immortal. But anyway, you know good old Carlos isn't going to leave you hanging with nothing but a title screen. Also, that would make a pretty shitty article. So I decided to infiltrate the dev's office myself. I tried blending in with people coming in and out of the development room, coming back and forth from the very threshold 120 times. Thanks to my efforts, I was able to catch a glimpse of some keywords written on a whiteboard, so I whipped out my smartphone and snapped a photo with quickness. What I found were three keywords to the right. Now let's try to analyze what we have. First off, we have Final Fantasy of the 20th Century. As I expected, is this not totally about Nostradamus? Yes, my skills are amazing. If I do say so myself, I do. Next up is Evil Demon Lord, as in King of Terror. According to some interpretations, the King of Terror mentioned by Nostradamus is supposedly not something that's visible, so that must mean that there's going to be some sort of underworld involved? And this King of Terror is supposed to be immortal. How the hell are you supposed to defeat him? The only hints we have are the aforementioned picture of a heart in the moon. So the game takes place at night. When night falls, the entrance to the underworld opens, and you go on an awesome adventure. This is absolutely it. <laughs> oh god. Ten hours of gaming a day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, people wanted us to check the facts, maybe save our cat. Oh, yeah, there is that. Whoops. I guess we can go back and do that. After we watch no, the it's intro fine. video. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. We'll do it after. <laughs> Once again, if any console ever actually output VHS sounding quality. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Wait, that's that's the guy for shadows. He has a gun and everything. I oh, he has rights to this.
What in the hell? <laughs> Shit. This is a little unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little. God. Good lord. Imagine not knowing about that game and just watching that and be like, man, that was crazy high end. Right? That was like a pre rendered CG and stuff. It looked really good. I wonder what that was about. <laughs> oh, cool. There's a ground texture there. <laughs> I wasn't certain. Allegedly. Unreal Engine Popper. What's going on? The title of the Death Ball was Serious Moonlight. A huge AAA dark fantasy RPG. But I know this world. It's from a game I beat six years ago, Shadow of the Dam. Oh my god. <laughs> Garcia and Johnson fight demons. It's a famous action game. Is this the sequel or something? <laughs> this is the underworld. This is ridiculous. Yeah. We haven't tried leveling it up in a while, have we? Uh, we've leveled up sometime, somewhat recently. It's just, you know, it's been a long time since... Uh... Since we were able to play the game proper. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you can't fire it early. Okay. When are you going to play Shadows of the Dam? I don't know. It seems like something that should happen. Right. Yeah, I remember I played it all the way through back when it came out. Jesus. <laughs> Bailiff? Taste Travis Touchdown's nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that, that meme dropped away entirely for me until we hit a video game where they would not stop tasing your nuts. <laughs> and so it's like, oh, how very relevant. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the Suda games are shorter, so like... <sighs> we could maybe beat two. <laughs> In a single story. <laughs> Shadows of the Dam is like five to six hours. Yeah, I remember that was my main complaint was that it was real short. Yeah. I think Lollipop Chainsaw ends up in the same space. Probably. I, Let me I look it up. I don't remember that one being super long, but I don't remember as well as the other. There it is. Um, it looks like only pop chainsaw is nine hours. Wait, no, sorry, six and a half. <laughs> okay. It's main stories and extras is nine and a half, nine hours twelve minutes. Yeah, it shows the damn according to how long it'd be five, is uh, eight and a half. Yeah. I'm seeing a game facts thread that's titled Game Length Four Hours about Chill Lollipop Chainsaw. <laughs> so who knows how long it is for real gamers, right? Okay.
Oh, sure. Sure, Art asks, uh, so when are y'all gonna let it die? When are you gonna do let it die? All I remember that game is the funny skateboard skull. Haha, <laughs> man, so obviously it had to be good, right? Um, I enjoyed the game all right. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I wanted to try it again. It, it has been forever. Ten hours of gaming a day. Eh. <laughs> No. Okay. Please give me ramen or a restroom. What's up, Sork Andrew? Oh, thank God. So, did you heal both people? No, I have to do that. God, God. How insane. <laughs> He says 12 hours of gaming a day, but you're playing eight. And he says 10. Uh -huh. He says 10 hours of gaming a day, which is about how long this game and the DLC will take, uh, supposedly. Supposedly. Okay. Shadows of the Damned. The game started as Fleming, Lord of Demons, kidnaps Garcia's girlfriend, Paula. Anyway, here we are at the last stage, Fleming's Tower. Garcia has died and only Johnson remains. Now Johnson has become eight hearts in order to exact revenge for Garcia. Anyway, here's the ending that should have been in the fucking game. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. You have indeed acquired the Death Ball for Sirius Moonlight, but once you loaded it up, it was a different game. Dr. Juvenile had canceled Sirius Moonlight. She wanted to create a AAA open world action RPG. 